Benny. Murph. Marathon is here. Your mic is pointing directly at your sternum. That's how I like it. <laughs> you're the bass for my. You go, oh, you're just heartbeat going like. Gah, 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 gah. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, we're watching very cute Logan it. videos, so we're like a minute away. But well, you know, forgive us. We're watching got out of session, video. had to pour a cuppa. Had to pour a cup, cup of Nick Mill, you know, cheers. I know, I love my cheers. Oh, I could have been wearing the same hat. You know, I was, I was just like, well, this is, we both have Giants hats, and it's important to wear a Giants hat. You know why, Nick? Because it's opening day of baseball. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's first day. day. Yeah. I was going to say, because the Kings clinched a playoff berth. Because the Mariners made the playoffs, making the Kings in all of pro sports the longest droughted team to have made the playoffs. It's been since 2006, something like that. It's not anymore. They're in the playoffs, baby. High five. Like that beam. Like that beam. Sabonis. The audience quiet. Okay, thank you. For some reason, in our think it's coming in like pretty high. Or at least it was coming in pretty high, so I turned it down. Is that better? Um, but yes, so Kings, Sacramento Kings. Oh, games at 10 05? Oh, it's not right here. Right here. No, no. Oh, well, we're starting the thing where Mike just watches baseball games while we stream. From now until, let's be honest, September, we ain't making October. <laughs> If there's a phone right here, and I'm just occasionally playing the game doing this, I'm, I'm, watching, I'm watching baseball Mike is for not sure. Paying attention to you. He's watching a baseball game. It's opening day. That's right. The Giants about to lose to the Yankees today. You know, it's oh a good God, day they're indeed. Destroyed. They're over yeah, there in the Bronx. Is Rodon? I mean, I'm sure he's not. It's not as Cole. I Rodon's probably tomorrow though. Cole. I just call. Cole's got the funniest voice on the planet. He's just like, I don't know what's oh, going on. Gee whiz, guys! I just want to cheat. Cheese. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Uh, that's our sports talk today. Hello, everybody. Yeah, you uh, use crazy glue on my finger. So what? Happy opening day. Yes, I wore this for the Giants. I definitely knew that was happening today. Marathon time, indeed. We're going to be playing four games. We're playing Lacrimosa, which is right here. Then we're going to play Her Story, which is right there. And then Trekking Through Time. And then we're going to play Kubitos, which is on the shelf. So, so, so. Um, but nonetheless, uh, the middle half of this is going to be sponsored by uh, Underdog Games. Uh, and by the way, they are doing a sale all throughout the month of March yeah. for Her Story. You can follow that link right there. Um, they're selling it for $19.19 in celebration. The 19th Amendment. The 19th Amendment, who gave women the right to vote in our country. Yes, indeed. Um, and the game is usually like, I think like 40 or 50 bucks. So like, they're selling it for very, very cheap. So yeah. we'll be uh, talking about it a little bit later. That game is very cool. Boom. But yeah. You are inaudible. What? What? Muted? Is that because I talk too quickly? Because that's fair. You mean like, just uh, like we mumbled stuff? Because that's facts. If you can't hear us, tell us. It seems. Am I, am I just... Oh, did Nick do his pack? Yeah, I did do my pack. Did I not do my pack? Did my... you get muted? Hold on. Did I get muted? Hold on. <laughs> my pack is on. I checked. <clears throat> am I talking? No, we're coming through. We're both coming through. Hello? Why is it just muffled? Oh. 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 Pushing all the way. Oh. Hold okay. On. Hello. Is that better, everybody? Is that better? That should be better. That looks it like was, better. If it had pulled out, my yeah. thing, I think in my pants pocket, my little. So Nick's out of far away because he was here. being heard through my microphone. That's true. That makes more sense. So yeah, the thing that. So Weird. this is a pack. This is a wireless mic. We had to put them in there. This part got. Um, it's never that thing, so we don't even check that part. I mean, never. It's that part never comes undone. Let's know uh, if Nick is back. Um. Uh. Uh. But yes, we are playing four games, so it's our most marathoniest so Good. mini that makes more marathon. Sense. <laughs> it's usually M3, because it's third, Thursday, but it's the fourth Thursday. Oh, we've only so ever we're done that. four games. That's sure, that's, that's the reason. Uh, yes, okay, good. So what I was saying is we're going to play Her Story, and Her Story, follow that link. Her Story is being sold for 1919 in celebration of the 19th Amendment. Um, and so uh, uh, it's usually like 40 or 50 bucks. So if you want to pick up Her Story, this is the time to do it. Save yourself some cash. Indeed. March is almost over, so do not delay. <laughs> Stop letting the technology get more copy. I have not had my tea this morning. It is brewing right now. It's right next to me. It's right here. Uh, uh, wait, was it plugged in? The answer? No. No. No, sort, no the answer? Sort of. Kind of, yes. It's kind of. Uh, the thing that usually is the problem, I actually did this time. Usually uh, the big pack, I, I forget to, to turn on. I do that constantly. Yeah, I just put it up the, up on oh, top here. Arpus. I forgot about that. Your Arpus. So, so you should have, is it four cards? Four cards. Yeah, that's right. Um, yes, indeed. So yeah, we're gonna start off with some lacrimos. We've got four games. So we're probably gonna get started pretty quick here. Yeah, um, but yeah, I hope everyone's do. having a good March. How's everyone having doing? Having a good March. Mike went to uh, England and Ireland. Cheers. 
Indeed, I went to Dice Tower West. It was awesome. We're gonna have a pretty bangerang. I guess it's gonna be next week, huh? Yeah, I mean, we could Rapid in theory reviews. try to do tomorrow, but I think it'll probably be no. Monday. Monday. Monday morning will be rapid reviews. It's going to be a pretty big one because, like... Oh, yeah. We got it. Hmm. I played, like, 35 games without Mike this month, and then Mike, you probably played, like, what, 10 or 15 uh, without it'll me? Be, it'll be 20 by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. So... It'll be... It'll be. So it's going to be a pretty big one because we actually played a lot of games separately this month because we weren't together this I'm month. I'm on 16. So. I'm on 16. Playing four today. And I still got tomorrow. Yeah. So it could be 30. It's true. Probably 30. Today's the 30th, yeah. Today's the right. 30th, I think. It's April... <laughs> oh, we don't have a good uh, April Fool video lined up. Or do we? We don't. we don't. That's the April Fool's that we don't have a joke video this year. We did last year. We and did it last year. Did not get watched by many people. So <laughs> people, I think we did. I think anything released on April first, people are very wary of. But ours was cool. We ours played Zapotec cool. in reverse. That's actually cool. It was cool. I agree. I it agree. was not easy to do. It was not. It was. It was really actually hard. really hard. I was, I was talking to Rainer yeah. about that at. Dice Tower West, and I was just like, that was really, really fun, but it was such a nightmare <laughs> such to film. Because you just are... Because after every single turn, we had to be like, okay, what are we doing? What are we saying in this? And we had to do that and you have to once or twice, yeah. and it was just rough. So fun. Very fun, Watch but very rough. Um, all righty. We're going to go ahead and get right into it, y'all. We're playing Luke Ramusu right here. Luke Redukey. Luke Redukey. Luke Ry James. I just released it again. That's the joke. There you go. I like that. I like That's that actually part. not a bad idea. That's actually not a horrendous idea. We could do that every year. So we're doing Lacrimosa, where Lacrimosa is dead, and we killed him. We're trying to cover it up. Um, I will keep stating that until it's true. I like it. Dude, look at the cover of the rule book. It's very murder noir. Look at this. Look at that. That's such a weird cover. I, I will admit, book. I love this game. The cover, as you can see right here. One of the best covers and of the game. And the cover of this do not match. Well, and so this also doesn't match. Like everything. This looks matches the cover more. more. Yes. But this seems like you're in a different game. Hilarious. Hysterical. How? I mean, it's it's objectively cool looking, but I'm like, what? It's so this it's weird so green, green dead stylized. Hands. Yeah, you love to see it. Um, okay, let me just double check because now, um, yeah. So, um, we're going to kind of do a quick review because I just played this at Dice Star West. Mike hasn't played in a little bit, although you did. What, what was the player count? Four. How was it at four? Was it it was good. It was good. It was longer. And it's one of those things where I, after I was playing, I was like, this is kind of one of those Euro games where, like, there's, I don't need necessarily more there's people. Not, there's not much engagement no. together other than, like, oh, you took this. But, like, you Yeah, know, and, like, down here, there's, like, definitely some. And that was kind of interesting. But, like, for the most part. Because there's a lot less of these, I imagine. Yeah, there's a lot less rests. And so I was kind of just, like. I don't necessarily need it at four because it just makes the game longer. And I, that's one thing I, I like about a lot of Euro games is they're good at two because at three and four, they're just a lot of times just longer. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't need them just to more be longer. Brain power, more brain power being I expelled. Yeah. Um, Chronicles of Crime. Mozart. Mozart. Amadeus. Like um, Hornets just read the rulebook for Star Wars Rebellion. No one's ever done that. It's true. Everyone just guesses their way through that game. Yeah. Watches Rodney. Fair. Like, teach me. He didn't teach, he didn't teach Star Wars Rebellion. Well, that's why they keep asking for it. <laughs> but he usually doesn't teach games. Did Shay? Big. Shay did it, maybe. Shay, oh Shay did. Or he's, I think, going to do it. Or he did. I think he. Here's did. the thing. I'll say this: Star Wars Rebellion. I don't think it deserves the praise. Why? Because you need an expansion for it to be playable. I don't think that's true. I just think it makes it better. Everyone says it fixes the combat and stuff. Yeah. Fixes stuff, and it was a top hundred game. I'm like, it's fair. It's fair. It's very fair. Sounds pretty terrible to me. Sounds pretty terrible to me. J.K. I really want to play it. I do want to try it. I don't know how much I'll love it, but I do want to try it. I think I think you'll like it. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be I like, really want to play a Star Wars deck building game now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely want to try that. I had there was I could have bought it at a store the other day. Oh really? I was like, eh, because I didn't know how full our luggage would be would be, and I was just like, eh, it'll be here too. So, you know, but I was just like, yeah, I'm for curious. Sure. For sure. Um, let's play some Lacrimosa, my man. So yeah, do you uh do you do you feel the need for um need for a review or speed? A little bit of speed. Um, so basically, so we're going to be playing out these cards into our uh, little board. Two at a time. Two at a time. So you're going to put one above. It's a very cool board. And then one below. The one above is the action or actions yep. you will do. The one below will be during the maintenance phase. will give you basically. Kind of your income. Yeah, you're in right, like, like, word because there's these these little tracks. They're all going to get bottomed out. By the way, if my hands look insane, it's because I was dying eggs last night. So your hands do look kind of dead. I, I'm not going to lie. I, dude, they are corpse-ish. 
Um, these will bottom out, but then basically all of the, like Nick has one uh, Mozart's talent resource there. So uh, that's how you kind of refresh and regain those. There's also these tokens uh, that are in those um, three resource types that do not, uh, you can roll over, which is kind of cool. So yes. um, this is me. That's you. Dang it. That's me. Good. Okay, that's guessing good. correctly. That this you? is me. No, that's you. Are these both me? Both of you. Wow, Nick doesn't want me to have a close up. Why do I have Sounds two good, bro. Weird. Okay, hold on. I'm not sure why I have two. How's the Murfling doing? She is doing great. She's good. I can hear she her. She is in there. Uh, having a party just over there, and she is um, gradually readjusting to the time. Now that we are back in West Coast time, she made it till 5 30 a.m. today. Sleeping, yeah. Sleeping. So that's an improvement. Um, and she has been waking up, and then we party, and then she takes a nap, and then I usually take a nap as well. Fair. When she woke up at 5.30, I was just like, it's too late for me to go back to sleep. Right, right. But hey, here we are. Hey, so here we are. We're doing it. We're getting there. We get to reread some rule books. Yeah, so she's doing great. I did. Um, so this game is in my wish list. I love the, th uh, the theme and the particular use of cards. Yeah, they, And this game is buttery smooth. Yeah, it really is. Like I, I think after playing it again. I referred to it as buttery, and I was like, that's so true. The actions are just like very boom, simple. Smooth. Smooth yeah. and easy. So there's going to be uh, different kinds of actions. There's going to be uh, actions to get more of these action cards, which are going to be the ones up here. So the cool thing about this is the cards come out of this deck opuses, which are going to be uh, different uh, music that um, Mozart made, like, are going to be the ones kind of like that slide down. Mozart, ba, ba, ba. that, that was song. My name, Volkang. Uh, and then the memories are going to be the ones that are kind of up on this thing right here. And one thing uh, Kestrel pointed out is that it actually continues the little picture. Oh, I, I did. You're right. There's like a little candle at the bottom there. Yeah. And it's very cool. That's but nonetheless, you're getting more memory cards, which essentially are going to be uh, better actions. And the cool thing is, is when you get a memory card... Whatever card is here on the bottom, let's say this is tucked in, you'll then take this one out, throw it out of the game, and then put this one in there. You so burn you it legacy style. Exactly. So there's no car, there's no deck bloat. You will you'll always only, have the same. Always amount have of cards. nine cards, and then any opus cards up here, but they don't factor into yeah. your to the. So there's not there's deck building in that great way of like it's more about refining. Exactly. Deck refining. So you can get more action cards. You can get these different opi or opuses. I'm not entirely sure. Hi, Linus. Hey, hey, hi. Um. And then you can perform those um, and get money, or you can sell them off and get um, money and usually points. You can travel with Mozart around the countryside, going to these places and yeah. activating these tiles. But these are all us like remembering our times with Mozart. Like when we're journeying, these are places we went back in the t in the yeah. past. These are the actions are kind of like different memories we have. Yes, um, they're literally called memory cards. And yeah. then and then working on the opus, the 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 final. A uh, piece of music, the requiem, that, the yeah. requiem de la cromosa. Yeah, that Mozart died before it was completed. So we have, uh, we've got Eibler, Eibler and Stadler, okay. who are two composers that are helping us finish the requiem. So okay, um, so we also decided um, during our four-player game that there are a couple different instruments that you're you're having uh, throughout the requiem. So we have tubas, tubas, walks, <laughs> violas. Uh, uh, pan flutes, little like hoo, 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 <laughs> yeah. and old ladies. And old ladies. So yeah, by the way, please refer to them as their proper names. Um, opossums, <laughs> yes, exactly. So everything here kind of takes place in the past Ooh. or in our memories, but this part takes place like this is the in now. the present within this game, basically. Because Mozart died or we killed him before he had a chance to finish his last Requiem, and so we were essentially hiring two composers to help finish it with tubas, mostly. Yes, you do. Like you do. As you do. Any other questions, Mikey, before I think we kind of go? I think I'm ready. You are first player, so um, let her rip at your we'll earliest. Make sure we're coming through. Statler and Waldorf, we could only hope. Gosh, if only. If Man. only they had the my stones only, to do My that. only hope in life is to have one Mar Mini Murph Marathon where we have them, I don't know how much Muppets cost, uh, come in and just roast Wreck us for, for the entire I maintain, trip. I've been saying this for years and years and years, they're always looking for a good Oscar host. Have the Muppets do it. I agree. Because you have so many different characters, and then you can just have Statler and Waldorf roasting everybody yep. up in one of the boxes. They're just up there, and you just cut to them in between every, every downtime and just have them roast people. Dude. It would be great. Have it Kermit and Piggy like be like the main hosts, and they're just epic. fighting all the time. It'd be, It'd be so, so much fun. I agree. It'd man. be a logistical nightmare, probably. But gosh, would it be worth it? They could it. totally do it, man. I mean, it would it would honestly be the, the bomb. Yeah. And a tuning fork is the first player. You ever smack these and go put on your tongue? 
It's like a battery. It's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, this is the first player marker. It's the whole game is very thematic and cool, and it's just it's and very as we good. said, this is how you beige correctly. Yes, Publishers. this is beautiful. You can this beige. Map. No shout, no no shade to Tillotum, but shade to Tillotum. There's like actual all like the, trees and things all here. The shade to Tillotum, you can actually. still populate stuff, and it doesn't become too busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is how you beige correctly. It's very pretty. But it's still very beige. The beige yourself. Muppets are too classy for Oscars. Yeah, who, who's Will Smith going to slap? He ain't slapping Kermit the Frog. He's a treasure. <laughs> He's a treasure. Okay, so we're going to choose. Uh, uh, each turn you choose, choose two cards. Yeah. Um, and the cool thing is it tells you how many cards you draw. This game is really well done. Yeah, it reminds you. Draw two, draw two, draw Devere one. Devere can make a board game, Mikey. Devere can make a board game. You see that announcement? They got a game that says the spiritual successor to Red Cathedral. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I saw that, that cover. That's an unfortunate And before thing. seeing... No, the cover's beautiful. No, no, not the cover. Just the fact that they would ever, anyone would ever want to play Red Cathedral. How dare you? That game is great. It's fine. <laughs> that game is it's awesome. fine. Um, but uh, I saw the cover, the name, and before you looking down, I was just like, "Well, this is for sure a Devere game." And it was. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah." So, Mikey, real quick, for these, these you can pay with anything, right? Yeah, you can pay with. Anything. Yeah, you can pay with these or your little diskies. In general, you can do that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, but sometimes it'll. I think when it's for gaining. Sometimes it'll be specific. So I'm yes. going to do this, which is It'll show be... a cube if you bump your track. It'll show a disc if you gain a disc. That's right. So I'm going to do this right near, and I'll kind of do a bit as... Oh, you know what? Hold on. I forgot. Our stream, deck, YouTube. Our stream deck works for YouTube. I don't understand that. Dude, neither do I. This thing is so broken. But for when we do YouTube, it works. Oh, yes. I forgot it works. I have to do it with a freaking mouse. It's so hard. It's like Gonzo. It's going to explode on him. Yeah. He's <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Did. All right. So you can see I'm playing memory, and then I slid this one down here. And so slid again, slid it down. Very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get a new memory card, which is these action cards kind of facing up. Sorry, let me cut you off there. Um, Sing a song. So I'm going to get this one right here. So this one is going to cost three uh, ducats. I believe they're ducats in this game. Dukies, baby. Uh, and then I have to pay one of any one of these three. Uh, let's go ahead and do the journey. Mozart's journey. And then this card right here is going to replace this one. So one thing you want to do is make sure you don't like completely get rid of an action. Yeah, unless you don't aren't like I don't care about journeying, and I can get a card later. And there will be more opportunities to get journey cards, but sure. it is nice to yeah. just like okay, we're gonna hot swap this. So I'm out. getting rid of my travel action. I'm getting a travel action, but I'll also get two ducats when I do this one. So you'll kind of get rid of that one. This one slides back in there. Yep. And then boom. And so the good thing is, like we said, you never get more cards. You only ever have the same amount of cards. Yeah. And then I'll draw two more cards and Vikey's turn. You want to slide down? Um, oh, yeah. So blam. Mark it here. Blam. Blam. A lot of Opies. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they, they really, the game we were playing at Dice Star West, man, they just kept getting stacked one way or the other. Yeah. And we had just all Opuses and all, all actions, and it was just wild. Um. So we'd love Statler and Walder with guest players three and four. They couldn't play. They would just sit there and trash us the whole time. I'd, yeah. I'd do it. They would just refuse to take their turn. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to purchase an Opus. Okay. So Mike's doing that action. Purchasing Opus. Uh, I'm going to get uh, that one over there. That's going to cost me one of bit of Mozart's talent and two jackets. Yes. And you'll get two pints. Um, and we start off with, you can see Mikey's right here, we start off with Sorry. an opus right there. Yes. This is Wolfgang's, uh, this is Mozart's sister. She was also a very talented composer, but she was mostly ignored because she was a woman, unfortunately. And so as kind of an homage, they put her in the game, which I think is really Mozart's cool. older sister. So yeah. Mozart was greatly very influenced, influenced by her, yeah. By her, but she never got a, uh, a single ounce of credit because, obviously. <laughs> right. Um, hi Zen. What did you do, How's Zen? How's it going? I love this game. Yeah, Zen, this game is so good. We're doing good. Start off Mini Merc Marathon. Start off with the light, some light beige loveliness. You know how we do. Uh, let's go ahead and slide down that card mm. market. Uh, uh, oh, Zen's going to England. Jolly, Jolly old this old. summer. That's cool. Cool. Um, what did you love the best about your trip? Oh man. So on the England side specifically, probably Tacos El Gordo. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to me. Uh, never. Um, oh man. God, Tacos El Gordo's great. I got to go to the Old Globe Theater in London. Yeah, that's um, pretty awesome. And that was lie. really cool. Um, 
Yeah, and I got to see Winter's Tale, and they did something. They have two theaters there, like a small indoor theater than the outdoor globe, and they did for Winter's Tale, which will be ending before the summer, but for the first time, they used both spaces for the same place. Yeah, so we which moved is wild. From the indoor to the outdoor, and then back to the indoor in between the inter in the intermissions and stuff, which was super cool. Um, so that was awesome. We did kind of a tour of London situation, and we did the London Eye, which is expensive, but it was actually really awesome. I was like, you know what? This is tight. Like, this is really cool. So um, I would recommend I'm that. getting this opus, by the way. So I'm going to have to spend two. Where in England are you going? Two Mozart's talent because uh, there is one extra cost above here, above here and three. Ugh, lots of money. That's expensive, eh? That's expensive. And you, know, you get nothing for performing this, Mike. People hate it. <laughs> but I'm probably going to sell it. <laughs> That's what I'm probably going to do. That's worth it. I love you to pay a talent, but you get no money. People are like, this one sucks. <laughs> not, not his finest work. <laughs> um, hmm. Gosh, all the opuses. All the op high. For reals. Um, and the game is five <sighs> rounds, by the way. But the rounds will get a little bit longer because, again, you start later on in the um, the actions, we'll start having two actions on them. Plus, you can start getting, like, bonus actions. It, it starts getting pretty redonky stonks. <laughs> stonks. Um, doing a hiking, tri hiking trip of Scotland, but then heading down to London afterwards. Rad. Oh What's up, gosh. Monster Mash? It's the most. I want to go to Scotland real bad. We thought about it because there's parts of Ireland where, you know, we're like in the northeast and stuff, and you can see Scotland. It's just 12 miles across the water. Yeah, You're like, right. that's Scotland right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, dang, that's pretty close. I want to go there. <laughs> close. Um, we're doing a guest appearances on Matthew and Paula's new podcast. Remember, remember? Um, I would imagine we'll show up degree, at some I'm point. To some degree, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, probably, by What's, the way, Matthew just released a new video. From Taiwan already? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because he's trying to release a bunch, but he tried to walk across Taipei, which is like 20 miles in one day. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but make sure you watch Yes Land. Yes Land's incredible. Matthew's amazing. He's in Taiwan right now. It's bonkers. What's, what are these, the little gilded numbers? Those are basically going to tell you which phase they happen in. So that's going to happen in the maintenance phase. So oh, basically, yeah, yeah. That oh, you'll get, get an I extra see. thing. Yeah. That's right. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a journey action. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do. Oh, you're missing Gen Con, Mary Lou. Ugh. What? Triple bar. That's okay. We're going to miss you, though. You can be at Gen Con this year? Yeah, Praise B. Praise B is going to be there. Chevy Boy. Chevy Boy, dude. We Chevy have to Sam. go to Gen Con this year. Well, we're going. I know, but we have to go. Um, all right, Nick, I'm going to journey. I'm going to go party on that part. Uh, I'm going to move from Salzburg up to München. I have to pay a duck, a dumb duck. Dumb ducky. To go here, and then where I land, you will pay travel costs. I'll pay one journeying cost Ooh, here. To get a finance? Take this. I'm going to get my finances up. I'm going to get a finance, huh? I'm going to get my finances up. So this is going to be boom. money you get at the end of every round. Yes, sir. Sweet. Okay, I am going to, I believe, speaking of finances... Oh, no. I read oh, that one no. wrong. Oh, I read it wrong. Oh, man, I read it wrong, you know. Oh, this dumb, stupid idiot. Why? I don't know. All right, I guess I am going to... Dummy, dumb, 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 stupid idiot. Work on this Requiem. <laughs> it's like, wow. why? It hurts. It hurts. It hurts so much when you say that. I'm going to work on this Requiem. Some work down here. So... Uh -oh. Um, what do I want already, folks. to do? I think oh, be, it's going to cost me. Then just watch Matthew's video. So he's so funny. He is. Matthew is incredible. Right? Just so handsome. Yeah, yeah, he's a handsome lad. Not that it matters, right? Not that no, that's the point. No, it doesn't. But, it's, but a, like, it's a good, it's a plus. Don't hate it. Don't you hate know? the way he looks and sounds. Don't hate you know? the way it looks and sounds, you know? It's just, could be worse. Um, okay, but, Mikey, I am going to work. I'm so excited for your trip, Zen. That sounds really fun. Zen, that sounds rad. Mikey, I'm going to work. We're going to get some Stadler going on. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and do... There's two other composers, by the way. These are the suggested first game ones, but there's four total. Yeah, you I always use two in any combination I've you like. I've only ever played with them, yeah. Yeah, so it'll give different costs and benefits and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and smack this walk. Smack that. You have the bottom one, the Stadler one? <laughs> I'll smack that walk. <laughs> 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 So this is going to cost me one I of Mozart's... I imagine doing stuff with like those spatulas, so it's kind of like hibachi, like Benihana <laughs> exactly. sounds. Like, tink, 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 tink. It's a show, you know? Tink, 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 tink. All righty. And then so here, so these right here are going to flip over and go right here. I'm going to get a... Lunch meeting, Linnea. Illegal. Ooh, God. What are the... you having it in the Viking ship? If yes, not, if what are not, we doing? not, why are you even there? We will see you after, though. 
Uh, and so I put them here, so I've worked on that one, and then I got this. And then now each maintenance phase, which is the cleanup phase, I'll get an extra bump. And then now like... Stadler has worked on this part. And of this will the factor into the end game, basically, whichever composer control, has kind of. worked on it the most, you'll get the higher value for each of your tokens that match. So the 16th note here. So you kind of want to like be part of the majority, I guess. And, and it has a little area control -y. I guess area majority, not so much control. You're not really sure, trying to. Sure. Oh, yeah, it's just, weird. Just go against what it's I said. Weird. Fine. Yeah, I said it. Um, okay. I'm going to acquire a new memory card. Um, I'm going to take that far rightmost card. It'll cost one uh, resource of Machusen's. I'll just choose a little bit of composition. And then I'll replace this. And similar, similarly to what Nick did, um, now this comes with a two ducat bonus. And also if I use it for the story, for the maintenance phase, it gives me three um, Mozart's talent instead of one. Kapam, which will come into effect at the end of this round. Rip. Radical. Radical. Okay, so I got one more around here. Do I turn around? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a travel. I'm gonna travel with Modi's Arts. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just gonna pop right here. It's gonna cost me one ducat. I'm gonna activate that? this one. How you afford that? Oh shoot, I only have one. My guy. My guy. I only have one. Things cost money, bro. I don't and like it. Journeying. I, know, I wanted that too, and then I was like, I don't, I can't afford it. Oh shoot! Um, gosh, is there any one of these I can do or want to do? Okay, I think I'm not gonna do a Mozart's Journey action. Oh man, I don't have much. Turn around. Every now and then. Every now and then. I'm gonna do it every day. All right, let's do. It. We're gonna work on the Requiem again. We're gonna do this one instead. Quit working on the Requiem. Um. Okay. So I think we're gonna do the first one. We're gonna, we're gonna throw a tuba in this. Um, we're going to have it be uh, Eibler, a uh, Stadler again. It's going to cost me one Mozart's composition. Give me the bottom one real quick. What do we do? Bottom. Stadler? Yeah. Stadler! Boom. And then that's going to go here. It's going to give me two ducats. Boom. And then um, I will also get two. Two black discs. Of these discs. Yep. Oh yeah, that's where you can put stuff. I was like, I thought there was a place to put things. Yep, right that's here on your board. They, they thought of everything. They thought of it all. This is a nice board. And it folds over like a little book. It's great. It's great. All right, that's um, me. Okay. I'm going to uh, Journey. I think. Is that a mistake? Turn around my eyes. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's make mistakes. Why not? Um, and I will... Okay, what I want to hang on to for next round, actually, I will hang on to this. The plural form of op the plural form of opus is opera. Dale, thank you for that. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, Mr. Holland's opus. Um, Mr. Dreyfus. Okay, I'm gonna journey. I'm gonna go Pam Pam. So I'm gonna pay three ducks. Three ducky boys. Three dumb ducks. Um, to go up here, I pay one in journeying cost and get three journeying discs, which again, you can hang on to from round to round, which is rippable merch, since we are at the end of the round. Okay. Turn around. So now we're in the maintenance phase. Let's get rid of that way. one. Boom. Let's get over there. Um, so now we're in the maintenance phase. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our own boards here. So, so um, we're going to zero out any of our three tracks. Yep. So you get to keep these kind of discs. You kind, it's funny, you want to pay with the cubes because they're always going to zero out. Yeah. But the discs you kind of want to keep. So Mike, go through your, your maintenance phase. Sure. Here. So what I'm going to take a look at is the bottom here. And if I had any stuff along the right that gave me stuff, you'll see that with Nick, I would also get that. Um, but I am going to get one, two composition points, and then three, four of Mozart's talent. No journeying, but I do have these discs for later, so it's as simple as that. And you also take a look at your finance track. I'm gonna get three dollars, three dummy ducks. Dumb ducks. And I can get a cube bump of Machusens. <sighs> I think I'll get journeying, so I have just I a well. little something something. Fair, Boom. fair. And again, my hand's not dead, I just died eggs, and it looks dead. It looks but creepy. I am, I am okay. I like it. So the All right, so I'm gonna get three journey points right here. I'm gonna get one, two, actually I'm gonna get four journey points. 
one, two of well, those. A big journey and kind of man. And then from this one over here, I'm going to get an extra bump up my Mozart's talent. Yeah. And then I will get two dummy ducks. Um, two dummy duck, 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 gurus. Boom, from that. And then we'll go ahead and take all these cards out. Um, okay, one thing real quick before you do that. Oh, yeah, you're right. The bonus for this round, there's always a kind of an action that you get bonuses for. Up here, you'll get a victory point for every time you did a journey action. I did two of them. I did none. What are you looking at that, honestly? I'll get two points. Um, yes, and then we can get these. These are all going to shuffle up. Whatever card you have left over will be the first card in your hand. Yes. Um, so you kind of get to hang on to a little something, which you can probably do strategically. Indeed. Um, indeed. And so now we're going to clean up the main board, which means any empty spots here are going to get a... Actually, I'll do this afterwards. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, anything that didn't happen is going to get the gilded side, which is going to make them better, which is kind of cool. Yeah, they get, like, pretty good. They great. get nice. <laughs> and then these will bring out new ones there. Um, and then we'll get rid of this bonus and any other cards from this round. So the four cards and then in these the right of the market get wiped cards. out, and then we start... Flipping again. Yep. What the flip? All right, Mike. So this turn, it's going to be uh, Opus ones. Okay. Gaining Opus cards gets you a point of pace at the end of the round. So you can start seeing these actions now have two. Yep. God, did we shuffle these at all? Pretty sure it did. Hey, no worries. Um, okay, yeah. So now they start having two actions. They'll start having like, two actions and points, all this kind of stuff. So I went way too hard for the bonus thingy in my first play, and it did not work for me. It it's, it's, it's some amount of points, but it's not. Um, it's like a nice like, hey, why not? Maybe if I have like I yeah. did in this last turn, I was like, oh, I could journey to something else. Like, well, journey, I get a bonus point out of it. Yeah, might as well go for that, right? I become first plier. Plier. So that's it. That's how you play. That's how you play the god dang game. Let's see. Okay. Turn around. Uh, <clears throat> Bright eyes. Turn around. Skibbity bop, 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 What's a game everyone's been into right now? What are you into? I'll tell you right now, I played Earth last night again. It was great. You did? Mm-hmm. Dude. Played on, on BGI. <sighs> My friend Tara. Oh, yeah, I saw uh, uh, She was at Dice Tower mm -hmm. West. I yeah, like, just became aware of this person, but she's, yeah, she's Yeah, awesome. she's friends with Reggie, and so when I was playing games oh, with Reggie, okay. uh, she and a couple uh, other people were there and stuff like that, and so um, we were talking on Instagram afterwards. And That's awesome. We were like, yeah, let's play a game. So we played Earth, and it's, uh, Earth is very good. It's very, Dude, very it's, good. It's good. It works really well on BGA, too. It does, it does. Nice I still would want to play it here, but it's of like, course. it's, it's. I pre-ordered, bro. Don't worry about it. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Life's been buying games. I I've love it. I know. I got excited. It. The no, thing is, like, went on the trip, no didn't get to buy it. anything, so just like... You write it off, dude. You're good. Just like, bought Obsession. Just make sure you keep receipts. Amazon had a gift card, so it was only five bucks oh, out of pocket. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Um, okay, I'm... <laughs> I'm going to journey again. And let's see what I'm going to slort... Uh, anyone know how well Lacrimosa plays solo? I've heard it's good solo, but I have not tried. I almost, when Mike was gone, I almost played it solo. I ended up not doing it, but uh, I I think it's good. I think I've heard it's good. All right, so I'm going to travel. I'm going to journey just here to Prague. Prague. I'll pay a ducat. And then I'll pay a journey. I'll pay a cube to Nick's point. Might as well pay the cubes because these I can hang on to. Yes. Um, and I'm going to now get to do this action, which is uh, performing or selling one of your opi, and I'll get the bonus of a ducat and a victory point because it's on the gilded side. So I think I'm going to sell. I think I'm going to sell this opus here that my sister wrote. Mm hmm. Um, it's going to cost me one of Mozart's talent. Uh, it gets me no victory points, but it does bump the finances, which is sweet. And then this goes away. So you can't use it. There's, there's a lot of um, cards, or, or I should say these tiles that will reference for endgame scoring certain types of opuses you've collected. So if you do that, you obviously forego any um, ability to use them for scoring. But, you know, I'm thinking the here and now, man. I'm thinking about the here and hey, now. You got to. All right, what you got, bro, bro? Um, 
I need to start working on this composition. I think I am going to also travel. Uh, and then my travel action here also gets me two ducats now because that's my upgraded travel one that I just got. Um, and I think I'm going to go boom, Q1. boom, and spend three. But then I'm going to activate this with two uh, journey points. I'm going to get a point, and I'm going to get eight. So um, I'm just going to gain five instead of getting rid of three. Boom. Nice. Excellent. All right. I'm going to gain a memory card. And this will be the one I slot under, but I'll just uh, do that. I'm going to take that sure. midmost one. one. That's the one right there. It's going to cost me two ducats and a resource of my time, my choosing. I'll use a bit of talent. This will swap out. So now I'll have the ability to make use of an opus and journey if I make use of that in the future, which is most rippable. The most rippable merch, indeed. Um, let's scar Gar you. Let's do this. I'm also going to get a memory. Um, and I think I'm going to grab this one, which means I can get a memory and, ooh, you know, hold on. I think I want to put something else down here. Anyone know how, oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, I picked up a retail version of uh, Steam Up from Barnes & Noble. The game is very random, but I had a good time with it. Uh, it's at Barnes & Noble now? That's yeah. awesome. I do want to play that one. It's really cute looking. Um, that's one that, like, we started seeing at cons, I think, like, four or five years ago. Yeah. And so now it's, like, finally out and stuff, which is really cool. It's but wild, it's like, man, yeah. I've seen booths with Steam Up for Minutes. years. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I would like to play. It looks very cute. It looks cute. A little dim sum. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Nicholas. Okay. Yep. Who are you, Nick? <laughs> oh, I burned him. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Would this be Nick with the with the opuses? This would be anytime like I perform or sell this type of. Yep. Anytime you do anything with that, I think it's also if you gain it. I think anything you, you do interact with, with that, you yeah. you will get an extra point. Turn around my um. All right. I am going to work on the lacrimosa. Uh, the requiem here. I'm gonna do uh. The effectorium movement, the third movement. Classic. Um, and I'm going to pay two composition points and two duckles. And ducky duck ducks. Dummy dummy duck duck ducks. And uh, do Ibler. Kaboom. Ibler's going to be, let's see. Uh, Ibler's going to be ripping on a trombone. For this one. Tuba, but fine. Sorry, tuba, my bad. I thought I was trying to remember correct. I'm trying to come correct. Um, it's going to be a little tuber. Tuber. So, do I want to get this or I want to get this? Well, uh, that one you would also have to play on a tuba, I believe. Or oh, no, yeah. you have to put it, no, you just have to put it within the, the same. same well, actually, double check. I can't remember. You have to put yeah, it on the same check. instrument or you have to put it on the same. I don't have to play it in the same movement. I don't quite remember if it has to be in the same instrument or not. Never go within the same bowel movement, yeah, <laughs> girl. Um. This rule book is laid out in kind of a weird way. And there there's like the components like, in detail bit, which yeah, is probably in there. Yeah, it's they do mention it, it's going to be further in the back. Yeah, but I'll be there. They mention the neutral one. Well, they just mentioned that it doesn't count for anyone in particular, but it does count toward creating the Majoritar. Yeah, yeah, but the question is, is, does it have to be on the same instrument? I think I it just has to be in the same movement, movement. but... Movement. Um, I'll just say the same movement, because I can't find it. All right. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do... I could use a little cash, though. Yeah, so let me do a second one, some moot point for the moment. Anyway, I'm going to get two ducats. Boom. This will be the eighth note since it's Ibler. Get some monish. Get that money, honey. Take it away, Mar, dude. I'm going to travel. 
Um, and we're gonna go right there. It's gonna cost us one ducat. And this right here, I can spend uh, journey points and I basically can perform a, uh, a hymn, a religious piece, and get seven bucks. I'm gonna perform this religious piece, which normally huh. would give me no money, Smart. and get seven bucks because of it. Seven biggies. Let's try to stack cash. Stack. Money over everything. Said so played L. Alef Null today, which I liked, and Alien, The Fate of Nostromo, which I found too difficult to win using three characters solo. Yeah, we got, I think, pretty destroyed when we played Alien. It's, it, like, it, it'll it um, spiral out on you pretty pretty quick if you're not careful. So I think I should play Deadly Dowagers. I really want to play Deadly Dowagers. Hi, Board Game Garden. What to do? I'm going to go subscribe to Board Game Garden right now. Do it. You're not down, you cowards. Uh, I'm sorry. Jenna, that. what are you doing? What are you working on? Jenna, what are you up to? Um, oh, okay. I'm oh, um, uh, must say my English pronunciation improved greatly watching your channel. Um, Monage. I don't know what Monage means, but you're welcome. Uh, I think that maybe it might be a, a, a reference to the point that we barely speak English. <laughs> I think, uh, no, I think we say everything perfectly. Do Mike and I purposely mispronounce stuff all the time? Yes. I don't know where we, why we started that, but we've been doing that for like years It's just years. more fun. What were, we, what were we doing yesterday? I feel like we were saying something and it just, it's just more fun. Yeah. We just, we purposely mispronounce so much. <laughs> all right. I'm going to journey. I'm going to go here, back to Salzburg. For a, Get a for Salisbury a steak hair. Uh, and then I will turn in one of my journey discs to pay for this. And this is going to give me a dollar, a victory point, and the ability to gain an opus. And uh, I'm going to gain that opus that's right there. This one? That one right there. So it cost me four bucks and just a wee bit of talent from Moser. So give me three points. Kabam. One, two, three. Just like so. All right. Um, so I've been painting Wonderland's War Minis. Ooh. I've been getting uh, uh, rehyped for actually playing the game. I bet. Yeah, that's a game I really want to paint. I don't know when I'll talk. I have so much stuff I So do you do you do you paint. picture that you're gonna like go hard on, on Marvel United until it's done? I don't know. No, no, God, no! Because I'll never, I'll never finish it. Um, you can do it, man. Bro, I believe I've done in two, two and, two and a half. half, two and a half, and two it's and been half. a very long time. Green Goblin. No, I doubt right I'll go. I'll will go really, really hard until it's done. I think it'll be a thing I'm kind of constantly painting. Um, but the problem is, the problem is, it's like I a lot of times like throwing like smaller projects in there. Mm -hmm. The problem with something like One of the War, which I really want to paint, it's like that's also a pretty big painting project at this point because yeah. of all the. If it was just the. And you would want to, for that kind of game, it's like you kind of want to get that done. Yeah. Because what's cool about something like Marble United is like you could just cherry pick the painted ones or play a game with all unpainted. Yes. Wonderland's where you don't have that luxury. Yeah, yeah. And um, there's definitely some things where like I'm down to kind of like more speed paint. Like, so one thing I'm doing is I'm painting one of the monsters from Monster Hunter World. Oh, cool. Because I was just like, I've never painted like a big monster. And I was like, you know, I bet I could do this pretty quickly, like speed paint this to a degree. Like and three because, to five months. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and it I think does. it'd probably look okay. Well, you know? So I wanted to try that and it has been looking pretty good. Cool. Um, but so I can like throw stuff in like that, but One of Land's War is a pretty big project. And I, but like, I'm down to speed paint something like Monster Hunter's World because they're yeah. so textured, you can kind of speed paint it. But like the... They're so smooth. They're so in smooth. That's honestly an issue, kind of thing. And so I don't think I'd careful. want to. Uh, Dale says one that I picked up from you uh, was a pyramid for pyramid. Well, pyramid, pyramid is the correct. <laughs> pyramid is the correct. So that's how you say that word. Pyramid. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get this opus right here. It's gonna cost one Mozart's talent and one ducat. Um, one ducati. Uh, it's gonna give me two pints. Uh, and actually, get, I'll get one of these back. So I shouldn't even spend it. Blam. Kablam. Doosh, 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 doosh. Yeah, so want to paint, but I'm trying to paint more often. Um, and I might be doing like a painting stream moving forward. Cause that's true. That'll actually help a lot. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not do that it. much time, but, it but it's painting, the regularity the thing, of it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'll stop for like weeks, basically. Sure, sure. Not committed. Uh, all right. Is that's that it? it? 
Yep. Maintenance phase. All right, so I'm gonna get, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get a lot. Oh, my star. So I'm actually gonna bump the top of this, which get a is dollar. gonna duck it. Yeah. I didn't realize really what I was putting down there. Uh, a lot of different stuff, basically, or a lot of the same thing. Okay, and then finances. I'm gonna get two more ducats. Ducats. All right, I'm gonna get three talent. Three talent. A journey and a composition. And then I'll get four monies, four duckles, a victory point, and a track bump of the choosing. Whoa, I'm gonna, mm -hmm, mm, composition. All right. What's the track bump you're choosing? Huh? This. Oh, sweet, yeah. Um, okay, so now we're gonna get rid of these four plus Two. these. That's what I like about this game. Is did you do any opus cards? Oh yes, I did one, so I'll I get did, one more point. I didn't do nothing. I got an opus card. That's why I did it last. I was like, way. ah, I'll go ahead and do this right now. So then, oh, that's the same. This will flippy flop. You flippity flap. Heard a lot about the new painting technique, slap chop. You put it ear paint into a slap chop. Put the mini into a slap Got chop. It. Only. Everything gets painted, everything gets chopped. You now have a painted salad. Boom, boom, croutons. Uh, slap chop is cool. I think well, it slap is. Slap chop, is it for reals? Yeah, slap chop's a real thing. Well, first of all, well, slap man, chop. I know it's a real thing. It's an amazing thing. way slap to cut onions. Slap chop is not a new thing. It's just named Slap Chop now, and like like a kind of mini paint channel did it and named it Slap Chop. So, it's like so now it's like kind of everywhere, but it's not. A, it's this has been around for a very long time. I've seen it on ads since the nineties. Indeed. Um, so yeah, Slap Chop is uh, it's cool. It's it's it works well with very textured minis on something like Wonderland's War. It would not work. Um, so basically, what Slap Chop is is you prime something black, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a white dry brush over everything basically kind of like a zenithal highlight yeah. but with white with a dry brush which means it's a lot grittier but it's really fast which is nice and then after that you'll put some kind of like transparent paint over it like a contrast paint or like inks or something like that and it does give a pretty good especially if you're trying to do stuff quick it's a really quick way to get a mini looking pretty good i think it's not nearly as versatile as people yeah claim I mean, it's it for is. everything you're like mm, i wouldn't um, but it's cool, and especially if you're like really textured means like a slap chop method on something like Monster Hunter World, where it's like a bunch of monsters that are all scaly and stuff like that. Great. Yeah. For something like One of the Ends War, where everything's kind of round and yeah. smooth, or like um, Marvel United, not that great. What I would say is get an airbrush, do a zenithal highlight with the airbrush, and then do the contrast paint over it. That will give you a much smoother look. Smooth. And that that is the way. Personally, I would go about slap chop, um, but it it is very cool, um, and it's cool that it's finally kind of making it more or less to like the kind of painting mainstream. Cool. But it works really well with really textured minis, but First not nearly as well it, with like smoother minis. It. Interesting. But it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's. I feel like with those smooth minis, there's nothing. There are no get out of jail free cards. Like there's so many contrast paints and this and that, which like work for everything, not everything, but they work for so many things except for yeah. chibi style or any of those. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's like, there's chibi no style way to hide. Chibi style is the, your it's cheat so hard. code. It's not really a cheat code because it's still difficult, but is an airbrush. That's the way yeah, to get, get the nice way to get, yeah, the way to get smooth gradients on Do you on do any of that sphere? on like your Marvel United's like as a baseline? Yeah, most of, most of Captain Marvel was done with an airbrush. At least all the red stuff was done with an airbrush. Really? Yeah, and then her flame mohawk was done with an airbrush. Really? You can get that detailed? Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's, I guess it's not complete. I say so. You I get like down, a baseline, and then you go and in. And then I'll put in. I'll put a there. tiny bit of detail with the brush. Yeah. Wow. But that's the thing. So an airbrush, and that's why I did it. Especially like now, granted, if there's a bunch of different colors on them, an airbrush would be tough because there's only so detailed you can get with it. But her, I was like, okay, let me do an airbrush because she's mostly red, and her big bowling ball head is almost <laughs> entirely red too. Is it just over there? I thought it was just no. I, I, put, I brought it back home to put it in, okay. its, in its thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Great yeah. feedback. Smoosh. I've been paying like whoa this week. What's up, Quicksand? Quicksand heard yeah. uh, one of those words. Said, "Excuse me." Psh, there you go. Yeah. Nick's gonna be first this round. Uh, did we touch up everything here that we needed to? Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, slap chop can work. And also, it's like one of those things. That also, if you want something, 
like if you you can do it on Marvel United, but they're gonna look grittier. But maybe you want that. Maybe you want kind of like a a grim, dark, gritty look. So Mike, you're now it's gonna be memories ones. To memories. Do. I love. So these are like cards acquired in the first from the first and second era, right? Okay. So that one's. Oh, I guess if you have a set, so one, yeah. two, four, and five, you get seven. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't really love my first hand of cards here. Um, I'm going to get another Aripus. No Aripus. I got money and I got all these freaking pints. You better not. You better not. Um, and I'm gonna get this one down here at the very end. So it's gonna, I'm gonna gain you know one, what? it's gonna cost one. This is supposed to get removed. Can we get a, a fresh suit? So. Oh, yeah. Boop. And I'll get another one of these eye pieces. <sighs> Mr. Holland's eye piece. Eye piece. Get yourself a night piece. Night piece. Um. I might do the same. If you want to see a really good video that kind of breaks down the slap chop thing, watch Goobertown Hobbies. He kind of did like a modified slap chop um, video and kind of different ways to go about it, and uh, it's really good. Yeah, but any of those big monster games, kind of like a oh sworn, anything with like big monsters with fur or scales on that slap chop can work although again e even with, with just the fur i think you should do a gray intermediate color in there personally listen to nick nick is wise nick i'm gonna get an op Ooh, tammy's been painting like wow this week can what? i get can i get that that second from the wrong yes sir that's gonna cost two talent how much money i don't know good god four dollars it's worth nothing Boom, and it's gonna give me four, count them, four victory points. Ooh. Wah, 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 memory. Speaking of memories, I'm gonna get a memory. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yep. <clears throat> um, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, my hands. Oh, my hands. Girl. Uh, I'm gonna get this one right here. It's gonna cost Before three. You break my butt. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go. Wow. What? Wow. I'm going to give this a double opus one. Oh, so you about to be singing. Singing. Yeah. Singing down the river. Um, I'm singing, yeah, on the, yeah, we're singing on the river. Um, all right, and then I can now perform or sell in, a, ooh, double travel. And you get one of those. Ooh, nice. So I can soar. Sell or perform. I'm gonna guard your head, and I'm gonna perf I'm gonna sell this one right here, the one I just got recently. It's yeah. gonna be one of my finance, and then yep. two pints. Sometimes you get no, but it's just to sell that butt. Get out of here, you stupid. It was the thematic beige I've ever seen. It David is. Phillips, see? See David Phillips. And Euro Phillips, games. We will the best email games. you, by the way. Oh yeah, bro. In short, don't worry about it. Just don't give worry. us your address. Yeah, real talk. Don't even, don't even stress it, dude. Um. So I turned on the stream and quite literally the first thing I heard was one of those more quick saying it was just for you. It was just for you. Yep. Yep. You knew you knew what was gonna happen. But yeah, I got a I got a little uh with Lincoln's recommendation and I freaking love it. I got a little because uh, you know the thing about um airbrushes is you need like a compressor. Yes. Right? And I'm always worried that it's super loud. Well now I got this little compressor, it's like this little it's kind of like a big vape, almost, honestly. You can vape out of it, dude? You can vape out of it, dude. That's all I've been doing, dude. That's Sick. why I've been late to work every day. Um, <laughs> Take the airbrush and go, <laughs> ah. <laughs> but you just pop it in the bottom of your airbrush, and it's a little compressor. What? So now it's like, it's free. It's just like, it's something like that, and it's, it's, it's like. How is it, how does it, how is it powered? Does it have a It's a USB. It, it's, it's, so, so you, you charge it. And it can actually it. run. Yeah, you charge it. And it, now granted, it, you can't like adjust the flow of it like you can a normal compressor. But like it flows more or less at the same flow I'd have my other compressor on because I just don't know much about it, so I'm not gonna be like adjusting flows. And it's cool, and it's like it's kind of like meh, meh. so it's a little bit louder. But my main thing is like the big compressor it's like, not, it's vibrates a ton, yeah. yeah. And so now I'm just like, oh, I've been airbrushing a ton lately That's because cool. I can just go like, oh, I'll pop this in, boom, boom, clean hey, out. You boom. can count on Lincoln to have like Dude, the Link, cool it's stuff. cool. They're really, really cool. 
Is it me? Is it me? You done? You good? You done? You good? What? You done? You good? Yes. Martin said, Nick, claim is going co-op. I love two trick taking. Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> really? Can you post? Uh, can you post a, a linky to whatever you're talking Picture about? Picture didn't happen. Because that sounds. I love claim. It's my favorite trick taking game. Make it co-op. I'll probably like it even more. Dave uh, Phillips like claim. I saw Dave Phillips and uh, Steve play claim. You, you think you saw what you saw, but you did. Nick, I'm going to perform. Directly or musically? Oh, okay, you got it. You got it. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to perform this and get three dollars. Just a little performance. It didn't cost no talent. That's a piece. Of sucks. <laughs> That's a no talent piece. Of crap. Three bucks. <laughs> uh, every time I perform or interact with this type of uh, uh, thing, I'll get a victory point. Did you? Did we determine if you buy? Yes, it's editing. So I'm gonna get two points because I didn't get that from the last. Yeah, if you commission it, if you perform it, or if you sell it. Okay. You get the extra. Then the other half of that is I can do a journey action. Love journey. Um, Claim alliances. Wow, cool. That's rad. It's very cool. I said, I said, I said it was cool first. So. That's cool. Co-op claim. I'm here cool for first. it. Um, because my thing is like I love Fox in the Forest. I love Fox in the Forest duet. And so my thing is, I'm guessing it'll also be small. So it's like you fit all this stuff in a little package. Like, let's go. I'm gonna pay three ducats and I'm gonna go boom, boom up here at the Prague. Ooh, we get five discs. I'm huh? gonna go spend one and a disc. Yeah, to get five discs, I'm gonna choose. And you can go ahead while I figure yeah. out what I might want to take. Um, what do I want to do, girl, 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 girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, Let's do this. I'm gonna work on the requiem. It's illegal. You mustn't. You must. But I must. But I must. Um, I think let's do, ooh. Let's do the large movement, the second one, the large bow movement. Sequentia. Uh, I'm gonna go, can I get that idler one right there? Yep. It's gonna cost how much money, three? Uh, two, two ducats and okay. a composition point. Right. Sir. All right, and then this is going to gar. It's on a. So this is going to go on a uh, on a cello. Cello. Get yourself a bass. That was a viola. It's a viola. I don't know. We don't have a funny one for that one. What's that, what else does that look like? What else does that look like? All the rest of ones are really funny. You say fiddle? I mean, fiddle maybe. No, that's just a violin. A fiddle's a violin. No, but it's the way you play it. No, no, it's the way no, you rip no, into no, it. No, no, wrong. Increase. Ukulele. You can, that's, a, that's a ukulele, thank you. I was like, there's, there's gotta be a better one for this. Okay, there's a ukuleles now. Um, Castro, those ukuleles now. Ukuleles. So I'm put this on a ukulele. Um, and I'm gonna get one um, disc for travel. Okay. Uh, Hi, Atlas. Said, uh, Borlandia is doing a March Madness board game bracket. Winner gets $50 gift card in this game is royally screwing my bracket. Why, because it's so good? Get wrecked, Atlas. Boom. Or is it so bad? I'm not sure. How, it... does the, how does the bracket work? Like, are people voting, it, are on, people voting on what game they like? Also, uh, I'm so sorry I haven't responded to your text, man, but I'm very excited to hear more about the Uprising expansion for Maracaibo. Oh, did you play it? Jim's did. Oh, nice. Baseball's oh. on Giants versus Yankees, Nats versus. Oh, Warriors. that's right. Don't, don't tell it starts me. Starts in Mike, three. Mike is not going to pay minutes. attention to y'all anymore. He's just going to watch. Swallow he's does. literally just, just going to watch the board. Just give me a second here. The game now. Well, hold on now. You know why? Thanks, Barry Lou. Um, you know why? Because Karen forgot to cancel oh. MLB TV. She get charged again, <laughs> so dude. Let's go for the whole season, baby. Ooh. Which is admittedly too expensive, <laughs> but how much is it for the whole season? Oh, it's like a. I don't, it's not that expensive. It's a hundred something bucks, but um, I mean, it's one, if you use it, it's worth it. If you don't use yeah. it, that's when it's not worth it. See, Karen, what she did last year was got it on the. They always do a Father's it's, Day yes, sale, and I it's know. like way cheap. And you're still baseball does not matter before Father's Day, really. No, no. And so it's a, a better deal that yeah, way, yeah. I think. Um, I'm going to. I'm so poor. Um, when is Father's Day? June second. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Sunday in June. Something like that. So. Or third, you, you've you've been a father during a father's day. I've been a father okay, during a father's right. day. Um, Whereas Karen has not been a mother during Mother's Day. No, but she will be on it's Logan's birthday. <laughs> on Logan's birthday. What a good double birthday. 
I'm going to do this. The fiddle is a violin with more yeehaw energy. That's, that's what I'm true. saying. Uh, Kestro, I will try, I will link that, um, let's see if I can find it right now. I'll link that compressor. It's freaking awesome. It's really cool. And it's cheaper, too. And it's quieter. It's great. Oh, actually, can I even afford to do anything? Um, well, I'm in it now, aren't I? So, oh, good God. All right, change my mind. I'm doing this action first. Uh, so I'm going to get two ducats. Two ducats. And then I'm going to, I think... I think I'm gonna sell an opus. I'm gonna sell this opus for one bit o talent. These look great, Castrell. And this Alice is gonna looks good. You did her eyes really well. Bump my finances and get me two points. Cass, you have improved as a painter. Wow, do you hear? I, I wasn't saying that. Do you I wasn't hear? saying anything bad. Do you hear the shade? Do you hear the shade is thrown, singing the throne of angry man? Is it me? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, you have your own phone. Turn off the game, Mike. Uh, well, I don't know where I'm going. A Discord. Go to Discord, turn the game off, Mike. After the first pitch, though. <laughs> <laughs> who's who's even... our ace? Is it Logan still? Yeah, he's okay. there. For sure. Yeah. He's the only good player on our team? Well, all of our good pitchers go away every year, so. But is, not, he, not, is he's... he the only good player on our team? Lance is still around? <laughs> <laughs> Even around since the '80s, it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be a good year. I, I think, think we'll, we'll be do better than we think. Not, but I don't think that will be like be fireworks. Much. Yeah, you know I don't mean? think it'll be much, but we'll do better than we think. Yeah, that watch, watch is... the Giants go two and zero against the Yanks just to be like, suck it, Judge. You know, do you think so good? I doubt it. Get hey. the Boo Birds going early in New York. How good would that be? Um. Oh, can I get there? That'll be three. Oh yeah, heck yeah. All right, I'm gonna Traval. Um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna travel. We're gonna go blam, blam. It's gonna cost me a total of three ducats. Blam. Um, and then I can turn in one travel point and I can sell a religious um, opus to get an extra two finance, and this one doesn't give me any oh. finances for doing so. I'm gonna get two points for that. Boom, boom, and I'll get two more finances bump now. on the finances? I do like the travel, because it allows you to do stuff, yes. but like cooler travel versions of it, kind awesome. of. freaking awesome. It's one of the favorite parts of the game. Yeah, it's. I agree. It, it really changes stuff up quite a bit. Um, okay, I'm going. Wait. I forgot to find two jokes. Go ahead. I'm going to now work on Mr. Holland's Opus. Right, I'm going to try and find that compressor for Kester. Requiem de la Cromosa. Um, and we are going to... <laughs> yeah, go sports ball. Hope the right uniform uh, colors win. Yay, Giants. Um, all right, Nick, I'm going to work on the Agnus Dei. Uh... If I'm so inclined, this is going to cost me two composition, three duckles, and got to drop down on my finances. But it's okay because I got the old ladies out here going like, fair share, fall sheep, truth. And that's going to bump my finances back so my finances will stay. And this means that every time I do a journey action, I get to do another journey action. You still got to pay and all that jazz. But yeah, those are, I was like, ah, that sounds kind of pretty cool. sweet. All right. You know. All right, Castro, in the, uh, the mini painting uh. channel, there is a uh, link to that thing. The cool thing is, is it comes with an airbrush. It's not like the best airbrush, but it's fine. Um, Can you use other airbrushes on it? Yeah, like, of course. You, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but this is great because like oh this will be my priming airbrush, nice because I don't really priming I'm just kind of like, I don't really care right so so check in there it's very I like it a lot nice dude uh, all right we're at the end of the round my friends so we're gonna go quick quick and do our income 
uh, maintenance phase. So I'm gonna get two journey. I'm gonna get a bit of talent, bit of composition, five, count them, five ducats. Um, two victory points and a bump on a track of Machusens. I think I will go with Ooh, Ooh, I get two more victory points, and I get another bump. Let's just keep it even, Steven. We got a lot of, we got a good even amount, and then another five Dukes. Bobby Duque. Um, fresh my opus right here. Okay. So my friends, how is your march going? Hopefully good. People vote. It's getting. Uh, is getting its butts kicked by Race Up Bet. Yeah, Race Up Bet's more yee-haw, hoot and holler. Right. Which maybe would lead to more votes. Um, it's a great game too, it's really fun, so I'm not saying it doesn't deserve a success, but Akramos is a little more like, yo, you know? That's actor. Random Q, what actor has the worst quote to yell at them on the street? I think uh, Lena Headey is Game of Thrones. Just kidding. Shame, shame <laughs> on you. Um, Pretty good. I don't know. Adam Sandler must have had a rough time after Waterboy with all the you can do it. So that must have been like, it's not like a bad thing, but it must have been like, I'm pretty over this. <sighs> Rob did me dirty. You know what I mean? Robert Snyder's still getting that. Let's be honest. He ain't done nothing else. Not much. Except for be against COVID vaccines and such. Yeah, I heard that. I heard he's kind of hey. a little bit of a wacko. Hey, he kind of sucks. Sucks. It's unfortunate. I hate, I hate to, to see it. it. Is this new? Uh, no. So this is new. Um... Yeah, I could see you could do it being really grating. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's nonstop. <sighs> um, all right, so then these are going to go away. These are going to go away. <laughs> Along with these. Oh, sorry, did we do... I did one of those. I know that. I did not do any. Okay, I did one. Forgot about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Right, guys? Uh, Hagrid. R.I.P. Yeah, that's right. Poor Rob. I mean. All right, so now you do an opus, you'll get two coins. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Making me crazy every time I Is look it me? around. No. You. Every time I look around. Every time I look around. Um. Starters. Did I get all start not, not quite. I did. Um, singing a song of anger. Man. Let's do. Smash that like button if you're here, you I'll smash the thumb. Sure smash the like button, y'all. Um, Remember, that, after this, we're going to be playing uh, Her Story and then Trekking Through History. Uh, and Her Story is on super sale through the month of March, so make sure to check it out. Big shouts out to Underdog Games for sponsoring the midsection. The it's right here. Effortor effortorium, as it were. <laughs> Tying in Nick seamlessly. I'm going to do a journey, which means I get to do a double journey. Um, right, yeah. Okay. <sighs> what do I want to do, do? So Rob Schneider is such a lucky man to have Sandler single-handedly keeping him employed for like 25 years. Yeah, you yeah. ain't wrong. Sandler's done that for a lot of people, let's be honest. Um, he's got the Mark Twain prize and Steve Buscemi was funny. He's like, you know, he's just like, I used to be a serious actor before you, man. He did like edgy indies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, I'm going to spend a journey point here. I'm going to get three composition discs. And then a ducat and a victory point, if you could please. And then I can take another journey action because of my uh, efforts to compose myself. And I'm just going to journey here for a ducat, pay another journey point, and get two ducats, a victory point, and a card, memory card. I'm going to take that for two ducks, 
and a resource of my choice, and I'll do composition. Composition. Say composition, Nick. Composition. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm doing. Oh, this goes away. Um. I'll go ahead and get a memory. Um, I'm going to do... Bros, I like the component trays you're using. These are X trays from Game Trace. Yes. They are available um, a lot of places, honestly. Um, but Lucky Duck sells them. They're yep. very good. Got the Giants colors out. You know what I'm saying? In support. Um, in support. Currently 0-0, zero, zero, top of the first. We got a runner on first, one out. Uh, are we at home or count? We are in the Bronx, baby. Okay. Got Will Mayer, Flores up on a 2 1 count. Uh, Garrett Cole, Ooh, probably Sergio pump one in here. Just retired. Oh, huh? Uh, oh, I, just I haven't read that. Yeah. yeah. Nine. But he retired as like a giant. I think they brought him back. Yeah. For like... they, they'll, they'll do that like a contract for a day kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was just like, dude, let's go, man. Yeah. Sergio, what a legend. Dude. Um, Reels, like, what a great player. Yeah, dude. Such a good guy. Um, okay, so I did that, and now I can perform or sell an Opus. I think I'm just going to sell this one, because it's not, like, really a great performance, let's be honest. That's what you get when you get the Strike Quartet 1. <laughs> Trash, more like. Um, uh, no. Jim says, I feel like the death of Farley made Sandler really realize the importance of keeping his uh, friend family together. I mean, it must have been a, I like, not wrong. Yeah. really shaking thing for all of them, Spade and all, because... I'm sure there was some amount of like what could, I should I I could have done something I should have right. done something. There's probably an immense amount or of guilt. Or that could have been me, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah right. and like, so and I can imagine that Sandler is sort of taking care of people. I could see that. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. So I'd love to get a one day contract from the Giants. Let's make it happen. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Just get one day on the team. Just one day. Dude, it'd be that's like my entire salary for a year. Let's be honest. Uh, one day. League minimum is. More than your salary. <laughs> one day, though? Oh, one day? Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Um, we don't make that much money. We are board game famous, though, so that's the best part. So there is that, baby. <sighs> I mean, you have a, you've been able to afford a kid. That's pretty good. Yeah. You got to imagine it's cheap. I'm, I'm very happy with my life, man. Are you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to do, what's the cost of everything? Three and two. Uh, I'm going to get to memory. So I'm going to get that second right there, right there. And that's going to cost me three ducats. Two something. Two resources. I'll just do these two. Um, and I'll swap this out for this. How are we in the fourth round? Excuse me. You sure are. Illegal. Illegal, illegal. My purple sticky, sticky punch, punch girl. Going for it there on a 2 2 count. <laughs> wow. Swing out of his shit. <laughs> <laughs> a 3 2 count, a bounce. <laughs> you must do it, Jacques. Oh, Let's get Jacques. It Jacques, yeah, Jacques was doing it. We got a jockey boy. Yeah, we got we got a good team. One, we got a good team. One, two, three. It is. I feel like in typical Giants fashion, it's going to be like up to players to play to their fuller potential, right? To for something yeah. magical to happen. Yeah, right? yeah. It's not going to be well, and that's any team because what the Yankees are stacked, but guess what? A bunch of players don't play their potential. Guess nothing what? good happens. They lose every year. Yeah. Guess so who also you, does? The Dodgers. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Not talking smack, but let's talk some smack. The Dodgers, for all their talent and all their stuff and all their dominance, and they have been dominant, have one World Series victory, and it was in the Mickey Mouse COVID year. Yeah. So you could. I'm not, you taking, could, them, I'm not taking away from them. You could and but, should, in theory, take it away from them. Because <laughs> it wasn't a real year. It they won a real in a weird year. Let's be honest. They won in a fake year. So. Although they did, they did lose some people. They they didn't actually no, have yeah. for once they didn't have like a crazy blockbuster like Judge didn't go to the Dodgers, no. you know, like no, they lost Trey Turner, it. which got a hurt. Oh yeah, I'm sure they're like, damn, damn, <laughs> that sucks. He's very good at baseball. Um, he's good baseball player. <laughs> See how the Mets are. The Mets, oh boy, is just using all that money he uh, is he more or less illegally got to uh, who what 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 the guy who owns the Mets, Cohen or something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's blowing it. Yeah, because, you, you know, someday it'll catch up to him and go to jail. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> he'll just be like, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm going I'm to get all of it. 
Question, um, would the cards still slide in the player boards if they were sleeved? No. They do not, James Cartwright. I will tell you right now because... Did you play a sleeve copy? <laughs> we played a sleeve copy at Dice Art West, and you better believe we unsleeved it as we were playing because we're like, why would you sleeve this game? I'm guessing whoever sleeved it didn't know how the game worked. They were just sleeving everything because I I'm think sure. Dice Art West usually sleeves everything. Well, it's just it serves as an important reminder. Sleeving is horse crap, and you shouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it will not. Um, I'm going to perform for money. They are meant to fit into here. Like so a glove. And since I did uh, chamber music, I will get a victory point, please. Sure. Uh, every time I around. <laughs> it's like, wow, you're really, you're really interpreting that song in a different way. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to get an upa. Yeah, the unsleeving was bonkers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were just like the whole time having to unsleeve we're, the we're whole thing. We're anti-sleeving now, but it is, honestly, we talked about this the other day, it's mostly because like it's really bad for the camera, so you are the yes. beneficiaries of us not sleeving, and we realize that we just literally don't handle the materials of a game enough for it to matter. Yeah, we don't play a game often enough we for don't. it to matter. That, and we that's, just don't. Not everyone, some people replay their games a lot, and, and they really need that. We just don't. So we're just Oop. like, we benefit none. Oof, I'm going to blow a lot. I am. We're gonna get this. Was that like Dice Tower for a library sleeping or stuff? Oh, Makes I get it. Absolute sense. I totally get <laughs> it. Because it's yeah. gonna get handled. It's just like we're just like, oh my gosh, this does not work. I'm gonna get this one right here. It's very it's, expensive. Yeah, it's a fraud, perpetrated by the government. Uh, trying to get you to to spend time and money you don't need. Boom. Okay. Basically, sleeves are a product of big plastic. Yeah. Meddling. Big plastic. plastic. What's up, uh, Casey? What do do? Um, Keishi CZ from the Czech Republic. That makes sense. You have CZ in your name. Um, that does. Hey guys, I'm catching you live for the first time. Greetings from the Czech Republic. Where in the Czech Republic you live? To be fair, I've only ever been to Prague, but I loved Prague. It was one of my favorite cities. You're right about there. Right about there. Right there. Prague. You're here. Prague. Look at you. Um, there you go. Hello to you, uh, Nick. I'm going to perform. It's so good to see you, Cassie. It's gonna be one, two. Three, we're so happy to have you uh, join us live. Uh, and I'm gonna get a victory point if you could please. How do you get more victory points than me? I uh, just bought Illegal. one more. Six. Uh, and I'm gonna get to do two journey actions. And I'm gonna go three dollars up to here. Oof, far. And spend a yearny point and get my finances. Oh, I get a no point, girl. Whoa. And then I think I'm just gonna go another dollar up here. Turn in a journey point and get two ducats, a victory point, and two discals of Machusens. Discals of my briscals. All right. My last action, I'm going to do a dying journey. Um, Driscoll of my briscoll. Oh, I do want to do that. I don't know. I can't do it. Um. I'm gonna get two ducats, which I'm gonna immediately spend to go bop, bop, and I'm gonna get this royal court here yeah, in I probably Vienna. Should have done that on my turn, to be honest. I, yeah, I, I know have I have that. one, two, four, and I can get five, so I'm like, ah, I might as well. It's gonna cost me one journey point, and I'm gonna get a journey disc, a coin, and then a pint. So these royal courts will score at the end of the game. Because it's a royal court in Vienna. Well, Judge has his first that bat. He's batting a thousand with one home run. No, really? Yeah. Dang, he's very good at baseball. No, oh, he could have been a giant. Yeah, he was never good. Could have been a giant. Um. So, what's the final count of games you took with you across the pond, and which one did you play the most? What did you end up taking? Scout. Uh, I brought Scout. Because I was going to bring Dice Star West, and it wasn't here anymore. We should, have, be, we should have let you take it. We need to get two copies. We need to get two copies. I just need to keep one because yeah. I feel like we both. Plus, you could have put it in your video, and you just didn't have access to it, and that's my fault. Yeah, no worries. Uh, oh, I brought fine. Scout, um, Tussie Mussy. Okay. Very small. Village though. Rails, Palm Island, uh, and My City Rolling Right. And then I purchased Oh My Goods and the two expansions, which are all very small. I played Oh My Goods the most. Fair. I played it like three or four times. Yeah. I played all the rest zero times. <laughs> I played Scout, to be fair. I, I did play Scout. You did play Scout. Around. All right, so we're going to get our income. I'm going to get uh, three points. 
Um, and I was on a hunt for sea salt and paper all over there and did not find it. It's never gonna happen. I'm gonna get coins, I'm bumping my, this one right here. And I'm gonna get one, Boom, two, three, Mario. four of this, and I am gonna get only one journey. Oof, okay. Oh, I actually got two journeys. Blam. Um, and then I'll get my finances. We're gonna be three more points. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, one thing I might choose, and I guess I'll get another journey, and I'll get six ducats. Bum, 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 bum. What? All right, and that's it for me. All right, I'm just gonna refresh these opi right here, my operos. Um, okay, I am going to get two, uh, sorry, three journey, three talent. Uh, and three victory points. One, two, and three. Uh, I will get six duckies, three points, and a bump of my choice. And I suppose I'll choose Campagician. What did I say? Three points? One, two, and three. All right. Um, yeah, we saw Hornist. <laughs> what happened? He said, sorry, Judge Homer just said it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we oh yeah, no, he took that deep. Um, what are you gonna do? It's Judge. You know, he's gotta, he's gotta, he's gotta prove to these freaking ungrateful Yankee fans, worst fans in all of sports, Fair. Uh, that he um, deserves booed. his money and stuff. Getting booed, classic. Pro he probably got booed for the home run, if I'm honest. We're like, do more! And he's just like, that doesn't make sense. Um, Cassie is from the city of Zlin. I've heard of Zlin. Cassie, I'm lying. I've never heard of Zlin. Zlin, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry for lying to you there. So you've never heard of on the other side of the country. That, that's accurate. I haven't. Um, so nice surprise you went to Prague, though. Yeah, Prague was my second favorite city in um, in all of Europe. I really loved Prague. My favorite was Vienna, actually. I loved I loved that part. We went to Vienna, Prague, and Berlin, and those were my three favorite cities in... That's a good little stretch right there. Yeah, it was so good. Um, we were talking about, on our trip, the next family vacay, probably in, like, 2025, to be honest, <laughs> of doing, like, Germany. And like, and maybe yeah. tying it into when we go to Essen oh, or no. something like that. Do, do, oh, you just put I added everything, yeah. So Sweet you do I haven't done that very cool. Um, and uh, talking about going over to like Prague and, and stuff. You're in that area. You're they're not, there. I mean, honestly, they're not that far from each no. other. Especially by train and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I did one of those. I keep forgetting. That's the only thing. I always forget to do that. Don't think I did. Them New York stankies. That's right. Yeah, I know it. Uh, by the way, I'm currently unboxing Darwin's Journey and Hegemony. Oh. Both of which arrived today to my surprise. Uh, dang, we have Darwin's Journey coming soon, but I don't think it's... We haven't gotten any like notification yet. shipment yet, so it's not that close. Um, he has to make up for being the last out in the... In the four zero sweep by the world champion Astros. That's Here's a hornet. That's a hornet. Here's the thing, man. I'm happy for the Astros, dude. Me like, too, man. Doing it honest. How good. Doing it honest. Altuve never cheated. I've always loved Altuve, and now yeah. I can love him again. I love it. Yeah. He was. Like, he was yeah. a class act. All doing the way it through. honest. Yeah. Just like okay, cool. Freaking love it. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm here for the Astros, and and let's be honest, cheating or not. They've been more or less the best team in baseball for they like have. a many years And they years were talking about now. that. They're saying that like, <laughs> like them cheating might have hurt them, might yeah. have like made it harder. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> yeah. They are. They've been the best team in baseball for a minute. Let's be yeah, honest. Absolutely. They're either in the World Series or winning the World Series. They're skilled. Pretty much every year. They're yeah. good at baseball. Um, Interesting. And like Jordan Alvarez is just like. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, your guys' team's pretty good. Um, I'm first, is it? No. No, it's me. Yeah. yeah. All right, last round, y'all. <sighs> thinking. <sighs> thinking. Trying to think. Thinking with my brain can. Thinking with my brain parts. Thinking. 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 Thinking with my brain stem. Down it. Down. Down it. Down. This guy's a dance. Yeah, let's go. I think I'm gonna get this one. It's gonna cost me all four of my thingies. You actually come to Prague again? I'd love to show you around. That would be freaking. Would love that cast. Would absolutely love it. What's up, BK Westman? I would love, love, love that. It's gonna be six. 
I don't know what to do in this last round if I'm honest. I'm freaking out about it a little bit. <laughs> so Mike, you can still get memory cards. They're just gonna give you points though. Memory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Wait, wait. Because they always slot. They always slot down here. So you'll, they but won't only come. Only if you slot them. Well, you have to slot them. Oh yeah, you don't I have a choice. Yeah, so. Sorry, I did say that kind of. You want to freaking go, bro? I'm so sorry. I don't have to take this. <laughs> I did say that so douchely. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, you have to slot. Well, that is so how the sorry. game works. Yeah, it's idiot. Sorry. I immediately was like, why did I say that with? I read the rule book at five thirty this morning with no coffee. Um, oh okay. God, I'm so sorry. That was uh, such a pretentious good, ass man. way of you're saying that. Bastard, but it's fine. <sighs> All right. Uh, mm, yeah. Sakamoga have played this once and like need to play more. Yeah, BK, it's really good. All right. And thank you for your clarifying question, by the way, on uh, on match, because it's a fair question. What was the question? BK was asking, like, do I use all six Sandies? And I was just oh. like, I was like, oh, that's, I, we really <laughs> should, we should have put like a little thing in there that's on fair. like a card saying, by the way, these are just extras. Yeah, sorry. That's a, it's a great fair question. question. It's a fair question. These are things you don't think of. Um, okay, I'm going to. I honestly don't remember. Let's go over in a game scoring real quick, because I honestly don't kind of remember. What all do you score for? Like, are things, I think resources and stuff are pints. Pints. It comes in pints. Uh, I'm going I'm to, uh, every two story points and every three ducats, Mikey. I love it. Nick, I'm going to work on this here. Yeah, we haven't been doing that much, no. like, at we've, all. We've been neglecting it. We're like, like he's this. dead. Why do I care about I this care guy, about this. idiot? Uh, I'm going to do Ibler over here in the Sanctus. Damn near killed us. Sanctimonious. And I'm going to spend four ducats. Oh, that was dumb. Four ducats, a composition, and a bit of finances. Duck it. Damn and near I'm killed And I'm going to absolutely rip into this pan flute. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> this is going to give me a total of one, two, three, four points. Boom. And it's an Ibler, so it will go there as an eighth note. Uh, and then the other half is I can perform or sell an Opie and almost sell this one. Get my finances back up and get three victory points. So, what I say? Four and three is seven. Nice. 38. Okay. And this is gone. Bling bang. Bling bong. Bling bong uh, on the rear. I'm going to travel a bit. We're just going to pop. I want to get a victory point for selling the opus of that. Chime by music. Chime by music. I'm going to get two for this one right here. I'm going to travel. We're just going to pop right here. I'm going to give that two right back. Uh, and I'm going to do this one for two story points. I'm going to get five discs. Uh, I'm going to get four, four of these. Now let's just get five. We're just gonna get five, all of those. All right. Okay. I'm. Ooh, boy. Bring bong. I'm gonna get an opus card. Get my eye. I think I'm gonna do. That. Um. I'm gonna get this here. So this is gonna cost me three talent, eight dollars. You have seven points though. Oh, well, you got eight points, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six, five. seven, eight dollars. Dollars. Um, and I will take this. I do get seven points plus one since it is chamber music. So I'll get eight. And that's what? Eight and two. I just I knew it was 47, but I didn't trust it. Okay. All righty. I'm going to do something cheeky. Cheeky is it? I am Colvin Dallas. All right, let's go, Brandon. Let's go. Gofford, you can do it. He's Take so your cold deep because he more, is married to your sister and you don't accept that. You want to punch him dead, dude. What? Belt's gone, huh? Yeah, man. He's Where'd a Blue he... Jay now. That's so weird. I know, dude. I hate that. Bummed out about I hate that, it. Dude. That hurts. That hurts. My heart really so hard. bad. That dumpster, gone. Dude, that dump truck he's got. Oh, my God, dude. Lame. All right, Mikey, I am going to... <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So I have sell two opuses. I'm gonna sell these two. It's gonna take me four story points. Boom, 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 boom. That's gonna give me seven points. Can I have seven? What? 36. And then I get to bump my finance track five times, but I'm at the top, so that's gonna be another 10 points. Ooh, what? 46. Six. And I get to go blam. I was you like, did something similar to, I think, what I'm going to do. Wow. So ever better. Um, kind of. Jeez. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> uh, all right, that's it. Um, oh. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm just so poor. Um, so just tuning in, let's go Brandon chat. No, no, not do that. His name is Brandon, but we call him Craw Daddy most times. So we'll like, Craw yeah, Daddy. Craw Daddy. Sorry, yeah. Opposite of what I said. <laughs> yeah. Hard opposite. Um, it's the stupidest thing. We're not gonna get into it. I oh, know. It's just the most childish, <laughs> dumb thing. Gotcha. And we're like, no one is listening to you. <laughs> Stop. Let's go uh, Claw Daddy. Nick, I'm going to sell this opus um, for four and then three bumps, but similar to you, that's at the top, so I'm going to get six points there, like. plus the chamber music, so it's 11 points total. Wow, so 48. Like, like less points than I got. <laughs> so you only got 10, fool. Well, I got seven before that. Well, I got seven right here. I got eight. You got wrecked is oh, what happened. But then I got, other, I got more. Uh, and then I get to do two journey actions. Uh, I'm a journey here for a dollar, because I'm very poor. And I'll get a dollar back. And a victory point. And a victory point, Nick. And. And I'll use a uh, yearny point, And I'm going to get three talent discs. Bam, bam, bam. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and then this will go away, and I get to do another journey, as is my haunt. And what is this? Uh, I think it's for however many of those kinds of music you have. You get the thingy. I don't actually have anywhere I can really go. So I guess I'll just forego that journey. Dang. You guys lost to Sherlock? Yeah, that makes sense. So poor. Wait, what? Uh, our unmatched set lost to Sherlock. What do you mean? Oh, in a game, game you played it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how... Sherlock is very smart. We are the opposite yeah, of Yeah, we don't know. I don't honestly don't know how, how competitive they honestly are. I, I think, I think they're that fine. We're, I think but, we're like, all right. Yeah, I think they're fine, but... I think our characters are fine. You know, but hey, it was fun. Okay, so I have... I need money. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat where... <sighs> I do. Hmm. I just don't. I'm, I'm like literally. I mean, I spent it well. I got seven points out of it. I don't have regrets. I'm just like, I'm actually really poor. Yeah, right. Yeah, I am also pretty poor. Um, oh, he's in there. Bigger bases helping him out. That's right. There's bigger bases now. Pitch clock, all good things. Oh, uh, the pitch clock, no, no shift. Shifts. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm legit. I'm down. not. I'm always excited for baseball season, but I'm legitimately excited for baseball season because of the changes they made. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, I think I'm gonna spend blam and blam. Need money. Yeah, I'm gonna spend all seven bucks to get this opus. Uh, it's gonna be seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with that opus. Uh, and then I can do a Requiem, I think. Is there old ladies there? There's not. Okay, we can do that, though. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so it's going to be one and three. I'm going to spend these three discs each for a dollar, which you can do at any time. Oh. And I'm going to spend that. Yes, yeah, so you, you have more money than you think. And you can always spend three bucks oh, for a thing you too. Need. Okay, dang it. I um, about that. Also, you can choose to not do an action and just get money. Well, how would that work? Because so basically, I literally just did that. Well, the, well, I just didn't do my bonus. I guess maybe I did. All right. Yeah, you're basically you're ignoring this whole thing, so you wouldn't be able to do anything else. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna do this pan flute. Because I might be able to down here and get this one. I don't know if there's any. And that's gonna it. cost everything I got, but that's gonna give me a point. All righty, and that's going to be me. Um, one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Um, oh, man. And again, remember, after this, we're going to play Her Story and Trigger Theory. History will both be pretty short games, and so we'll uh, go through those, and then we're going to end up with Kubitos. Can you slide everything down real quick just so I can oh, see yeah, what sorry, the options sorry, sorry. are? Do your job. <laughs> Do your freaking job. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's going to be another one of these, yeah. Um, dang it. Dang it. <laughs> God. <laughs> God, my stars. Um, oh, you can spend specifically a disc. Yeah, it's disc. It's not cubes. It's specifically oh, discs. God, I got it. So it's... it's it's a pretty high cost, but you can do it. And it allowed me to get my, the thing I want to get done done. So I think I'm just going to go for this and that. <laughs> Regrets! Um, I'm going to purchase that memory card for two ducats and then a, a disc to get a third dollar. And then this resource. I didn't do this. Huh? I didn't do this. <laughs> oh, dang. Can I get this one? Yeah, yeah. I didn't do it. Dang it. Knew. I didn't do it. Oh, I no. forgot that I needed to do that. Hopefully it doesn't mean that you lose by seven exact points. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. <laughs> and I think opuses would count, but I even have, I sold my level five opus because I want all that money. Wow. <laughs> if you could, also, if you can pluck any baseball player from history to pop on the current Giants roster, who'd you pick? Okay. Lame choice. Willie Mays. <laughs> Duh. Greatest uh, of all time. Yeah, Barry Bonds, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Bonds today would just like rip. Uh, no, I don't know. I would, I would choose someone that had like, you know, like Scooter Malone or something like who had a silly I'll, name. I'll go, I'll go Satchel Page. I'll pull from the Negro League. Yeah, because he's widely considered probably the best, one of the best pitchers ever. Yeah, who's so just incredible. Never like, and yeah. like, but Didn't he never a got a chance to play. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So probably, I'll probably I'll, I'll say Satchel Page. I'd, I'll tell you who I wouldn't choose someone like Babe Ruth because they get rocked. Oh, Babe if you go Ruth. too far in history. Oh There's yeah, just no way even they Satchel Page might get destroyed yeah. nowadays, probably right. Like, yeah. all right, uh, maintenance fees. All right, I'm gonna get four uh, talent, one journey, four victory points, six ducats, three more victory points, and a bump of Machusens. I'll do that. So it's four, seven victory points total. If you could please. And that's that. I don't get six. Think. Oh, I get actually another. Oh, I get another coin. That's good actually. Um, oh, this is going to hurt a lot. Yeah, that's why I did that. I was like, oh, uh, I was gonna go over here to at least. So you get ten point. Yeah. Yeah, to at least thing, and I couldn't pay for it. I was like, oh, actually, it's better if I go yeah. here. Okay, so now we're at the end of the game. Uh, we're gonna score three point, one point for every three ducats, and then. Uh, one point for every two talent, da 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 da, between so I'm those. Get two points for my monies. I got six so bucks. I'm gonna get six. I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six. What'd you get? Sorry? Two points for money. And then what'd you say? Every two of these? Every two of those, including the cube. So basically, so all of those six, count them all up. And I'm gonna get eight, two 10, more points. 12, 14, 16. So eight more points. Nice. All righty. Um, and then do you, I guess you didn't get your I didn't, I don't, let me double check. I don't think I have any five cards. Nope, I have a one. I have a one, a two, a three, a four, and I had a five, a five opus, but I sold it, so. Oh, okay. So it goes, I mean, right, I final thing to it. do, and we're knotted up here, is check the Requiem. So you're gonna go each movement, see which um, composer is the most widely used here, and then for every token you have of that, of uh, you know that you'll get three or one points. So only Sadler worked on this. Nick uh, is the only person who did that. So Nick gets three points here. Oh. This is gonna be all Nick. Uh, Eibler was the more um, prolific here. So it's gonna be four points per eighth note. So that's eight points. This is here for two is 10 total, all Nick. That's all you. The rest <laughs> is all me. So these are only one a piece. So I'll get the higher amount for all of them. So I'll get three, six, which is nine and 11? 12 points. A 12? Right? Yeah, three, 12. Six, three, nine, oh my nine, gosh. 12. <gasps> What's the tiebreaker? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh gosh. It's, no, I don't know, actually. We I are tied. Know. What is the tiebreaker? If it's that you just. Uh, whoever contributes to Requiem more. <gasps> Nick, you did it four times. I did it four three. times. <laughs> wow, what a close one. No. What a close one. Dang, wow. boy. Nice. Okay, well, let me mark that down. So a uh, 80, 88, 88. 88 to 88 with a tiebreaker going Nick's way. Wow. 
That's freaking awesome, that's dude. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. really wanted to do more on the. Um, I, yeah, I just, I just did other stuff. My well, last so round silly. was not as good as it could have been. I was nah, just like, yeah. I was just, I, I don't have regrets. I got that opus and sold it, and that got me like, oh, nineteen points total. Yeah, that's what I did. It's too, the only reason like, I had a competitive score, but I was like, oh, man. that's because I got an opus and I was able to sell two opuses, and I got like again like seventeen or eighteen from it. Like it was very yeah. good, but I was kind of like, oh, I didn't get to do that, and I didn't get another. I didn't get one of these cards. Which meant I didn't get the seven points from this, but it yeah. ended up ended up being okay, Dang. but barely. Close one. Yeah. Back to the future, Sabre. You know it, baby. Watched that on my plane home the other day. Great movie. Great movie still. Um, we're going to go on a very quick break just so we can use the restroom and stuff, and then we'll come back while we're setting up uh, 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 either Trekking Through History or Herstory. Uh, Herstory's first. Um, we will um, come back and chat you up while we set that up, but we're going to take just a micro break so we can right, use right, restrooms so. and stuff. You don't need to be subjected to those sounds. Drink some water. You know, do all the things. Hydrate. Hydrate while we hydrate.
Eyes on, pay attention, we're back. Stop talking crap. Talking dang smack. Am I, uh, you go am, I, am, I am I soft? You might be a bit soft. I could just be blind and everything looks out of hook. <laughs> yeah. I ain't soft. I'm sharp. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. What did we miss, fam? Fill us in. Said Ag, both the Nats and the Giants are losing. Here's the thing. I don't think the Giants are going to be great, and I also don't think the Nats are going to be great this year. I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to be long summers for both of us. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. You got the box. Uh, yeah. So we're going to be going into our power block from Underdog Games here. We got some Her Story, or Her Story, and then Trekking Through History. Uh, coming right up here. Yeah. Both very fine productions as um, as Underdog Games does. They Underdog make Games does some freaking good sharp games, yeah. man. They really do. Games are sharp, 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 bang, sharp. Sharp, hey, sharp, who, sharp, harby, do, boo, do, be, ba, ba, do, ba, ba, do. How how down how down and out are the old nationals? Man, we're only down by one. Hey, I think fine, easy game, it's easy. But yeah, these are so nice. They just open. I know they they're they're just. very satisfying. The just. only thing I'm confused about is like why this is something you okay. put in. The reason is is because uh, in I found this out because we had the Dice Art West copy. There are different languages. Because everything oh. else, everything else here language is dependent. language dependent, but there are different languages cool. of these. Right. Because we didn't have four English ones, we had like three English and like one French and stuff. So like we didn't have all of them, but that's that why those makes slot more in. Because I was just like, you don't ever change for a player count. Yeah, I was. We were always very confused. I was like, oh, that makes sense. I suppose. Okay. I like it. I like it. Um, one to three. Uh, Zen says I wanted to check her three out. Well, we're about to. Her three's cool. Yeah, it's a cute little game, and again, it's just it's just such a good like teaching tool, and like yeah, that's what's really it's fun just about it. So rad. Um, one, two, yeah, three. Yeah, we'll be having a, an edited playthrough of, of her story uh, coming out on Monday, on Tuesday, Tuesday, one of those next two days. Week. Yeah. Next week. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yum, 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 Just reorganizing stirps. So tell me, fam, chat, what's been a game? Lately, that has captured your interest, whether it be a game you've played or not, has captured your imagination, your heart and soul. Let me know. For me, it's definitely Deal with the Devil. That's the game that has captured my imagination. Dude, at least during games that I played. That is at the very tip, 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 and it was already for a yeah. while before. Tip top of my list of things I want to try well, so like, bad. Paula wanted to play it, and I know Shay really wants to play it again too. So like, the, we just got to get all of us together to play it because I think it'd be. I think that group would be quite good. I think it'd be really fun for a game like that. You gotta look, give it up to Shay for being a human, but just being very shady about how he deals with his soul. Yeah, dude. That's just so on You'll brand. You love to see it. That's so on brand for Shay. So ready to sell his soul. He's just like, I will accept the lowest possible offer and get rid of this thing. Earth, yeah, BK, I'm with you on yeah. that. Earth is so good. I'm really excited to play it physically. We did pre order it. I know, I know Atlas and Chats pre ordered it. Yeah, um, it's gonna sell. Cannot like wait. Freaking <laughs> hot cake. It'll be a top 100 uh, BG before the end of the year. Guaranteed. Probably. Probably. Um, how do, oh here, I must, have, I must have a bigger bag for these, we do. It's very fun, I played it on just BGA Solo a few times, yeah. and I've never won, and uh, I don't care. The only thing I can say about it, and this isn't necessarily like a knock, it's just the case with games like these, is there's just gonna be a decent amount of times throughout the game where you're just gonna forget to activate stuff. One thing that's nice about so? B yeah, just because you have so many different cards you can activate The thing stuff. is though, for me, that I think helps with that, I think it's really smart, is that you have to do them yes. in an order. Yes. 
It doesn't, it, not that you won't forget, but I think that is a really smart thing that they probably did to help alleviate yeah. that problem. There is, and this is, not, again, not a bad thing. There's just so yeah, much again. stuff to pay attention to. Yes. Where you're, there's like the fauna cars, and then like your endgame scoring, and then the, the public endgame scoring ones, and then endgame scoring cards, and then like, there's just so many things to pay attention to. Yeah. It's tough to do that, but it's still very, very fun. Very I'm playing fun. Earth Tonight at game night. It's great. Yeah, it's Ooh. really fun. Look forward to receiving Jaron's journey soon. Same. It's, we'll be yes. here in, I don't know, the next probably a couple weeks. Boom. Three First weeks, game. Yeah, we got 10.57. It's 11 o'clock. Perfect. Look at us go. Two Pros. hours, baby. Pros. Um... Yeah, we, uh, uh, um, we have Darwin's Journey coming real soon. soon. Um, where is La Granja will be coming soon. What are you looking for? Could be those. Why not stop over here? So going to put it by here. Oh, here's right here. I, was like, I thought it was over here. Um, it's right in front of me. Yeah, La Granja will be coming soon oh, enough. We got Geisha's so, Road. Um, so excited Hanukoji for La Granja. follow up recently. Um, yeah. I'm really excited for Darwin's journey. Really excited. Yeah. Patiently waiting for my ple my pledge of legacy. You, I think that's coming soon-ish. It's got to be, right? Because that was last year, wasn't it? Last spring, early summer. Yeah. Year. So or, or like August. It was August. So yeah. That's about on their timeline. They're pretty quick. Their turnaround. Yeah, because the months. games are done. I mean, honestly, there's slight things they need they to are, change. But they're they're not. They're done. They're done. Like. Case in point, every game that we've covered for them recently is officially like a technically a prototype. advanced copy. Yeah. It's not, you know, kind of in between prototype and the final product. We've never asked Garfield. <laughs> he says the final product. I'm like, this is fine. Yeah. We've never, ever gotten like an official copy of like Wayfarers or anything. We've just kept these Because ones. it's just honestly done. Because they're just. It's already done. They're completely done already. Yeah. Um, all righty, fam. So let's switch. Bam, her story. Uh, and again, this part of our um, stream is sponsored by Underdog Games. Big shout yeah. out to them. Uh, one for making just cool games in general, and then two for sponsoring us uh, to we play appreciate them. Appreciate that. So we're gonna play her story. We're gonna play checking through history. And again, we'll have an edited playthrough of her story out on um, Monday. But yeah, so this is this really awesome game. It's, it's just kind of a little kind of engine builder. Got some uh, got some engine buildy to it. So it's super light. kind it's of vibes, but like light resource easy, collection. Breezy. Um, super simple. Super simple game, but you are uh, getting you're basically writing a book about awesome women from history. Yeah. Um, who go far too often unrecognized and un. Um, uncelebrated. Uncelebrated, hence Mozart's sister being in Lacrimosa, case in point. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to be drafting up. These are all, I think it's like 125 different cards. You got like Selena and stuff like that. Got like a whole bunch. Entertainers, science. Different cards. And on the back of them, there is information about all of them, kind of like generally what they did, like her we'll, story. We'll read the bios out as yeah. we go. And then a cool fact. And so you're getting these cards. And some of the cards will have like abilities on them. Some of the cards will have like end game scoring. And you'll be drafting. Oops, I'm you'll be getting eight of them throughout the game. Yep. And uh, eight chapters of a book. And you're making a book. Yeah. Now, uh, except for Kickstarter uh, for Fisheries of Gloucester to come out. Intrigued mm. by uh, Tiernanog and want to get ten men heist uh, the Wizard's Tower to the table. And Horace says, uh, Return Dark Tower still projected for July. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah, the second uh, second printing kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. well, that expansion. one you gotta assume it's gonna be pretty much easier because they don't have to like build I the tower. So, yeah, kind I don't think that'll be much. Right? It's I imagine the reprinting is what the expansion. So like we'll be selling our unmatched set again to our next Kickstarter, and we're like, this would be easy. All we have to do is tell them how Click many print. print. Yeah. <laughs> like we're like, oh, that's so easy. I love that. Yeah, so now nice. we have the other game we got to make too, but it's just like, well, at least yeah. one of them is done. I'm waiting for the trekking through her story mashup. Let's go. <laughs> But yeah, trekking through history. And we'll have a, a playthrough of trekking through history on our channel out, I think, at the end of the month. Yeah. So stay tuned for all that. So this game's really simple. Um, on a turn, you can collect one of these little research tokens. You can kind of reserve uh, one of the figures and put them in your drafts. Or you can turn in resources to complete a chapter. And the resources are, that they need are on the very right. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, most, just the way it shook out, most of these uh, characters have no 
abilities that come with them. They're usually worth more points that way, but sometimes they come with abilities like uh, Zora Neale Hurston, great author, comes with permanent resources. Other ones come with powers, um, abilities, end game scoring, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and a reminder that her story right now is on sale for $19.19. Get that thing. Down from like 50, I think, or 40. So it's super cheap right now. And they're doing that uh, in celebration of Women's History Month, which is in March. And so um, make sure to get the game because it's uh, cheap. And uh, it's fun. This and it's a, great, a every great, classroom. You kids, you want to teach them about yeah. awesome women in history. This is a great tool to do so. Yeah, dude. Um, we got, we got the we got the the authors and poet. Row yeah, out really, we got right the, now, all dude. the readers out. Yeah, Mary Shelley, <laughs> my Angelou. All right, you are up. Yeah, Hello, you know, baby. Okay. Um, and a portion of the proceeds of this game go to the Malala Fund. If you don't yes. know Malala Yousafzai, Sai, she's amazing. She is amazing. She's in this game. Uh, you know what I'm going to first do? Zora Neale Hurston is not worth points, but I'm going to reserve. Uh, I put them in my draft, which so scores you two points to do. Let's just quickly read that. A writer and anthropologist, 1891-1960, raised in Eatonville, an all-black town in Florida. Zora Neale Hurston dedicated her life to chronicling her hometown as well as the lives of black people in the South. She's considered a leading figure of the Harlem Renaissance, a period of abundant cultural activity amongst black writers, musicians, and other artists in 1920s Harlem. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. It's rad. Yeah. All right. So I'm just um, going to do that. I'm going to take this research tile. Well, that's the one I want. Um, I'm going to take this research tile. Boom. Fair. Um, I think I'm going to uh, reserve Rosalind Franklin. So Rosalind Franklin is a chemist and x-ray uh, crystallographer. God, oh, that's a cool name. Um, during her life, Rosalind Franklin was best known for her work with coal and viruses. She earned her PhD from the University of Cambridge for classifying coal by porosity. Interesting. It's very porous, I guess. Yeah. But it was her work with X-ray crystallography um, that enabled her, the discovery of DNA's double helix shape. That's cool. Dang. Mother Teresa. She's in the like, house. no, 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 no. It's like this. It's like, wah, 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 wah. And everyone's like, you sure? And she's like, yeah, yeah. I'm a genius. Uh, we. I'll be answering no questions. <laughs> um, boom. Taking that. Okay, um, ooh, interesting. Let's get, hmm, let's get you. But yes, yeah, so that's the game with it. It's very easy to teach, very, very simple. And then, yeah, we're getting a bunch of points ones, but not with a ton of uh, abilities at the moment. Um, but that means there are high points. I will take. Ooh, this token. That's an interesting question. Alice said, what are we going to get these women, these awesome women uh, in unmatched? Uh, Mary Shelley could have Frankenstein's monster sidekick. Dude, That'd be that's rad. really smart. That's a cool, you should do an author's series. There is, yeah. Where you just that, have like their their creations yeah. as sidekicks. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That would be rad. Ooh, that'd be interesting. I mean, that's kind of what they're doing with Shakespeare, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't some of his like characters, his yeah. sidekicks? I think the cards or something i don't know yeah there's yeah. something about that with or i think it's the set god i hope this is announced don't say anything don't worry about it <laughs> just in case i don't know i don't know what's been talked about um what you got bro um hmm oh, i don't know I need, we need more light bulbs they're in there. Not there, I promise you. They're <laughs> in there. Um, hmm, I don't know here. I'm going to get... I'll just get this one right here. Boop. Uh, this is the tile. Nope, wrong. And again, you have a library card which you can use twice in the game to wipe out the research tiles and hopefully, and then you'll refill them, hopefully getting what you, um, you want. Hmm, I'm getting too hung up on. Doing it exactly? Yeah. So basically when you turn in research tokens to um, to put these, uh, the cards into your Doing book it. here. Oh, bang. If you 
turn in tokens that exactly matches. Pay you, perfectly. You can always overpay. If you play perfectly, you get an extra three points, and you do get very hung up on it. Yeah. Because I'm thinking because, like, Zora's not worth points inherently, so I'm like, oh, if I can get a little oh, something. Wow. That's wild. But it's just not coming up my way. Uh... All right, I'm just going to overpay, so I won't get the exact payment bonus, but I do have four books and two uh, uh, magnifying glasses. I'll get her into play. I want to have her be first so that I have... Um, yeah, cool. All righty, I am going to go... There. Boom. Okay. Um, I will hmm, take Interesting. two light bulbs. Yeah. Light bulbs, light bulbs. Uh, uh, welcome back, Lynette. I hope your lunch meeting was good. Uh, Lacrimosa was fantastic. We ended in a tie. Yeah, at 88 wild. points, and Nick won on tiebreaker because he'd worked on the, the composition. Requiem, or, yeah. Requiem. And I neglected my duties there and said, nah. I said, nah. I said, nah, write music's for nerds. And, uh, then I lost the game. So yeah, shows what I know. Fair. Um, I'm going to uh, put my Angelou into my drafts. Okay. Shwoop. Okay, so. I guess I can't quite, huh? Hmm. Yeah, man, this is tough. I need... Um, let's get this one. Let's get a bunch of research tiles. Just get Gives you options. Yeah, I love a close game. Yeah, I was super close. The game will end, by the way, once someone finishes their book with eight chapters. Um, dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Taking this up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I need to... I think I am going to spend this Ooh. tile... And these tiles okay. to do uh, Mary Cassatt. So I need uh, two, two, and two, and I have three books. I'm not paying perfectly, unfortunately, but Still close enough. Points. So Mary here is a painter and printmaker. Mary Cassatt challenged the way the world views, viewed women artists by traveling to Europe to learn and study on her own. As an impressionist painter, she didn't do the same landscape painting as many other artists of her time. Instead, she focused on portraits, especially women, mothers, and children. Bear was also an outspoken activist for women's rights, and her paintings depicted the new woman of the 20th century. Rad. That's awesome. So, boom. And that's going to be eight points. Nice. Boom. Yeah, Junko in here. I'm going to take this token. All right. Hmm. I'm going to go there. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. I see this game around, but have no idea how it plays. What's the main mechanism? Fighting the patriarchy. Yeah, you ain't wrong about that. Um, so <laughs> basically, basically you resource are resource collection, kind of. Yeah, you're getting these research tokens. We'll have these different symbols on them, and then uh, you're writing a book about awesome women in history. And so you can uh, reserve these cards over here, and then you can pay to put them in your book, or you can pay to just straight from here. And then they will sometimes have like end game scoring. Like this one's worth an extra four points at the end of the game. They will sometimes have ongoing abilities. Like Mike just has two permanent, permanent books from the now, um, from now on rather. Um, and then they're worth points on their own. But that's pretty much it. It's like you can get research tiles, reserve somebody, or put someone into your, um, into your book. And that's pretty much it. But it's, it's on all the back of all the cards is information about all the women and what they've done in history and stuff like that and how awesome they are. So, so I meant the cassette tape. I was going to make that joke and then didn't, but then you got my back. I appreciate you. Um, yeah. And oh. Underdog Games is selling this right now in appreciation oh, yeah, for Women's right History there. Month. 
uh, for $19.19. And so it's usually yeah. like 50 bucks. They're selling it for crazy cheap right now. Get so. after it. Um, question. Yeah. If I was to do like these, right? And then can I just use like one of these books to have paid exactly? I think, think so, yeah. Yeah? I think so. Oh, baby, we're going to complete Mother Teresa then. All right. I got one, two, and three books here. And one, two, three interviews. Blam. Mother Teresa. Gonna give me eight points. I did pay exactly, so I'll get three bonus points. Is eleven puts me on fifteen. It's an order delivery tomorrow. Wow, that's quick. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, honestly a great like, great way to to yeah have some learning. And such stuff. a great way to teach. And again, yeah. it's a very simple game, you know. So it's like you can play it with kids and stuff like that. Yeah, like it's super that's rad for about that. It. <laughs> um, let's do Yahoo. Um, I'm going to take What's up, GB? this. Um, so I can't believe y'all are able to focus on the games with the opening day underway. Mike's watching the game over there, don't worry. <laughs> How are we doing? See, you see the very edge of a phone? Right here? Right there? I've got a baseball game on. That's a baseball game. We're not doing good. Um... <laughs> But I'm paying mostly attention to y'all. Mostly attention. Baseball is wonderful that way. Every now and again, every five minutes, you're like, mm. you hit, you hit. It. That's that's why my baseball is my favorite it's a great sport. sport. That's why it's, it's my favorite sport. 100. percent You can just be like, cool. What's up? Cool. What's up? It's the like, same height. That, that is neat. Is neat. All righty. Uh, Nick, I think I'm, my nieces. Yeah. I'm going to um, complete Jennifer uh, Dunda. Um, I didn't read about Mother Teresa. Let me do that first. Mother Teresa. Mantari, Nobel Peace Prize winner after spending the first part of her career teaching at a covenant school in Calcutta, now Kolkata, uh, India, Mother Teresa turned her attention to helping those living in poverty. She founded the Missionaries of Charity, opened uh, hospices for the poor, housing and orphanages for the homeless, and hospitals for those with leprosy, among other uh, charities. Did you know, in 1979, Mother Teresa uh, received the Nobel Peace, Peace Prize. She refused the customary banquet, asking the money instead be given to the poor in India. Rip. Nice. Now to complete this, I will do three light bulbs, a, an interview, and an investigation. To complete it exactly, she's worth two points, but has the ability when you complete a chapter uh, costing five or six symbols, which she does as well, you get two bonus points. So we get two, four, and then three for paying exactly seven points. Dang. Total. That's three. I've only built one. Boom. And then her story, biochemist, Nobel Peace Prize winner. Uh, a Nobel Prize winner, I should say. In 2020, uh, Jennifer D uh, D Dudna uh, shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry with Emmanuel Ch Charpentier, Charpentier uh, for their work on the CRISPR genome editing technique. Their revolutionary technology, sometimes uh, called genetic scissors, provides a straightforward way to make precise edits to genomes. What? Scientists hope to use CRISPR uh, editing to treat genetic diseases, create hardier uh, crops, and even re-engineer the immune system to fight cancer. Um, Jennifer and Manuel were the first all-female team to win a Nobel Prize in chemistry. Dude, that's, that's freaking rad. crazy. That's metal. <laughs> that's wow. awesome. That's freaking nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty dope. Wow. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh. So I can. I just want to pay perfectly, but I know I probably shouldn't get that hung up about it. But I want to get hung up about it. I know, it's really tempting. Plus one to the order column, rip. Oh, actually, we'd love can. to hear it. I'll do these two. It's going to be three light bulbs, one speech bubble, and one magnifying glass. And I'm going to get uh, Junko uh, Tabe right here. Uh, so mountaineer and environmentalist, in 1975, rather, Junko Taibei, Taibei became the 36th person and first woman, to climb, first woman to climb Mount Everest. In 1992, she also became the first woman to reach the seven summits, or the tallest, peaks, tallest peak on each continent. Later in life, Junko studied how garbage and other waste left by people impacted mountains, and she worked to preserve the environment. She also founded Japan's first female climbing club and led students on expeditions. Freaking rad. Yeah, dude. Boop, so that's going to cost these. And so I did do perfectly, so I'm going to get nine points. Nice. Bam. Excellent. We've got Valala as our new uh, hey. portion in the old chat. Uh, I'm going to take some light bulbs. <laughs> I 
Get Mother Therese slapped. <laughs> Look at this right here. Um, I'm going to take... This right here. Alrighty. Boom. Um, oh, 10 points. Let's get double magnifying glass. Yeah, not, never a bad idea. Um. I think I'll get double magnifying glass as well. As well. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to spend. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. I guess I'll have to do one of these two. Well, way overspend, but I'm going to get Malala. It's worth 10 points. I'm not going to get yeah. the, the perfection bonus, but boom. So Malala, Malala Yousafzai is an education activist and Nobel Peace Prize winner. Uh, Malala Yousafzai grew up in Pakistan where girls were denied the right to go to school. After the Taliban regime took control in 2008, Malala became an activist blogging for the BBC when she was just 11. Wow. She gained worldwide fame by becoming the youngest person to win a Nobel uh, Prize for Peace at 17. Uh, and yeah, and did you know, if you ever read her book, her book's incredible. At age 15, Malala was shot while riding the bus from school. Though she was seriously injured, she survived and attended school again in England only six months later. Yeah, it's her story's wild. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, Malala rocks. Yeah, she's no joke. Boom, well, I just took a research token. Sergeant asks, you guys keep track of your win-loss record against each other on these live streams? I'm curious who is the better brother. Mike keeps track of them. I keep track of our wins more often, and we're pretty even. We're pretty even. I would say Mike honest. probably wins. It's probably like 55 to 45. I'd say Mike probably wins slightly more than me. Maybe, um, maybe. But uh, it's it's pretty we darn go, close. But we go through eras where like Nick yes. will be dominating, and then I'll kind of win a bunch. And so... We're very yeah. swingy, but yeah, I'd say overall it's like, yeah, something like 50 and change to 40 and change. Yeah, like, it's very close. Maybe maybe slightly to my advantage. That's what we're getting at, yeah. Um, I'm hecka smart, and so that helps. Hex to <sighs> smart. I'm going to take this token. Okay. Okay. Ooh. 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 Skipping a jump, hop, skipping a jump. Hey, hey, Nick, I'm going to uh, write about Mary Shelley. I've got three uh, uh, magnifying glasses, three interview nice. speechy bubbles, which is an exact payment. So I'll get eight points plus three. And if it's uh, someone who has five or six symbols to complete, she has six. I get two bonus points. I'm going to get 13 total points. Wow. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and 35. Dang. Oh, Mary Shelley. Please tell us. Wrote for uh, Cosmopolitan Magazine. Writer and feminist in 1816, Mary Shelley spent the summer with other writers, including Lord Byron and her husband, uh, Percy Best Shelley, at a house by Lake Geneva in Switzerland, where they told ghost stories around the fire. This sparked Mary's most famous tale. At age 20, she anonymously published Frankenstein, considered one, uh, one of the first examples of science fiction. She wrote many other books, including several travelogues. Uh, did you know Mary's mother, Mary O. Wollstonecraft, uh, is known as a founding feminist due her, to her 1792 book, A Vindication of the Rights of Women. Dope! Mary Shelley. Yeah, dude, so rad. Frankenstein rips. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use this, Mikey. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> Mary Pickford Arts got me thinking, is Taylor Swift in this game? <laughs> <laughs> Might be. Whoa. Big moves. Hold on now. We need some speech bubbles. There's like no speech bubbles out there. We got to get some interviews going. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now Sorry. we're interviewing. Now we're interviewing people. Oh, asking ye shall receive yeah. the bubbles of speech. <laughs> the bubbles of speech. I think so. Thank you. Um... Let me think. Yeah, oh, there he is. He's down there sleeping. Hmm. 
I will take double speech bubble as well. Already, I'm gonna turn in two light bulbs, a magnifying glass, and double speech bubble. Um, and I am going to get uh, Rijo Berta Menchu, it's a Nobel Prize winner and indigenous activist. Uh, Ribo, Ribo, sorry, Rigo Berta Menchu, a member of the uh, Quiche Maya culture, grew up helping her family farm and advocating for the rights of the Guatemalans and in indigenous people during the Guatemalan Civil War. Yeah. After her family was killed, uh, Rigo Berta became a prominent speaker and activist for the rights of indigenous people around the world. She earned a Nobel Peace Prize in 1992 for her efforts to achieve social justice and mutual reconciliation in Guatemala. Cool. Uh, that's super rad. And that's going to be six. I did pay perfectly, so it's going to be a nine. Blam. Boom. Um, I think I keep trying to dial this in too carefully. Yeah, it's uh, tough. You get so... Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm just going to put perfectly. Harriet Tubman into my drafts. Okay. Score two points. Yeah, I brought Rosalind Franklin over here, and I need to... Finish that one. So I'm gonna take this double book. Speaking of, um, copy that. I will take double light bulb. Double light bulb, sir. Get wrecked. Move faster. Must be faster. Um, Must be faster. Gosh, I'll take cool. this. Things kind of fell in my lap, so now I can pay for Rosalind Franklin perfectly. <laughs> so I'm gonna do. These right here, it's gonna be four light bulbs and uh, three books. Must be nice. And that's gonna be uh, 13. All right. Boom, I have no powers. I've been going all points. Uh, 51. And Rosalind Franklin, we talked about um, uh, her work with the X-ray, discovered the DNA double helix. Um, and said, so Rosalind might be most famous for the Nobel Prize she didn't win. Her male colleagues won their Nobel Prize in 1962, but she had died a few years earlier. Oh. So she should have won a Nobel Prize, wow. but she died just before Posthumous she Posthumous honor there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to complete Maya Angelou. Uh, I've got three light bulbs here, one, two books there. So I can pay exactly and get nine, plus there's five symbols here, so it's plus two, 11. Bring me up to 48. Maya Angelou. Mangeli wrote multiple volumes of poetry and, and autobiographies, including uh, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. An activist, Maya worked with both Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Maya recited her poem On the Pulse of Mourning for President Bill Clinton's first inauguration in 1993. In 2010, she received the Presidential uh, Medal of Freedom from Barack Obama. Did you know Maya held many jobs while living in San Francisco as a teenager? She worked as one of the city's first black streetcar conductors. That's freaking yeah. awesome. That's cool. Uh, that's rad. Boom. That's me. Um, I'm going to take this double magnifying glass. Okay. Did you get your points for that? You did. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Let me... Uh... Bum, bum. I'll take uh, this. Hmm. No. What I'm going for here. No, what I'm going for. Hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. This is, um... I'm not sure. I think let's get. Let's get them something. Did y'all see my about. photo of the T Rex eating Nick in an unmatched game the other night? No. No, where was that? Where Whereabouts in the old Discord can we find that? It's amazing. That's freaking awesome. Game picks, maybe? <laughs> Got wrecked. I mean, it's a T-Rex. I, mean, I, can't, I can't expect it to win against win? a T-Rex. Well, they didn't say we lost. Uh, it said Nick didn't stand a chance. Mike wasn't long behind. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot about Legacy of You. Rip. I forgot to put this in the black box. box. Oh, whoops. It's a two um, for this game. Okay. I think... 
think... Oh, I'm sorry. Hit the nose. Kicked you right in the head. And he's just like, it's fine. He's like, I'm just sleeping here. He's don't worry fine. about me. He's sleeping here, man. Don't worry about me. I think I'm going to complete Harriet Tubman. I won't be able to pay exactly. Oops. But uh, that's all right. So I will overpay a bit. I've got the two books here. Uh, born Araminta Ross in Dorchester County, Maryland, Harry Tubman escaped uh, enslavement in 1849, traveling to Pennsylvania via the Underground Railroad. Not content with just freeing herself, Harriet returned south at least 13 times, guiding some 70 friends and family members to freedom. She also served with the Union Army during the Civil War and helped lead uh, the Comahee Ferry Raid that freed more than 750 people. It's freaking metal, dude. <laughs> She's, Harriet Tubman's so metal. Like, yeah. It's not many Man. women have uh, national sites named after them, but Harriet has two historical parks, one yeah. in Dorchester County, Maryland, and another in Auburn, New York. Yeah. Say it. And she deserves every single one of them. Yeah. Freaking just legend. Metal. Literal legend. Um, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to write about Mary Edwards Walker. I'll pay, or pay a little bit because I don't need, oh, you know what? I need a speech bubble. Never mind. Oh, I did't get my points. I'm going to get eight because it's six plus mm. two um, for being... A five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And eight. Six plus two. You get it. Yes. <laughs> and <coughs> you going Mary Edwards Walker, you said? No, no, I'm not actually. I don't have the things I thought I did. Wow. Well, I could, but I'd have to like way overpay it. I'm like, oh, let's not like wow. overpay that much. Uh, oh, I don't think that'd be good. Do, do, do. I'll go ahead and uh, reserve her, though, for get two points. Sure. We got Mary Curie in the house. Hey. Um. I'm going to use my uh, library card one more time. Uh, Alice said, I appreciate the rise of games, including cards with history facts on the back. Yeah, it's super cool. I mean, just anything. Or, like, World's Fair we always love because it has so much interesting uh, interesting information on it. Yeah. I love that about it. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's just, I mean, board games are a great opportunity to learn stuff. Yeah. Especially if you're playing something historical or whatever. And you don't have to, I like it in that way. It's on the back of the card or whatever. So it's like, if you don't care or don't yeah. have time, then whatever. But if you do have time or do have a care or in between games, you can, like, learn a bunch of stuff. I think it's just awesome. Like, it's just good for the world. Okay. Um, I will take this. Interesting. Let's go. Yeah. Um. All right, I'm gonna get Alice Coachman here. I've got one, two, three, four speech bubbles, three light bulbs, so I get to pay exactly. So I'll take uh, care yeah, of Alice, you're right. Points. Oof, 10. That'll put me on, plus the exact bonus will be 13, actually, so I'll go 16, 19. Wow. Good year, 16, 19. 16, sure. <laughs> Probably wasn't, to be honest. Uh, uh yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna get these double light bulbs. Dude, yes, I, I, I'm disappointed in this country every single day. Um, <laughs> yeah. But that one was crazy. It's like Harriet Tubman could have been on the 20s. It's like, yeah. nah, we're gonna keep Andrew Jackson. Yeah. Just like an evil person. And you're like, that tracks, that's on brand. You know what I mean? The Trail of Tears guy, yeah, you know, that guy. <sighs> so stupid. Yeah. We are so fixated and beholden on a bunch of dead ass people. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? Guess who's gonna be offended? None of them, they're dead. They're they dead. None of them should be on bills. None of them. Moving on. Good God. Um, I'm going to take this. Oh, I'm going to take that. Don't Sir? care what's coming out. Don't care what's coming out. Don't care what's coming out. Mm. I'll take this. I'm going to spend uh, three speech bubbles and three light bulbs. Light bulbs. Boom, to do... Uh, jo Joan against Cooney here. So she... It's four at the end of the game. She's worth another four, which is great. So, one, two, three, four. Was that what you're going for? Yeah. Uh, so Joan Gans Cooney, a writer and co-creator co co of Sesame Street, 
Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Jo Joan Gans Cooney uh, certainly could. She helped create the show, which first aired in 1969, has remained in production ever since. She also co-founded the Children's Television Workshop, now, now Sesame Workshop, which she went on to lead. This made her one of the first female executives in American television history. <laughs> uh, and Sesame Street won three Emmys and a Peabody Award in its first season. Yeah, Sesame Street is, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's done a lot of good work. It's done some good. That's good there. Uh, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, and I paid exactly. So five, six, seven. Boop. Um, hmm. you know what I'm gonna do? Uh. I'm gonna get Inez right here because I've got three speech bubbles. I've got yeah. a uh, light bulb and a book right here. Yeah, might as well. Boom! It's my eighth and final chapter. No, it's not. Kaboom! Oh my stars! Um, I was able to pay exactly, and it's five symbols. So I'm gonna get six, eight, and. Three more is 11. Oh, I didn't know you were that far ahead of me. Boom! Oh, gosh. So I have one last turn. Get wrecked. Because Mike went first. And I, I should be able to get someone. Oh, get no. Someone can I? To love. You can probably get Mary Edwards Walker, no? Yeah. No? Oh, yeah. yeah, I could. But I am... Well, I guess... So, boom, boom. Just That's probably made. the most valuable thing you could do. Yeah, I could also get uh, Mary Pickford here, but I don't think they're essentially going to be the same. So yeah, can you pay one exactly versus another? No, and that's uh, that's the thing I'm trying to figure out. Like, is there a way for me to pay something exactly? I don't think so. So I'll just go ahead and do Mary Edwards Walker since I uh, brought her in earlier, and I'll go boom, boom. Boom. I think you're supposed to start making it happen in 2030, but I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, yeah that's I'm with you there. Dang right. Just, if nothing else, just because things go so slow. <laughs> Even simple things like that. And to be fair, that's also like, how just countries work, right? Like, progress is measured in decades, right? Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it might take a decade, but like, we'll be able to look back in history books and be like, hey, we did that eventually, kind of thing, you know? But it's like, that's the thing. All right, so Mary Edwards Walker, she's a physician and ad advocate for gender equality. Mary Edwards Walker, un Mary. Mary Edwards Walker's unconventional upbringing brought, taught her to ignore traditional gender roles. She volunteered to serve as a doctor during the U.S. Civil War. At first, she was only accepted as a nurse, but later she became the first female surgeon in the Army. She was taken prisoner and later awarded the Presidential Medal of Honor, the only woman ever to receive it. Whoa. Um, and the Marion championed dress reform, rejecting tight corsets and voluminous petticoats. Instead, she often wore knee-length skirts with trousers underneath. Yeah, especially if you're out working. Right? Yeah, she's like, dude, I got a, I got a boogie. Here, uh, and that's going to be six. Okay, so now we're going to go in. And it's just endgame scoring cards. I don't have any. I'm so... going to get an extra four, but that's going to be it. So Mikey is going to be victorious. Yeah, I had no... It's funny, last game we played, we had a bunch of abilities and a bunch of other stuff. And just like, boom. Douche. You can flip this over at the end of the game, put your... Um... Your player aids a little cover. Make a little book. Like, boop. You have, at the end of the game, you can basically go through and read and, uh, all about You can read about characters. all these really cool people you wrote cool. chapters about, which Pretty is cool. such nice a little touch. Such a touch. Fun little, little touch. Thing, right? Might as well. GG, man. So what was hey. it? What was it? It was 74 to 80. 80 indeed. Right. And Mark you can know. see, we played with a very small amount of these, ultimately. <laughs> That's what's really cool. Boom. Boom. There's so many. It's really, really cool. Again... Um, they're selling it right now through the month of March. There's only two days left in March. That's why we did this during this stream, because we wanted to make sure this happened in March. Uh, they are selling it for $19.19 right now in uh, honor of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote in our country. Um, and so, yeah, so pick up a copy of it, because uh, I think it's usually like 40 or 50 bucks. So um, definitely pick it up. It's kind of nice. Again, Underdog Games always Dude, has really good, good productions. High quality stuff, man. They're, nice they're, answer. Their games are always really put well yeah, put together. Yeah, really well put together. <coughs> All right, we're tied up one to one on the old uh, the old day here. The old day, man. All right, we're gonna quickly jump into trekking through history. Which yeah, I'm very excited to try. You have played. I that have played. I played with Admiral. Atlas and Chat there. Yeah, you did. I'm gonna snag it from behind you here. Indeed. Where did we? Oh, here we are. Okay. What you need? Uh, the game also comes, by the way, with a bunch of like cool stuff, like stickers, bookmarks, bookmarks, and stuff. Postcards, like, things. So freaking cool. Yeah, yeah, they they're they're doing it, and the game uh, they uh, got a bunch of teachers essentially to help them whittle down because they had uh, too many cards, and so they whittled it down to like awesome. They also had, to an awesome card of like 120 uh, women. 
So they had all these teachers help out, and they had all these students. These students are the ones who looked up like the interesting facts about all of them. They had all these students here um, help out with that, which is also a really cool thing to honor them like that, being like, hey, thanks for the help. Yeah, just overall a really rad, really rad time. All ratty, bloody. Bloody? The game came, at bloody least for us, like pre-punched, which is very cool. Uh. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Slam. Boom. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to play checking through. I keep wanting to say checking through time. It's, you are going through time, but it's checking through history specifically. You we need and these. I. We need these. I don't know what those are. I don't think so. Let me see what they are. I like think there are time warps and stuff that you can play. Oh, with. yeah, no, we didn't. Let's not play that because we didn't play with those last time. They're let's essentially extra the time stuff you can do. Again. Blam, 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 blop. What color would you like to be, sir? What yellow? color they got? Yeah. Yellow, green, blue, and red. Oh, the yellow. All right. This is error one. This is error two. Uh, day one's here. Okay. Our teams are not doing well. Mary Lou? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Again, talking about stuff with history on the back, all of these also have the event itself on the back, which is, again... Yeah, because you're doing specific things. Yeah. So uh, the theme in... of this game is we're spending three days, and we are going back through time. We're time, time traveling. Our butts off. And we're basically witnessing historical events. That's more or less... Wow. Good God. My God. <laughs> Uh, we're witnessing historical events. You're like, oh, I'm going to go back and watch. I'm going to go back and stretch with, well, that's a very long name, Krishnamacharya? Oh, I'm guessing did something with, um, yeah, it's kind of the father of modern, modern yoga. So like, I'm going to go back to 1933 and stretch with this dude. I'm going to go back here and seek scholarly advice in Timbuktu, which is part of the Mali Empire with uh, Mansa Musa, uh, which is a new game coming out about Mansa Musa. So it's like, you know, you can march to the salt works with Gandhi. So you're basically going back to, like, do these things with these people. Um, and it's taking place over three days. And so, yeah, you're, like, going to these places, doing these things, which is very cool. Bam. Awesome. Art so good in this. Yeah, the art in this is like bang rang. Really, really good. Whew. Slim. All right. Okay, and then we'll need uh, where are those boards? Oh, they're in there. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. A little uh, itineraries. What's the second disco tune? I don't remember. Let me see. You look up. You grab the, those out of there. And I'll look. I can't remember what these are ones for. Is it just to remember your color? Maybe. Well, you your, your crystal cave. I don't know. Can he shuffle it? Can it be done? Can you shuffle it? We get a will it, won't it shuffle? I'm trying to shuffle this. Bet you it will. <clears throat> That's really what that one's for, honestly. Can't remember. I don't know who used it. Screw it. I hate it. Whatever. Oh, it'll shuffle. Oh, it'll shuffle. It'll shuffle just fine. Um, and you get six of these cards? Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. Uh, days are relative, but you know, if you're traveling through time, you're still moving through your time at a constant pace. They must put it like a little little wristwatch on you to make sure you're not going past 12 hours. Wow. Yeah, you get like warped back. Once we hit the 12 hour mark, we come back regardless. The wristband, you know. Huh. Huh. So you get four. Huh. Huh. So these huh. are essentially kind of like tracks that you're kind of bumping. Blumping. Yeah, they kind of give you like a focus maybe of which type yeah. of resources so, you're trying to collect. I'll do this one.
and you'll choose one of these every day. So basically what we're gonna be doing this game is you're gonna be choosing a card from here that you want and then these kind of tokens underneath and on the cards, you're gonna be getting, thank you, you're gonna be getting, and then you're gonna be placing these tokens onto here, and then as you fill in this, you'll get points, you'll get more of these time crystals, and then the number here is how much your watch is gonna move up there, and it's kind of a patchwork mechanic where whoever, whoever's behind gets to <laughs> <Right>. go. <clears throat> but these time crystals, so if I'm doing this one, I can move three, I can turn a time crystal and subtract one by the time I'm moving. You have to move at least one, so you can't move zero, so I can go boom, one, two. So it's really nice because it's got that patchwork mechanic, but you can manipulate that mechanic. It's very really nice. Um, and so, yeah, so it's, it's really, really interesting. And then you're just kind of filling these out and then getting these. The W Mikey is wild, which can go anywhere. You can also get an ancestor card. Uh, you're also building out, uh, you're building out, what's the word? Uh, Tableaus. Tableaus, but you're or building out in tracks. chronological order. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, you want to be able to place a your next thing in, in if going forward in time. If ever yes. you can't do it, that trek ends, you flip it face down, you have to start a new trek. And the longer each trek you have at the end of the game, the better. Like if you have a trek that's 10 cards long, it's yes. 30 points. So if you can keep the timeline yes. smooth. So that's also choosing, and they say, you know, here where it is, if BCE, so closer to zero. Larger is, numbers further away. Exactly. Um, and then this right here that's got a cool little player, it basically tells you all the cards that are in there. Yeah. So like in day three, there's only one thing that's in BCE. So yeah. you're kind of like, okay, well, I know We're that. generally moving forward in time. Yes. Mostly. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty darn simple, but it's, it's very, very cool. All right, you're on top of the old uh, stackaroo, which means you are further behind. So what would you like to take? What would you like to take? Um, um, okay, so what's pretty far... Ooh, I think I should do this BCE one. 12,000 BCE is, uh, so I'm gonna hunt bison with- uh, An alotl? An alotl? Cool. Oh, atlatl? Cool. So I'm gonna get a crystal. Mm -hmm. Boom, and I'll get one of these yellows, blam. And then I will move up uh, two spots. Boom, boom. Okay. I'll, I won't use any time crystals. Shoom, 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 shoom. 12,000 BCE seems like a good space to start. Yeah, yeah man. Um, hmm. I will, yes, yeah, so it's a cool mix of wanting to do chronological stuff, but also wanting to, yeah, um, get the symbols you need. I'm gonna go super three. simple, but it works. I'm gonna go imagine a cave of shadows with Play Doh, which will move me two forward space, so I'll get to go again, which is cool. And this is gonna give me a green and a red. Yep, <clears throat> so green's gonna get me a crystal. Oops, sorry. Green's gonna get me a crystal. And then the red will go right here. And then since it's still my turn, yep. I can go again. So I was in 347 BC, BCE I should say. I'm gonna take this one here and go one, two, three spaces forward. And I'm gonna get a yellow, a red, and a wild. Um, yellow will go here, red will go there. I do have two crystals I could spend. Do I want to like, I think I'm gonna spend one crystal and go just a little bit less far forward. Okay. Um, and my wild, I suppose I'll just get this so I get a crystal back. So essentially it was like, that did that for free. Yeah. All told. And that is hit the books with Alexander the Great, which is just barely after oh, yeah, our time right. with Plato. <laughs> okay. Um. And also, when you take a card, you do things in, in this order. You take a card, you have to move your pocket watch, and then you get the benefits. So just know that if you can't like you get can't a crystal use a from crystal a card, <clears throat> yeah, to to I think discount that card. I am gonna get this one. I'm gonna get two. Oh, well, actually, I guess I'll move my pocket watch. I'm gonna spend these two crystals. That's why I was checking that. So I'm gonna move uh, only three. I'll go one, two, three. But just pop in front of Mike there, and I'll get two blue. We're gonna go boom. I covered this up, which is gonna give me two points. Bam, nice. on the board. So you jump into 900 AD. Yeah. Oh, 900 AD. Oh, I don't want to do this. Hold on, sorry. I was thinking 900 BCE. Right. I was like, that's not that much better. Retcon, baby. You want to change this, by the way, after your turn? My huh? little image. Oh, yeah, thank you. My apologies. Thank you. No, do it after your turn. Nope, no, 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 no. Thanks for no, yelling after. Me. Do it after. J.D. Davis, Boom. maybe get a hold of one here, huh? Okay, hold on, I am not doing that. For some reason, I was thinking that was 900 BCE, not 900 AD, that is worse. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll do 
this one then. Sure. So now I'll move forward. I'm still going to do this because now I'll go boom, boom, and I can get on top of there. So I'm only going to move two. This is 400 BZ. It's not quite as far. And then I'll get a yellow, two yellows and a green. So green's going to come here. We'll go yellow, yellow, and I will get a crystal. All right. What happens if you, like, got something but don't have you any more space? You just can't place it. Just, yeah. yeah you forego it. You forego it. You get nothing. Uh, well, I guess you're still going then. If you're... Oh, yeah, you're right, because I'm great at this game. Oh, look, you're so great. Hey, so great. Um, what's up, Chris and Gilbert? Shoot. Uh, hey, what's up? I guess 24 hours are still passing uh, for you regardless of what time you are. Exactly right. Your boss doesn't want to pay you no overtime. Mm -mm. Five bonus points for each uh, card you get that matches a card you get in her story. I like that. Wow, that's interesting. I like that. That's how we call synergy. Bro, for real, you're just messing up my day, dude. Four right there. <sighs> uh, you probably need to go more than once, though, here. So we get two of these, one of these. I'm sorry, what was that? Stupid. Here? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get another one. Oh, so actually, I don't get any yellow. I'm full up on yellow. Full up. All right, so now I'll get those two points for that blue that I was going to do. Blam. He's on the board. First time. Dang it. Um. <laughs> These cards are not doing it for me, man. It's not doing uh, it. But I'm going to track Venus at Chichen Itza. Okay. So I'm going to move forward. I think I'm going to take both of these. So I'm going to go three, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, actually, no, I'll keep one yeah, and just go on right. top because I'm not going to find a one timer. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to get blue, green, green, which are useless, and a crystal. Ugh, this is kind of a lame turn, to be honest. Uh, but I'll do that. Take this. Boo. It is in the timeline, so it increases the trek anyway. Yeah, yeah, I do. I enjoy the having to increase your trek. It really, it really influences what you end up getting. Thirty-seven thousand BC. Okay. Wow. Oh man, that that's nice. Um, oof. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to make a big jump here. Just a yeah. real big Hold jump. Uh, I'm gonna tour. Oh, it's my turn. Sorry. No, it's not. Oh yeah, you're up front. That's right. It's not back. Boy, and it's not back. This and guy, I swear. What are you gonna do there, Mike? I'm going to take Tesla's, two or Tesla's lab. It's 1891. I mean, this is going to be kind of like a, a the end of this trek, most likely. But that's all right. We'll make it work. Uh, I'm going to, oh, God, where'd that come from? I realize why they do that now. I think I was here. Yes. All right, so I'm going to get red, yellow, yellow, wild. Uh, this is going to move me one, two, three, four time, which moves me to the end of the year, the day rather, on a punctual Yes, yeah, so Mike ended perfectly at 12. Um, and I'm gonna go boom. Oof, I didn't do boom, this very well. Boom, and with my wild, I'm gonna go here. So I'm gonna get 17 points for both of those getting complete. Oh no, this one isn't complete, dang. But I will get this. Okay, so in that case, I'll go here. So I'll get seven and then two, nine right. points. Now I should put me on 12. Okay. Uh, now it's May. I think I'm going to do uh, this one. I'm going to haggle at Great Zimbabwe. Uh, and that's going to give me, uh, so three, one, two, three. And then I am going to get two blues. We go blam. And then uh, three points. One, two, three. Boom. Uh, and then I'm going to take gold, man. this one. So plan escape routes with Harriet Tubman. So Mike got Harriet Tubman, so he will not get this extra five First points. three bonus. Uh, so I'm going to get a green and two red after us. So I will not get the punctuality bonus, unfortunately. But I will get two red, so I'm going to go blam and blam and get eight more points. Boom. Okay. Nice. And that's going to be the end of the round there. All right, discard the current day deck and all history, uh, history cards okay. in the departures row. Boom. So that's the first row. First one. There you Fine. go. Next day is coming out. That's over by you. Discard the current itineraries and experiences on them. I love these bits. These are great. Yeah, the bits, again, underdog does it good. These are really nice. Um, yeah. yeah. Blam. So this goes away. Your progress on those. We do get to keep your current trek and your <coughs> crystals if you got any. Let's see what we got coming up. Yeah, it's kind of like, oof. 
Which ones do we want to choose? Ooh, ooh, whoa, weird. All right, let's try that one. Let's try that one. All righty. Uh, and then I am behind because I got here yep. last. So, so, I'm at 1850 right now. Time to go to the Gaysburg address. I, I like. think so because it's so close, right? So, I think I'm going to go boom. Go listen to, you know, Jolly Old Abe. It's going to be two. Mm, let's go one. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, let's go two. I don't think it's not that sure. necessary. I'm gonna get a blue and a red. Yep. Red, blue, baby. All right. All right. I'm um. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna practice suffragitsu. <laughs> suffragitsu. <laughs> Jimmy, did you write on this game? Be honest. Be right. honest now. Suffragitsu a, is is a Jimmy special. Uh. Are there any change for a two player game in this? No, I don't believe so. So this is gonna get me two blue, a wild, and a crystal. Yeah, Atlas was triggering for me. Um, oh, you do time first though. I think I'm gonna spend two crystals and just move two time, and I'll get a crystal from that action. Uh, George, we already played uh, Lacrimosa. We did not focus very much on the bottom half of the board. We ended up tying, and I went on a tiebreaker. We did not do a lot on the bottom half of the board. You focused more than I did. I did, um, that's, that's what won me. So yeah, you can go shift that. I'm trying to figure out uh, where I want to place this based on what's coming up. You get a wild. Yeah. I think I'll place this on red. And just a reminder that her story, which we played right before this, is on sale for 1919. Very, very, very on sale. Very cool game. Make sure to check it out. Oh wait, hold on. So I'm in 1914 now. Yellow. All right, I'm going to stretch, stretch it out. And that's gonna get me a wild and a green. So this completes this row, so I'll get five points. Two of your timer? Um, say again. Timer? No, yeah. Um, I'll get this in the red, okay. I managed to keep my trap going, which is pretty good, despite being in the to. 1900s. I have to. I got Rosalind Franklin in the last game. Got to study. Nick's getting the hursary bonuses left and right, baby. Got to study. Well, I didn't get the other hursary bonus because you got Harry Tubman, not me. But oh, I did get Rosalind right. Franklin. Study DNA. We're looking at the DNA helix. Uh, so let's move to the other four. I think I'm going to only go one, two, three. Um, and then I'll get a red, a blue, 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 a green, and a yellow, all of them. Jumping forward quite, let's put this here. Um, let me go bump, I'm oh, sorry, bump, 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 bump. All righty. Hmm. The double helix, uh, yeah, yeah. So you make sure five points or what? <laughs> so is that canon now? Uh, I'm gonna say chimpanzees, Jane Goodall. You better believe it. Uh, quicksand, glad to hear it. Uh, uh, that's going to be a red and a crystal coming my way. It does work with my track. Um, it's all good on that one. And I get one more turn here. Um. My only option to keep the truck going is to rock out at Live Aid with Freddie Mercury. I will be doing that. Now, you can't reduce something, obviously, beyond zero. Can you reduce it to zero? It has to move at least once. Dang. Yeah, it has to move at least once. So, All right. Uh, but I will do this. Uh, it will cost me one time. I will get a blue. I will get a yelly. A yelly for relly. Um... And uh, yellow will get me three points. The blue will get me two, so I'll get five points total. Come on down, Fred. Frederick. Um, hmm. I think, oh, this is tough. 
I think I'm gonna have to start a new, I have to start a new timeline. So I'm trying to decide, should I go over here and go to Timbuktu to try to have the lowest timeline? Mm. I probably should. It doesn't really oh, help. See. It doesn't really help with this that much, but I think I'm going to. It's four, I mean, it's probably though. good because that sets you up well for day three in yeah. theory. It's one, two, three, four. I mean, do, I mean, this is the earliest one. Oh, so you can do it off top of the deck, huh? Mm -hmm. But you just don't get any bonus, do you? Yeah, you just get what's on the card, yeah. But it is much earlier. No, let's. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, a lot it's, of. You know, I'm going to do it because it's only two. I don't want to move four. I am going to do this one. Sure. Uh, so then this will all come here. This is my timeline. Blam. And then we're starting again, sailing under the Colossus of Rhodes. I'm so waiting for uh, checking through history to be on sale for 1985. God dang it. <laughs> if you wait a little bit longer, it goes to 1955. At some, time, at some point in October, so that's pretty sweet. Um... Well, nothing came out that's going to save me from my fate. One thing I could do is get a visit your ancestors, which is a wild for yep. time. So it's not horrible. It's not horrible. I could make it cost one time, but it's like I mean, so I have what eight. So that'd be eighteen points. I could get to twenty-one, but then I'm not going to get to thirty. So I'm just like, ah. right. So I'm just I'm just wondering if I should just. Cut my losses. Right. I think I will. Um, yes. I am going to instead read one of the world's first novels. Gonna I'm going to spend two crystals to bring it down to one time. Ooh, nice. So I'll be able to get another turn here. Um, boom. That's going to get me a red and a wild. The red will go here. I'm going to put the wild here on the green and get a crystal. Hmm. Ugh. Darn. I don't know what to do. Um, you guys ever go on the Back to the Future ride on t in, at Universal Wild Stuff? I don't, have you ever been on the Back to the Future ride? I have, but only because it's in Florida. I don't even oh, know it's in Florida really anymore. Florida, yeah. But um, it's not over here anymore. It got replaced with the Simpsons ride. But yeah, it's like this little, you get put into like a DeLorean, you're flying around, there's like Biff and stuff. And hmm. yeah, it was a good time. It's a good time. I think it's still in the Florida Universal. Probably. That's where I saw it. Um, What's up, Daniel? Oh, man. I've just got the wrong stuff out. I've got, no matter what, no matter what I take, something is just going to waste. Yeah. Oh. yeah. This was not a good round for me, I don't think. Um, no. So let me think of the most efficient time. <clears throat> hmm. So if I'm on 1,008, the best thing to do is in Russell and Kudaloon. It's three times, so I'll get one more go before the end of the year. Right. So this red, I don't have space for, but a wild. Are you spending I, a crystal for that? Huh? Because it's four time. I, I meant four. I, I moved one. Oh, I four. I said three, but I meant four. <coughs> the wild I'll put there. Yeah, I will have to do. Dang it. I like that, again, you're getting pulled in different directions because I want the right things, but I also want a good timeline synergy. And it sucks because that's super early. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so the problem is, it's like for me to get a card, I don't have to jump like, really far up. Although we're ready to go in the third. Yeah. Oh, man. I need... I need... Yeah, I need a red and yellow. Ugh. Yeah, I guess I'll do this one. I'm probably going to have like a two, two trek. Um, I'll move three. Uh, and I'll do red, red, yellow. That's pretty good. No, it's, I, I need to do a crystal, this. get some points. Two. Red, crystal, so I get two points. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, like, not, like, really ideal. Oh, now all the early ones are coming out. Gosh. Okay, so I really need two yellows if I can get it, and I just can't get it. Um... Hmm. Well, I'll do this one. 
because it we're at the fairest with the world's fire. So that means I can get here, I at least land perfectly on there. Nice. Or get a blue and a yellow. Hmm. Do I want to use this and land here? I think I do. Yeah. Yeah, just because then I can um, get another thingy. Nice. So I filled this one in here, which is 13 points. That's why I was like, I got to do that. 31. 31, boom. Wow. All right, then I got one more. And if I can get a yellow and a blue, I can. I will have to start a new trek, but we're going to go boom. And we're going to get... Uh, that's going to be blam, way over. We're going to get a yellow, a blue, and a crystal, um, which will give me another uh, eight points. Boom. Mm. So I filled in most of this. I was like, okay. So that's what I like about the crystals is because it, it allows you to manipulate yeah, that nice. part of the game. It makes bigger cards, better cards, more enticing because uh, you don't have to deal with the time quite as badly. Um, oh, yeah. So top three non-Back to the Future time travel movies. Con Air. Um, One thing I can take here is the green, which will give me 10 points. 10, though. 22, 32. Oof. Uh, nah, brr, um, Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 does it well. Call it, call him Deadpool 2. Why not? Cable. Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure obviously is number one. Uh, Bill and Ted's Adventure Rivals is number Back to the one future. above Back to the Future, I'll say. I'll say it rivals. I don't know if it's above. Mm. I don't know if anything's above Back to the Future. Back to the Future is about a guy who goes back in time and almost. Looper was cool. And almost sleeps with his mom. I want to watch it's it again. It's a weird movie. I mean, it's a weird movie. Not that Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure isn't weird. Yeah. But uh, Looper was neat. I, I don't know I started Looper. re-watching it for the first time since the first time I watched it the other day and um, fell asleep. But... Uh, yeah, it's just a cool concept. The time travel part of the concept. How about for you? <sighs> well, let's do this one. Oh, I am. All right, level three cards, or day three rather. We're on the third day here, fam. So it's nice, especially with two, it's like pretty darn snappy. Snappy, McBlappy. All right. Uh, you're first. Um, okay, so 1930. Yeah. I don't know. I think I might. Well, nothing actually. I could do Rosa Park, 1955. 1955. Um, 1955. I'm wondering if it's just like, do I just go older school and like this track will give me two points and let it, let it be that. Yeah, that's what I do with this I one. I was I'm like, well, do that. we gotta. So I'm gonna go joust at the Ascension Date Tilt. Um, this will end that trek prematurely. I'll get two blues. Um, I'm just wondering if I wanna spend a crystal to reduce that down. I don't think so. So I'll let it be. All right. 1581, the new standard. Um, ooh, 1510. I should probably do that one just because it's so, ooh, it's four though. I'm gonna use a crystal. Move only three. One, two, three. I'll get a red, a blue, and a wild. Blue! You know, like blue? Blue. I think I'll blue. go blue, red. <laughs> this next adventure straight up has a main character uh, with an Oedipus complex. That's true. Uh, it's, of its time, <laughs> so you can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't dog on. Uh, that's true. That's a good point. Because Marty doesn't. Marty's trying to backpedal. That's true. That's true. You know what doesn't though? Conair. Conair has everything, but everything but baby. But um, I'm patting the causeway of Tenno Chickland. Army Darkness will be mine. It's been uh, too long since I've seen it though. Needs a rewatch. That's a that's classic. That's fair. That's a classic. My boomstick. Uh, 1581 is it, and then I can jump way far into the future. Um, oh my goodness, Whew, that's expensive. 
Oh, stars and straps above. Um, <laughs> straps above. This is not going the way. Gosh dang it. Um, I'm getting too hung up on the track, and there's just not that much time in the game left, and I probably oughtn't worry too much because I'm not going to get to ten cards. Uh, yeah. Um, At this point, where you're you're starting again right now, I think that'd be nigh be. impossible unless you had think a billion more crystals. More about what is it giving me, Daddy? Um. Uh, it's your boy's gonna moonwalk the Apollo crew, Apollo Eleven crew, and I'm gonna spend a crystal and make it cost one. I'm gonna get green and red. Okay. Um. Oof. Oh man. That sucks. With all these new things, that's literally everything else is older. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh wow, you little two first. Shoot. That gonna be where you can take an ancestor. It's not like the not greatest. Worth not worth it. Not worth the time. Not worth the time. Uh, I'm going big. I'm gonna go hunt fossils. This is gonna start a new trek. This one won't cost me points, but it will not gain me points. No. Nope. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Ooh. It gets me a crystal, a red, a yellow, and a wild. Yeah. So the red will give me two points. So that's something. Um, I'm going to go yellow right there for the wild. So I'm wondering, can I get to this row, which I just take some points? I think I'm going to go with that. You probably right can. There. You get a blue and a red, blue and a green? Be right. Should be able to. Okay. 1990. Mm. That's way earlier. Didn't dial in this last round very well. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm going to do this one. Also going to cost me five. Blam. Ugh. I'm going to get a Cristal, though, a Wild, and a Blue. I like Source Code when it came out. I need to watch that again. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Red, Blue. Back to the Future's, I think, and, and like a Bill and Ted are so fun. You know, they have like the great mix of the fun of it. I love how... You know, and Bill and Ted's actually mentioned they're just collecting historical figures, and they're yeah, like, just like, "What would it be like if Napoleon was in a water park?" <laughs> Dude, it's the best. Just stupid um, stuff like that. I like that they get a bunch of people who like definitely like Genghis Khan. For one, is responsible for so much murder and mayhem. <laughs> he killed like a tenth of the world, right? Yeah, <laughs> and then Napoleon is just like next to him looks pretty tame. Yeah, right. We also have Jonah Barker. So we got some cool people. We got some cool people. Huh, so this is interesting. Yeah, Beethoven. I really, Beethoven. Um, I really want this one, but that would jump me all the way up to 1990, and there's literally one card in this entire deck that's bigger than that. That's facts. And so I'm just like, do I do, I do that? Do it's I? It's also only one. It's only it's only because it's one thing. Yeah. And so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a red and a yellow, which I need, because I can go boom, boom, and get nine more points. It's what I need. It's what I need. Uh, and then we're gonna go here, and maybe I can get that 1994 card and make this slightly better, but I doubt it. Um, Speaking of, oh boy. And here you go. Don't uh, ride with Genghis Khan unless you wanna see many people die. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to spend a crystal to bring this cost down to two. I'm going to get blue and green, which will complete a row for ten points, which I desperately need because I'm well behind. And we're going to ride in the Paris Rune. Hmm. Okay, so I'm You see, gonna... you like, ride with the gang? You, like, you ride with them? Wait a minute, you ride you, like, with them? You like friends? Are you like... <laughs> Buddies? Because, woof. Oh, here's an issue. I have 1989 and 1990. I wish I could have gotten that one first. <laughs> but I also don't really want to take that one because I have to start a new trek with that, and there's still only one card <laughs> later yeah. than that. Oh, yeah. I but see. I'm, I'm looking at these and like what I need. I also have one crystal. I really want to go only one I forward. Know. I kind of want the Genghis Khan one because it gets two of these, but it's our new track, which loses you three points. So it really kind of negates the 
upside. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah oh. exactly. And so I'm just kind of like, uh, wow. I think I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna spend this to only go two, uh, and I'll do a green and a blah, blah. Green. <laughs> Alice says, I feel like a modern version of Bill and Ted would involve the problematic historical figures getting called out for their BS. Probably. How good would that be? How good would that be? Like, but it's hey, still, man. like, they're getting called out by these morons who have now learned. <laughs> who have now, that's like them, them later in life, you yeah. know? All right. Um, okay, so. Oh, my gosh, I got one turn left. Yeah, oh. yeah bro. Bless. Actually, this would have been much better if it was still back there, but. Alas, that's just how it goes. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna leave. I think I'm gonna boycott the buses so with Rosa Parks, though. That will bring me to the end of my day. I am not very punctual about it, but I will get just one green because I can't take two and a red, which does give me five points, oh, which is good. Sensual. Oh. Or straight across. Oh no, that's right. Do you hear it? You do your card. Cha, yeah, dude. Cha, bro. That's the end of the day. Very useful for me. Thank you. Got you, bro. I'm gonna do this one, 1989, which I actually take. I'm gonna go two. I'm not punctual. I don't have a crystal, unfortunately. But it's gonna be two greens. Mm. Um, and I can actually put it in my oh. timeline, which means it's gonna go boom, boom. It's gonna be eight points. See, that's where I'm. I don't. I think I have the longest single track, but. Actually, I don't know if I even I do. Boom. I don't. I can't picture me coming back. Boom. So that's going to keep this zero. It's going to keep you from losing points too, yeah. which is great. Okay. So right. now, any crystals you have left over will be worth a point. I do not have any. Neither do I. We have this, and they're scoring our treks. So this trek right here, be worth zero because it's two uh, treks long. I have one worth one, two, three, four, which is going to be four points. Boom. Let's see, we got one, two, three, so that's gonna be worth two points. Boom, boom. And this is my first one, which is the biggest one. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. So seven's gonna be 15, Dang. 80. Um, all right, I've got two tracks that are three long, so that'd be four, and this one is two. So I'll get one, two, three, four, and then I have an eight card track, which is 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. So uh, the final score is gonna be seventy-one to eighty. Nick wins handily. Yeah, I was able to do this. I was able to put together my mid, yeah. my <sighs> second part round. After my first I did track. this like all of it, and that was really, really good. I and think then this one I got a decent amount of points from this too. I think I like tried to stick in for a little too long, right, on my first track, and it yeah. kind of messed me up for later. Yeah, you know, right. But hey, it's how it goes. Hey, yeah, but I really like it though. I, I really, really like great. the, I like this edition because it really influences like what you want to take. And then you also have the chronological part and that really influences what you want to take. And then there's yeah. the time, but the time can be mitigated by the crystals. So it's like, it just, it takes things like, you know, those kinds of like engine builders and those kinds of timeline kind of games or things yeah. like that. And it just, adds more to it that makes it significantly uh, better. Yeah, it just, I love getting pulled in different directions by, by yeah. games, you know? You want to have all these juicy decisions, and it's extra cool when you do that in a game that is not heavy. Like, yes, it's not it a heavy game. It's super light, right? Like, super light, and it's like the art's it's really easy good. to understand, but There's like... There's history can, on each of the cards. Like, it's yeah. really cool. Like, you can be really strategic still. Like, yes. you still get a chance to be strategic, you know, and based on the itineraries and stuff, all like those things, like you said. There's a lot of ways to kind of work your thing, you know, well, which is really satisfying. Yeah, so, it's really yeah, rad. Kudos. And then, like, the components are, like, great. Yeah. The patchwork mechanic is, like, always great. I love any, the time. I love time, that you can any kind of time, time track like that, I'm always, like, all in on. I'm like, yes, please give yeah. me that. The pocket watch and stuff are just nice and cheap. Yeah, components are great. But, indeed, just need two more Her Story cards. Yeah, forgive my five, five Her Story points. That's all I needed. Well, no, I got five more points. No, I need like three of them. I need like three or four I of them. I won by five more than I won by. Um, <laughs> boom. All right. Yeah, very, very cool. Though. Again, big shout out to Underdog Games for sponsoring this part of the mini marathon. Again, we make sure to check you. out her story um, and check out um, Trekking Through History as well. But her story is only 1919 through the month of March. So you only got uh, two more days to order it if you wanted that price. And then it'll go up to a million dollars. Yeah. 
Um, and we're gonna take a little break. I'm probably gonna eat some food, um, and then we're gonna round out Cabitos. Although we will, might play we another might play a little filler after that. We might that. play a little filler because these two games, as you can see, are not very long, which is very nice. And that's the best part, dude. Get after it in a snappy fashion. Snappy wappy. Get in, party, get to put out. Those back in that little bag. That's what we hope for. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take a quick break, get a little nosh on, and we'll come on back while we set up Kibitos and chat you up. So yeah. don't go nowhere. Get yourself some snacks, get yourself some hydration, um, some hydrangeas. Uh, make awesome sure you water ways. those if you're if you're a gardener. If you yeah, if you have um, them. Boom. Let, so let a little less strategy at four player, yeah, because cards are constantly moving around. But two player, it's great. I played it at three. It was fine. At three as well. Love it though. Really cool. Yeah. The way back tours. Yeah, like, welcome to Way Back Tours. All right, fam. Uh, we will be uh, right back. Um, and yeah. See right, you love y'all. See you in a minute.
Hello. Can you hear me? We're on new mics now. Hello. About to cruise into some Cubitos. So don't mind us. Boom, boom. Come on. Look at me go. Haven't broke the stream. I've been alone for like 30 seconds. Oh, what to do now, bar? Shoo. We're going to play some Cubitos, and we might have some time for something else. We just got, literally just got, speaking of John D. God dang Claire, we just got Roland Heights up in the mail, so we might bust that open and take a look. I don't know how to play it, so we can't play it, but, you know, we can look at it, stare at it, wonder about it. Uh, so we'll see what we get to here. We might play something else. We'll see. See what the day brings. Just a chill little game day. You know how it is. Ugh. Okay. Right. All righty. So. One thing I'm wondering is what race should we do? What race ought we? Got the Tigers game uh, on the radio in the background right on. I got the Giants game right here, as sad as it is. It's, you know, it's not going our way, but I didn't expect it to. Just down 5-0. Like you hope for in the old uh, top of the ninth. Get down, ball. Wow, that sucks. But, you know, we've got 161 more to go, so it's going to be just fine. I did not expect to win today. And it's all about setting expectations properly for yourself. Helps you avoid feeling desperate. Okay. How are the Tigers prospects looking now, Barry? What's your, what's your hopes and dreams for the old, uh, the old guard in Detroit there? My my uh, my expectation for the Giants is they'll go they'll go north of 500, but not a ton. And if they outperform that, good golly, how great would that be? But I'm not holding my breath. No score for the Tigers. Bomb the second. Late start. Later start. Yeah, right on. Are they in Detroit? Who are they playing? I'm gonna guess the Orioles. I don't know why. Prospects this year not great again. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, goes that way. Just getting all these dice ready. I'm just happy baseball's back, you know? It's just, uh, it's perfect to have on the radio in the background or, or whatever. And I don't know, because, you know, unlike football, there's like so few games in comparison. They're, they're all high stakes, which is great. It's fun and exciting, right? But it's, baseball's just kind of great to be a fan for because you never get too high or too low. <laughs> and that's kind of beautiful. It's just like, ah, you know, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> in Tampa, okay, home opener in a week. Uh, we'll have fam over for that. That sounds fun. Yeah, the Giants are on the road to start. Might be a similar thing where they, they might have like a little week long road trip. I'm not sure actually. I'm starting off with a new schedule type. So, an interleague play to open up against the Yanks. Three game set. Oh, that was a two game set. So, I don't know. I think we'll take one of the three. I think we'll take one of the three. Um, then, where are we at? Then the White Sox. Yes, yeah, so we open at home next Friday against Kansas City. Three game. No, it is a no. Okay, yes, three game set against the Yankees, three game set against the White Sox. But there's a game, a day off, and then two more games. What? So they play Monday the third, but not Tuesday. That's so weird. I've never seen something like that before. We play Detroit later this month, though in Detroit. That's cool. Right on. 
Yeah, we got a real mix of road and home the first month. Wow, interesting. Interesting, interesting. <clears throat> okay. Back to it, Michael. Focus! Oh, I can explain that? Yeah, what's the deal? I've, I've literally never seen, is there, you know, like last year there's a strike and stuff, and so things got pushed around and there was a weirdness, but is there, it's so that the home, uh, if the home opener rains out, it happens the next, <laughs> I guess, yeah. I know, it's kind of wild for a lot of places, baseball is still like, the weather's just like, well, if it if it's agreeable, we'll play. <laughs> it's like, I remember a few years ago, the Giants were opening up in um, Milwaukee. Milwaukee plays inside, so it didn't matter, but it was a blizzard outside, like a full-on, whole-ass blizzard. And I was like, this is intense. <laughs> and so much of the Midwest is that way, of course, many of whom do not play inside, <laughs> uh, and therefore didn't play. Uh, okay, how many of these do we need? Is it eight and one, seven and one, two? Um, so 28 and 12 would signify seven and three. I guess that makes sense. Is that right? Seven and two. Can you gain more? Two. Four. Six, seven, two. Hell yeah, bro. Uh, and Nick made lunch, and it was freaking delish. I made lunch yesterday. Well, no, well, yeah, I mean, that would be even more impressive. If I did all that right now, that would be intense. So there's, we started off with seven and two gray dice, but there's more gray dice. Is there a way to, oh, is there a way to get them, maybe? No. From the board? Well, those are the other players. Oh, no, but I'm saying great. if it's a four-player game, there's still four left over. Maybe they're just left over. I don't know. Weird. Weird. I'm assuming we won't need them until I am proven otherwise, which will probably happen. I'll put them outside then. Just in case. Uh, we do not need the light gray, though. That I know. That much I know. I don't think so either, but I mean, if they're there... Because there's 28 light gray, so that's seven per player. So that makes sense. I, I uses them all up. There's 12 dark gray, but you only get two per to start. That's confusion, man. Choose the form. All right. Thank you for providing lunch, Nicholas. We had a nice stuffed chicken breast with feta and sun-dried tomatoes. Delicious. A little red potato mash on the side. We call it mash. I like, I like having the skin in there and stuff. Oh, yeah. Way great. The crunchy. texture, little yeah. chives yeah, in there. Yeah. Was that right? Those are green onions, but yeah. Or green onions, that's what I meant. Is that the same? I don't know, honestly. I think it's the they same. They look very similar. I think they're the same. Yeah, red onions. Green onions. Green onions, rather, and then um, some just garlic Dude. in there, too. Fire. Dumb fire. <clears throat> and then a balsamic reduction. Which was amazing. Brought the whole thing together. It's really Dude, a MVP so of the whole good. bitch, isn't it? Like, man. Dude, it's great. Yeah, I was like, mm. ooh, put this over everything. Because I don't want to make a gravy. Sweet like, goodness, yeah. yeah. Nah, it was good. It's, it's, it's what you needed. Yeah. Like you said, with the the Mediterranean vibes and the feta and stuff, gravy would be, I mean, it would probably have been It'd good, be but you want yeah. that, you want something to cut through sweet. Yeah, it's nice and sweet. Yummy, 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 yum. A bit of vinegary. Yeah, it was good, man. Um, ooh. All right. So, how do you want to work this, man? You want to choose like a specific race and and go go with the suggested stuff? Let's yeah, choose one of the one of the races that's like in the back of the book. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Know. I think they'll be further back. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh wow, they are advertising for that way back then. I think I think that Kickstarter was a while ago. Wow, must have been. Is it this one? The, uh, no, these are the player the power. Or oh, is it the very? Is it the back back back? That's where we just were. What? I think it's earlier. I think, I oh, think, maybe it I is. think this is one of those kind of weird rule books. Yeah, it's yeah. one of weird rule books that does like. I will not lie to you. This is one of my least favorite rule books ever made. It is not good. Great game. It's a great game. The rule book is terrible. <laughs> Every card has a description. You go to the rule book, it's word for word the same. So That's if you want clarification, help. you ain't going to get it. That doesn't really help. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um, but I like everything else about it, so it's great. 
Um, okay, so the first game, race two, cheesy uh, fans dino combo or a fishy llama set encourages fans you to get the fans to be more particular about the color of dice you roll together. Race three, claw your way um, to popularity to get some general fan points. This uh, set also encourages collecting fans, uh, though with some well-dressed cheese and clever combos, you may not need them for victory. Race four, uh, is it time to uh, wiki wiki or stink it up? Uh, gray dice look a lot nicer in this set, Ooh. and a vacationing llama might know some shortcuts. Let's Ooh, go with that. That sounds, that sounds cool. I don't think we've done that one. No, we have not. Race number four, it's going to be Stillwater's Run Deep. Um, there we go. And Kaplam. And we will need... Uh, okay. Stinky Cheese. Stanky cheese. Shoot, this is crazy. Stanky cheese. Um, Jacques Coutel. Boom. Um, Dope Cat. Um, Batter Beaver. Better be. <clears throat> Dapper Doggy. Uh, wiki Wiki Dinosaur. What's up, Sarah? Wiki Wiki Wiki. Oh. Wiki Wiki Dinosaur. I already got Stinky Cheese up in there. We need Pineapple Rocks. Oh, hello. Ernt Bahama Lammer. There we go. All righty. So, got those. <clears throat> we will. That's the notification. Am I the only one? No, Sarah, it is not soon because we were talking to Foss the Meeple. And they also did yeah, so. notifications are always you funky, and it seems like it's not, not doing the dang thing today, which is a lamb. So, sorry about that. We are many hours in, unfortunately. But hey, you're not too late. Yeah. Not too late. We're happy to have you anytime we can get you, but yeah, it, yeah, don't know why. It's just odd. Okay. So, I guess I'll put these over here. So, powers, we got Bahama Llama, um, where I suppose if you roll... Uh, peace sign, you gain three bucks. And gain one movement. This one movement may be used to enter a water space. So I guess you get both those things if you hit a, um, a um, peace sign. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pineapple Rock says two different things. One for the one with dots, one with the one with not. If you get the standard one, if you push, you may first move this die to your roll zone before you roll. Um, so that means where you like you pull it back, right? Essentially. Yes, I think so. Um, and then if you get the dotted one, also move any one other active die into your roll zone. Not optional. So you have to do that. So then you pull something back they maybe wanted to keep. Wicked, wicked dinosaur. If you roll dinosaur face, you gain one movement for each different color of active dice you have. So you want to have a menagerie. Yeah. Dapper doge. Uh, gain all the money and feet on all of your active gray dice an additional time, and then you lose the dog, which is typical. Batter Beaver. Uh, I'll have to look up what the hell that means. You get plus two rolls. Uh, yeah. Oh, so if it's active, do you have like a couple of like um, you, can, you can like go a couple times without busting or something? I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah. Then during the run, after moving and gaining any rewards, if you gained any uh, credits this round, lose any one die. Not optional. I feel like that means you can kind of like not bust twice thing. Yeah, you or no, do you roll two additional dice or you something? You roll two additional dice. That's what it is, yeah. So they like, take them from your draw area? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> cool. Fun. <laughs> Dope cat. Um, if active brown, so there's a dog, the dogs and cats kind of go together. I'll put them next to each other. Uh, if there's an active brown die, gain two bucks. Um, if there's an active green, gain three bucks. Mm. Okay. Jacques Couteau. 
Um, if you get the dotted one, you get plus two swords each. And then uh, for the regular one, I guess it's just one. For each player, fewer swords than you, choose two non-red dice you own in any zones and roll them. Interesting. Then Stanky Cheese. So the regular die face will gain you two movement. The dotted die thing will uh, give you also gray. Do not count toward your draw amount next round. Rip. If you get the specialized one. Okay. Boo. So for anyone that is not initiated, this is a racing game. We are ultimately trying to complete a lap down here to the old finish line. Um, moving our persons, and there's a uh, push your luck element. So we are going to be uh, rolling out dice. You can roll out nine, so basically your whole fleet of dice to start. Um, and every time you roll, anything that has a face on it will go to your active area. Once you have at least three that are active, you then can choose to stop or push it. If you push it and you roll again, if you roll at least one dice face like you did just there, like I did, you get to collect that and keep going. If you ever roll all blanks, boom, you bust. Yeah. Basically, everything goes out here. You can choose how many things to discard, and you get to move forward on the fan uh, track. People are like, dude, this guy is awesome, you know? Underdog, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you don't really get as much progress. Um, if you ever roll something like this, which all the kind of basic ones have, that's money that you can spend this round only to purchase up to two dice. Um, there are dice faces that are specific to all these types of colorful dice that you're going to see us get that are uh, referenced here on the cards. And as you start getting those in the mix and start rolling them, they do a whole bunch of effects, which I just read out, and we'll kind of re-reference throughout the game. Um, Hi, guys. Remember that many rules and exceptions? It amazed me. Um, we've just been doing it for a while, and yeah, we both of us are relatively good at remembering rules. Um, so yeah, we've done all right. Just kind of get used to it. And especially when it comes to your job, you just get more and more good at it. Um, yeah, I do okay. All right, I do yeah. Like this, I think. So I can keep my, my clear, I'm gonna roll over here yeah, and keep my clear, my actives over here. Exactly. <coughs> in. All right, is there anything I'm uh, missing, Nick? Anything really setup so. wise? Um, yeah, we're rolling, we're doing that, we're getting fans, um, active discard. Yeah, if you bust, you can discard as many as you want, and then uh, boom. Your limit of dice starts at nine. For every one of these red kind of banners you're behind, you get to pull out extra dice. Yep. There's also ways as you move up here to get a permanent increase in the amount of dice you roll every uh, round. And it's kind of like a deck builder, a bag builder with no deck or bag, where there's a draw pile. So if you you know finish with some amount of dice over here, you have four out here. If you had two dice here, you first will draw those out and then move your discard pile over and can draw those out. So, so there's a little bit of deck buildingness to it. There's some strategy in terms of like, okay, this one, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of gray dice. It's probably gonna be a good turn, but the next turn, I'm gonna yeah. have a bunch of my colored dice and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, you can absolutely kind of be strategic with that a little bit, which is really cool. Um, so uh, when are we gonna get that heat atlas? I don't know, it's expansive. Yeah, I really want it. It is like 80 or 90 bucks, yeah, but it is it, really cool. It's um, expansive. Yeah, hopefully soon. Well, yeah, soon, ho hopefully ish. Hopefully soon. Um, also, I haven't seen it anywhere, yeah, so I, I don't know where one gets it, to be honest. So, Lassie Kabitos, Nick did an amazing video of a game uh, which replaced other games, uh, and I was curious to see this one. Yeah, this one's cool, and thank you for that um, yeah. kindness. I did just get to play Quacks um, recently. You played uh, Quacks recently? Yeah, I played it with um, um, Jimmy and Hannah. Oh, nice. And, and it's a good one. Quacks is great, but I, I definitely like Kubitos better, I think. Um, but yeah, Quacks is still very good. Nick, are you ready to roll? My voice is really far away from the vi Is that it again? Nicholas Murphy. Sorry, this time I wasn't turned on. Sorry. This time the normal thing. I turned your pack off because I didn't I didn't want you to, to go hot mic without you knowing. Yeah, yeah. So this time it was pack the normal check. thing that was the wrong. Pack, pack check. check. We usually say pack check, pack check, make pack sure. Check. Thank you. Um for letting me know. Yeah. Um, um okay. Okay, day, man. So we're choosing. We're gonna have all our nine dice. Yeah, ain't got no choice. I'm first player, so I'll get to roll this dice. This will just move around the table, or yep. in our case, back and forth. It's just another die you get to roll. Gives you some credit, some more chances of movement. It does not count toward your limit. And this is all simultaneous. I rolled one. I if rolled you roll two. all blanks, but you haven't committed three to your active area, yeah. you're all good. So, yeah. you, you so only... at this point, I'm still safe. Yeah. So are you. 
Um, all right, I got these. Right, so I got two more. So now this is the point where it's like, okay, now. So what's cheap out there? The three is the God. cheapest. Ah, bless it. Um, all right, so I busted because um, I'm an idiot. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I'm stay. gonna have no money. You can. What's kind of cool is you can choose what you keep out here and discard everything yes. else in this first round. It won't really matter. Uh, but I do move forward on the fan track. Yes, indeed. Um, I got one little footsie, so I'm gonna go blah blah. Or actually, I can go anywhere. Let's go blah blah because there's more money up here. Yeah, it's the further route. And then I got three buckarinos. So you buy two dice. They have to be different colors. Again, kind of quacks rule. I do. We played with this pineapple before. I do like this one because you can choose to put them back. And the pineapple is a 50-50 shot. I think the pineapple almost always has that effect, and then usually might, for these ones, have an additional Maybe, thing. Maybe, yeah. But it's definitely the best odds. Yeah, let's do a pineapple. We're gonna go boop, and this goes into my draw pile, or does it go in my discard? I think it goes in your discard. That's right. Boom. Well, I'll double check right now, but I'll be. I will remember. So again, this is one where if I push, I can decide to put this back into my um, rolling thing. And my rolling thing, which is better because all these guys are one of six faces. These ones are three of six. So you have a 50% chance on these to roll it. So you have a much better chance, which is great. It goes to your discard yep. zone, but I mean, in this case. And then these are all gonna go boop here, and then these are gonna stay out there. So I didn't keep, I didn't use those, so they are, they are in my roll. So now at this point, I would draw. I have nothing to draw, so these will come boop, and I'm choosing up to nine. I'm definitely gonna go boom, boom, boom. All right. And so now next round, I have to draw this one. Yeah. Even with this thing you drove? Mike, huh? You need to roll better. He's Dude, better. that's why I rolled again, because I was like, I got a shot at it. Now here's Lazarus. Thank you for, for letting me know. Yeah, we, I've been, been getting uh, unlucky with that. Blam. All right. One face out of nine. Ooh. Great. I got Start. three. Three's almost the worst, because now I'm just kind of like, I can bust. Going for it. I'm going to keep Easy going. Easy bust. <laughs> I busted. Again? Yeah, I did. Oh, my gosh. Dang it. Well, we both busted. <gasps> I think I'll just have all these go over here. These will also go over here. I'll go back to you. I'm going to go boop. So I got a credit. Now, credit's cool because it's money you can roll over to the next round yes. if you want. Um, but so Mike does not have to spend that this round. No. If you bust, you can't. Buy Any like anything, coin showing right? on dice must get used or they're forever yes. lost, but those cur the credits. So this will save. then come up here. These will go over here, and then I choose from there. So that's boom. Show my dice again. Work. I don't mind getting a little ways up the tracks. So I was like, eh, early on. That track is cool. Just yeah. See what happens. Ah! I uh, did the three for a start. Wow, all blanks. Look at that. 100%. Oh, oh God. Ooh. Okay, so this is a situation where I could use this. Baby, you must. <laughs> I should just take my win. So now I have this shield. So I'm going to use this ability, which means I'm going to push. I'm going to keep rolling, and I can choose to add this back to here, which I'm going to do because, one, the shield doesn't do anything on its own. It doesn't give me any money or any feet. So it just gives me a better chance of rolling something because at least the green one's a 50-50. Hilarious. Ooh, so I got a foot, and I got this one. Also move any one other active to my roll zone. Oh, I don't think I'm, I'm worried about these four. I'm gonna leave this one. So this one is not gonna do anything. Well, then it says, can't wait to table this game again. Played it once. Uh, the tough part was my friend was having a hard time wrapping her head around why you have to empty the draw pile. Uh, and yep. pulling in the deck discard. Building, right? Deck, again, it's it, confusing. it follows the same cadence as a deck builder. And the first time someone explained deck building to me, it made, it sounded like someone was speaking Martian. Yeah. Like, I was like, what? What are you saying? And now we're like, oh, it makes total sense. And it does, but it's just a weird concept well, if you've never heard it. Well, and I feel like deck building, it's more intuitive to be like, I'm out of cards. I'll take my discard grab. pile, I'll yeah. shuffle it, boom. Here, I There's feel like dice up here. And it, it I feel like this funky. is even more confusing than yeah. a normal deck builder, which is already confusing for new people. Yeah. Um, you said you always push your luck too much. Uh, <laughs> here, you're still doing it accurate, Sarah. That I'm not going to change. Accurate. Okay, so I have one footsie putsie. I'm gonna go boop. <coughs> and then I got three. This shield doesn't actually do anything for me. It's more like an in-game one. Um, so I have three buckaroo nos. So gain all the coins and feet on all your active die, gray die, and additional time. Ooh, let's get a let's get a little puppy pup. Blam. So then these are all gonna go here. I will have to draw this one, and then these will come over, and I can draw four more. Ooh, so this is where we start getting. We're starting to get better So I've now gained a purple hand, which means I can roll 10 dice. I only have nine. Hilarious. But someday I'll have 10. Hilarious. 
You ready? Yep. Hit it. I only rolled two faces, so I'm gonna keep going. Ooh. Hit it. All right, I got two more. I'm gonna add Hit this it. one back. Oh, baby. There you go, Mikey. Please stop. Hit it. <laughs> Hit no, it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I rolled that though. Right, here Ooh. we go. Now I'm, now, I'm, now I'm in the business. Oh, interesting. Now I'm in the biz. Interesting. I think I'm going to stop there. Okay, Mikey, any feetsies? No. Um, I have a puppy, which means um, all my, the stuff in my grain die is going to be doubled. I don't have any feet, so no feet, but I essentially get two, four, six. I have six. no feet. I have but eight I bucks. Up. Eight bucks, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I think I'm about to lose a puppy, so I think I'm gonna get another puppy and I'm gonna get a kitten too. Yeah. Boom. I think I'm gonna do the Boom. same. I have to use my two credits, but I'm gonna do a, a doge and a cat. Yeah. I get a doge and then I get a cat. You're never gonna doge my cat. I get a Nike roll ten. Okay, so I have six here. I need three more. Oh. Uh, we're gonna go boop, boop, boop. Keep our good Four, ones in there. Six, eight, ten. All righty. You ready? Boom. Well, I rolled two. That's good. Things. Ooh. 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 Let's roll. I'm gonna roll all these. Hold on now. Got a bunch of hits. Oh my gosh, I was so close to a bust. Oh lordy. See a foot and a one. Oh man, do I stop? I have a decent amount of money. I'm gonna stop. Yo! Okay, it worked. Ooh, oh, that worked, ooh. okay. Yeah, oh. I'm not gonna use that one though. You have to. Oh. When it's the dotted thing, you have to bring it out and another die oh, in your roll area. I hate that girl. It's high risk, high roll. <laughs> okay, we're doing this. You don't oh. understand the game. It 3,000% sounds insane. Uh, I have feet and then a puppy and I lost <laughs> cat to get another feet. Yeah. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's a weird game. Gosh, I have to do it and again. They, you know, John set that up. was like, there's cube people and cube animals and stuff. And then people are like, what? This is bad. I regret getting this pineapple. I'm gonna stop. We got it. All according Easy. to plan. Wow, <laughs> that's a, <coughs> that's a long, drawn out way to bust. Bu 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 <laughs> Dang it. Dang. Oh, now, that's remember, being can, mandatory. Is. You can choose what you keep out and roll and what you discard. That's right. I'm gonna keep these two. Boop. And from your other roll, from all those other things, you can still discard anything you want. I think I'm gonna have, have to bring the. I'll do this, but I'll have to bring them back regardless, I think. But yeah. All right. Oh. I've got. Two feet, they're multiplying. Can we land on the same spot? Right. What I do, baby? Yes, we can. Um, hello, Foster. A little late. Are we talking to Jay or Jay? A little late. Which one are you using the hot tub right now? I bet you it's Jay. That's Jay. That's Jay all day. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Ooh, uh, uh, you see Zen? Zen for once. It just picked up based off of my recommendation. Mm-hmm. Yeah! So a good grant on the green topper package you just got also based off Nick's great video. Yeah! I'm not helping your cloning process. True. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, all right, so I got two things. The Doge gain all the money and feet on uh, all of your active gray dice initial time. So I'm gonna get another foot. I'll have four dollars. Yeah. Boom, two credits. Boom. Get wrecked nerd. Oh, and you get another credit. So but I lose the dog, right? Yeah. Uh, so I've got four dollars, three credits, you're right, because of the die here. Um, I got my extra foot, four bucks, three credits, so I have seven total. Um, I think I'm just going to get another doge and leave yeah. it be and save, back. save my credits. Okay. You got to get your doge back. Get your doge back. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Okay. So here, so it's five, six. So many at a time, I guess. It's yeah. Jay. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Cool. So UK Mike and his uh, paper boy hat is lit. Ten out of ten would have tea with him. Who yeah. said that? I have one too. They got me one. I like them. You um, do look good in that hat. You look really good in that hat. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get one. I think it'll look good, and I knew it would look good on Nick. And his looks amazing on him. You look straight up bangerang Rufio. Those kind of hats look good to people who are bald. It does. They it do. works really well, work really well with like well. the shorn hair. You don't want a lot of poof out the bottom. No, of it. that so looks weird. Slick -like. Yeah. Uh, what's the bottom of the bottom? Pineapple said it says. Um, what, what, you what? also move one other active die to your roll zone, not optional. So yeah, if you roll that one, you have to bring the green back out and another die. And then you oh, you know what's it. interesting about this? I don't know if you do have to do the bottom, because it says also move one other. I think if you roll this one and you decide to move it back, you have to bring something else with you, but you don't necessarily have to bring the pineapple. Like, you don't have to do it, because it says also which means it means that's to me oh, says it's on I guess top you're right. of this because the first one's if you push you may first yeah so I think it's if you so roll you that choose one to stop if you roll that one you want to put it back you have, you have to, to bring, bring something else, else yeah with I think it. you're right I think you're right so you could choose back oh, I'm gonna stop instead well yes who wouldn't have busted you were gonna bust probably let's be honest Dude, I was watching them up Peaky Blinders but here we are yeah razors yeah. in here yeah got you bro in your hat they keep razors in the hat yeah dude yes. Sounds terrible. You gotta cut somebody's out, eyes out sometimes in a fight in an alleyway. That's what you gotta do. Sounds terrible. I ordered the Peaky Blinders, man. Sounds like a bummer. Oh yeah, they had a bad life. Um, I got a little kitty cat. Kitty cat. Um, okay, a foot and a... All right, I got three, the most... Oh no, don't do me like this. Oh, I think I'm gonna stop. I want the doge. Give me the doge. Oh God. Yeah, because then that cat's not really worth anything. Be there, Doge! Oh, Ooh, that's exactly what I needed. Wow, that's you're actually having a good turn. <clears throat> Should I keep going then? Yep. Oh, this turn's about to pop off. Ooh. Easy. Ooh. Ooh, the Doge and a feet. Ooh, jealous. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am going to get a credit. And then I have my uh, Doge out, so mommy get- This guy's Doge one, out? Two, three, on get, live? One, two, three, I'm gonna get- One, two, three, I'm gonna get four credits. We get four credits for? Because I just moved. Bop, bop. What? There's, bump. You don't get stuff as you pass over, fool. That's what you land on. Oh, you right, girl. Why would it be four anyway? Because it's two and two. You were already on that one. No, I was here. No. Oh yeah, you're right. You right? No, I think you were, maybe. No, I don't think I was. No, I wasn't there because I didn't nah, have the credits. I maybe you were. Either way. Because I just moved three. Now, we're, either way, I'm not getting any of them, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm going to get... You didn't message it. Two, four, you. six. Oh, that was 20 minutes ago. Uh, yes, I am, at least. Um, I'm getting oh, wait. six. Oh, wait, since when did these messages come in? <laughs> um... I'm gonna have to get rid of a doggy, so I'm gonna get a doggy back for three. Mary's attacking Pippin, <laughs> classic. Uh, and I'll get a doggy back. <laughs> Jeff is D deep in Stardew. Dude, I just, every brother. every day, there's at some point I mentioned just like I can't stop playing. I can't. I just keep going. Uh, that game will suck you in, and it'll suck you in multiple times, and then it's it amazing. Starting farms is the be the best. It's so much fun. <laughs> I miss all of those. When did that happen? Uh, during uh, lunch, you would, I think you'd come back in here. Okay. Uh, all right, me. Yeah. All right, I got one foot. Well, I'm gonna get it twice though. Yep. How does this work? What? In is terms of like, can I move? And then this is a power. So can I use my feet and move here, get the ability, and then when this triggers, I get it again. I don't think so. It says gain all the stuff on your active gray and additional. Um. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, when did the feet? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that would count towards that. Hold on. Run phase. Use abilities resolve that moves after. Uh, can you remember how long? Uh... So I don't know. Would that? I guess the question still stands: of would it be considered like two separate things? Like I don't meaning, know. could Let I get two see rewards? If it mentions it, was it? Dap a dog. Um, can you remember how long is the game of Kibitos? 45 minutes? Yeah, like, it's not close to an hour long, if maybe you're up playing up with... to an hour if it's up to four, but it's, you're all like rolling at the same time. So it kind of depends on, you know, how people roll, how much people put focus on getting dice that move them a lot. But it's not overly long, and it's not heavy per se. 
Um, Cause you're just kind of pushing your luck and stuff and there's reference cards here for everything. I will say that there comes up in this game often questions where like, in this instance, how does this, you know? Yeah, I think it is two different ones. It kind of seems it like might it. might be. Well then, hold on. Well then I will get the two then. If it is, if we're designing it's two different ones then I will get the, this one then. Yeah, because if it's all like you have feet, yeah, yeah. you're not going to get everything you pass over. It does but... say you, you do them an additional time, which means I think you do them and then you kind of get them again. Yeah, exactly. So we'll do this. If anyone knows different though, let us know in chat, y'all. So I'm not 100%. All right, so the other thing I'll get is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Maonis. Plus, I've got an active brown, so I get two more. So I'm going to have $10. I'll lose the doge. I'll get one more movement. I'll come to you. All right, 10 bucks. Ten buck two. I think I'm gonna get a stinky cheese Ooh, for nine, dude. and I got one more. I'll spend two credits to get three to get my Doge back. Doge life. Sir. Uh, yep, that's All it. All right, bam. All righty. Two, three, four, five. I think I'm gonna have a crap turn. And that way we can have a better turn next time. Now I can get rid of all these great, uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave my cat and dog behind and bring out my stinky cheese. Stinky cheese. Just shit. one. Cubitos or quacks? Cubitos. For me, cubitos. But they're both fun. But I Sorry, like... Stardew. Did uh, you not watch my video, possibly? Well, you said you watched all of our videos. Oh, they lie. I watched your one-hour wonder video. Boom. No. I started started to put it down for a while, uh, and when I came back, I'd forgotten everything, so I gave up. Also, the day clock stresses me out. Jims, you gotta settle down. Jimbles for the mimbles. You gotta settle down, young man. Jimbles for that mimbles. Whoa! God dang it! I busted. That sucks. I should have stopped. What an idiot! Uh, Linnaeus, I don't think this game will be that difficult over Discord. As long, like you said, you both have it. You just have to make sure you're in the right spots here, but like, that's it. You busted? <clears throat> wow. Yeah, All right. That was kind well, of Well, I have five. I think I'm gonna get this bat to beaver. Bat beaver! Two! All right. Uh, I do have these. I could buy some. I do. Yeah, I have five credits, so I'm not well, you sure busted. I'm gonna make use of it. I can still spend credits. Can you? Though. If yeah. you bust it? Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you? I, I'm yeah. legitimately asking. Yeah. Okay. But you're going to have to pay all credits. So it might not be worth it. I don't think we can pay credits. Huh? Nick, I do, but I have the memory of a goldfish who, who I hear have bad memories. You should remember that. That goldfish have bad memories. I watch your videos when I get notified. Fair. I play Quarriers. We have not, although I've heard good no. things. But yeah, uh, I do like quack. Cubitos has kind of replaced quacks for me. I'm not porchising. Right. I'm not doing it. Porches that porpoise. Huh. Boom. Three. Five. Five times. Boom. Eep. Ah! Good omen. Zero, zero hits. Good omen. Oof, 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 oof. Uh, I'm gonna bring these back. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna bring these back. You gotta, gotta want it. Oof. Wow, okay, I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm stopping, yeah. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna get a credit for that one. I got, I got two bucks, I got three feet. So back, it's time for the small cubes. They are very small little dice. Tub, not ah, -uh, right now. Play Sardu while watching, watching the hot tub. Tub. Oh, I love it. Hot tub. So I can now move cannon. three. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. One, two, three, and I'm gonna lose one of these crap oh, gray dice. That's good, man. That's a good one. That's a goody, goody, goody. I got goody, two goody, bucks. Goody. I'm gonna lose this dog, so I'm just gonna spend a credit and get this dog back. Nice. With my Doge, I'm gonna do this move here. Pop that fan track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to. Ugh, I wanted to um, go there. So there's that, and then my regular movement. I'll move down here. I've got 
eight, and then the cat again makes ten. Um, hmm. oh, no, right. I'll go beaver for five. And then Doge, get my Doge Toby's back. Life. Get my Doge back. All right. I think he's here. There we go. All right. Getting these. Boom. So I've got five. I'm going to have another kind of crappy turn. Yeah, I think I might too. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Ooh. Ooh. This is mine. Uh, Black guy. So I got a beaver, which means right now I get to roll two other dice. Oh. Bring the decent in. Dogs. Stars and stripes above. All right, I'm stopping. Oh, the bust. Wow. I'm going to discard oh, these. These. Ooh. That's I go here, I get a credit, I'll get a fan. Is there a roll again? What's the stinky cheese to you? Gives me two movement. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I keep that, honestly, where you are. Yeah, you're right. All right. You bust it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get three movement. I'm going to go one, two, three, and lose me a gray die. Uh, and I got four doll hairs, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four and seven. So I got up to eleven. Um, I think I'm gonna go one credit to make five and get another batty beeves. All right. I could buy some. I don't think I'm going to though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Boom. Boom. All right. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, I get three, a good four, one. five, nine, six, ten. seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. <laughs> I like to think I'm progressing to my final form. The hot tub is my vessel. My vessel. I could roll Rub two more dice. Getting hot in the tube. Uh, J-Bone, what temp do you rock out there? And don't give me centigrade bull crap. Give me two in English. What kind of temperature are you rocking up in there? If you say 40, I swear to God. All right, so Beave rolled now. Get two more dice. Yep. Roll them. All right. Oh, wow. Lucky. Beeb rolled again. Only got one more die to roll. Take it. Roll carom. Um, I think I'm gonna stop. Still going. Still going. I think I'll stop there. All right, so what does this kitten do? So no. if an active brown gain two, if an active green gain three, do I get both? both, baby. Ooh, yep. that's an extra five buckarinos, plus I got a doge, which means all that's double. So I'm gonna get, uh, I guess, one, I'm gonna go front, cause I got one foot. And um, then two, four, six, eight, 10. Ooh, we got 15 bucks. Mm. All right, me, I've got three movement. I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm actually going to spend my $4 to get a fourth movement and lose a die. Uh, oh, yeah, you can do that, huh? Yes, sir. All righty, I have uh, 15. I'm going to get a stinky cheese. I'm going to spend uh, one of these to get... A uh, Bahama Llama as well. Bahama Llama, Bahama Llama. Stinky Llama. Cheese. Hop in the bath to take. Say again? Stinky Cheese. Yeah. Atlas is uh, hot for the BAFTA awards. Loves him. 40 degrees C. He did it. He did the thing. 
that's so hot, I guess. Is that Oh, hot? that's such a is that cold? That's such an amount of temperature. Ooh, I get to roll one Ooh. more because I am behind on here. Ooh, that makes me think of like so much temperature. Yeah, it makes me think of a, of, a, of a measurement thing that makes sense. It's probably maybe hot or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, must be nice. Don't wait. Well, you you're gonna measure your bubbles in metric? <laughs> How many milliliters is your tub? <laughs> <laughs> How many though? How many though? <laughs> I don't know how many it is. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what this does. Run, gain three bucks, gain one. This may Boom. be used to enter a water Boom. space. Oh. I get to roll two dice now. Boom. Stanky, stanky, shiny. We played the Seven Course campaign. We have not played all of them. This is the fourth race. We've probably played these four before in different you know iterations, but not. All the way through. Oh, oh sorry. I don't have this oh, it's your boy bursted. Dang it. Nari. Nari. <laughs> wow. That was bad. That I'm was not a smart. Stop. I did not do a smart just now. I did not do a smart. Dang it. Uh, I'm going to get two feet plus. Uh, I'll get another foot. Here's going to get three. Um, I'll go one, two. You know what? And because of Bahama Lama, I can move into the water. You can. So next time I can go like, boop, and cut off a couple out of there. Um, and then I got a stanky cheese. Oh, that gives me two more. So I'm going to go, boop, boop. Stank cheese. Um, do, 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 and then I only have stank. two bucks to Runos. I'll spend one of these and get my doge back. Get my doge back. Doge, 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 doge. Do, 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 oh, I'm do, sorry. Do, no, and I get... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Wait, doesn't I get three do, more dollars? Do. Sorry, five. Are right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this back instead of getting a doge. I'm gonna get another kitten. Okay. Um. Nice. I think I'm gonna spend all nine of my credits and get myself a stank chase. Wow. That might be dumb. That might be dumb. Yeah, what's so dumb? What's the use of the purple? The purple one? The wiki dinosaur? Wiki wiki? If you roll them, there are one in six chance. You gain one foot, one movement for each different color of active dice you have. So that could be very nice. Yeah, because you have like two grays. Yeah, it could be a lot. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Oh, ten, and grays eight. don't count, do they? If you Ooh. roll the special cheese with the dots. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that's why in that other that other round I was like, should I actually bust? Um, oh, I get to roll one extra die because I'm way behind now. Ha! Ah! Whoa, double beavers and this. I'm gonna roll this one die. Oh man, we need to and not a bust. movement. We need to not boost. Mm. Should Ooh. I stop? That's it. No, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. I'm stop. stopping. Stop. 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 Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. stop, gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta stop. Okay, sorry. Oh, oh no, I need to roll two more. Well, I should have rolled these during that one. Okay, sorry, I should have this one. That should be good. Okay. Um, all right, how many feet you got, man? I've got three. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, double fan track, bam, bam. Oh, gonna get six <laughs> credits and another increase. Um, I do have active beavers, and they say, uh, after moving and gaining any rewards, if you gained any credits this round, lose any one die. Not optional. I'm going to lose a gray. Um, you, got, you got a credit? Yeah, from the from the fan track. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that's what I got. All right. Um, I have two feet for my cheese. So I'm just going to go. Um, I did get my dope cap, and I have some green, so I'm going to get three coins. Um uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I have fourteen. Gosh, do I get a stanky chase? <laughs> He's got him love a stanky yeah, chase. Yeah, I'm gonna get another stanky chase. Stanky chase. You know, I'll spend two of these and I'll get a doge. I'm gonna spend all six of my credits and get a doge and a Jacques Coutre. And now I rolled the special cheese, so now my gray will not count. Same for me. So which means I think I'm gonna be able to bring it all in. I think so, because I can roll 10. One, two, three, four, two, five, six, four, seven, eight, five, nine, six, yeah. yeah. Oof, everything. We're rolling it. 
be rolling it at all. Ah! So it's uh, sorry, 158,986 uh, milliliters, Mikey. In that Whoa. tub. What? That's a lot of milliliters. How many? How many quarts is that? Can you convert that to quarts, please? 104 in American. Foster, you run in a nice temp on that. Nice temp. Oh, that's too hot. No, that's too no, hot. No, it's not. Nice. That's too nice. hot. It's nice. You go here and you get you get the you no, get the torso no, no, no. That's out too hot. and dip it back in. You need the hot no to appreciate the cold. I want a cool like hundred. No. Yes. It's too hot. You get hypothermia that way, I bro. Can't, I can't stay in a hot tub for more than like five minutes of that, that hot. I just can't Jeff's do it. Jeff's in there for 30 seconds 18 times a day. I can't do it. All right, we're going to roll again. I got a beaver, but there's nothing more to roll. I might just let this be. Oh, that's not the best. Rolling it. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, God. All right. Now I got to stop. I got to stop. That was, that was a sign. That was a sign. This is a dumb idea. Going for it. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're stopping. We have to stop. We have to stop. Okay. Um, feet wise, I did get this one, so I'll get a feet. We've got three, Two including more the feet, dog bonus. Four, no, three, four, five, five, and one of these can go in the Walter. <coughs> so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Nice. I always got one, two, three, uh, and I'll have six bucks. Uh, one, two, eight bucks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. Do I get another funky chave? Chase laugh. I'm gonna get a pineapple and get my doge back. Cheese alive. I did not roll the good cheese. Three, four, five, All right, six. Two, four, six. You can only bring four. I think I'm gonna have a crap roll this So time. I can roll 12, 13, 14. 15. 15. 15, 15 dice, me. baby. All of my stuff, that's yours. Thank you. That's gonna be all of my dice. Yeah, I'm gonna go mostly gray this round. I'm gonna try and have a nice, yeah, good I've, round next I need to, round. I need to actually like really move my bum. No way, Nick Lachette. <laughs> Summer, I'll drop that bad boy down to a cool uh, Nick Lachey, 98. So that's why I was wondering, I was, I was wondering, are you as prolific in the hot tub during the summer? No, no. We don't want it as hot, but if you bring 98 degrees, that's nice. That's nice. That's, that's just very neutral. Yes, very neutral. Yeah. Oh. All these dice are rolled. Two no, bits. I'm going to go. Go for it. Ooh, girl, baby, I love the way. Cool. I got my special cheese, which means my grades won't count next turn, girl. All right, uh, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Yeah. Gotta stop. Okay. Um, I got th uh, one, two, three, four feet. I'll get a thingy. So I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four. Um, I've got two, four, five, 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 five. Five, 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 all right. All right, so my grays don't count. So I'm only one behind, so I have 13 I can bring out. Two, four, six, ten. seven. So, oh, that's yours. Nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, eleven. four, five, six, seven. Oh, that doesn't count. <clears throat> Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, oh, my two. stars, I have too many colored dice. I can't bring them all. What? I'm going to leave one stank chase back. No, oh, that's on my CCR. You know it. <laughs> CCR, that's like my go-to, uh, I have like their greatest hits album, and I, it's like my go-to uh, plain music. Plain music? Don't know why. Down on the corner. Yeah, yeah like, down on the corner, out <laughs> in the street. I'm just like, like, on the plane, just like, I don't know so why. I see for you some the, reason. I see you on the plane in a couple weeks for 12 you're, hours, you're just like this. Bro, you're literally listening to that. Yeah. <laughs> Where will 
gonna keep on turning. <laughs> exactly. Well, he's in his feels right now. You can't say rolling on the river rolling. in reference to the Thames. <laughs> it's not the same kind of river. <laughs> rolling on the river. I was thinking to roll two molds, Ice. Ooh. All right. Me too. Um, gosh, do I go for it? Oh. Be about that life, Mike. You got to make it up. Go! All right. <clears throat> that was really scary, uh, but I did it. Oh I lived gosh. to tell the tale. I think I'm stopping. Blamping on them, blam, blam. I actually appreciate the heck out of CCR. They're awesome. They're, there's, it's like there's one thing. So like, I can't remember why I ended up getting that album. They're great at the time. I got it years ago. Yeah. But it's like, it was one of the things where there's so many songs that I didn't know was, I didn't know yeah. all these songs were from, for, from one band. Yeah. Like, I know they're all classic rock songs, but I had no yeah, they, idea. They're, they're prolific, bro. So many songs <laughs> were theirs. And I was just like, I had no idea. The bathroom on the right. It's so good. Dude, yeah. Bad Mary. No, Proud Mary, not Bad Mary. <laughs> bad Mary. <laughs> bad Mary, keep on burning. <laughs> you bad, Mary. Fortunate Son, Grapevine, so so Susie, you. There's so, so many. So many, dude. So many that Dad used to listen to, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I did. He probably just had like a CCR album. Yeah. And I just had no idea that I was all one band, you know? Well, there's multiple things where like, there was one time somewhat recently, I can't remember what song it was, but I was listening to it, or like I was, I think I had like CSNY on, like on a yeah. Pandora thing, and one of the songs came on, I was like, oh, Dad listened to the song like every day. Yeah, I exactly. did not know this was them. Yeah, just because like I heard it as a kid, but I just I didn't know there who actually sang that song. I was like, oh, a lot of songs are Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young because our dad's a huge CSNY fan. Yeah, they're good, man. Um, all right, what you got? Oh man, let me look at myself. That song is real weird, but I like it. Uh, okay, so I got I catch up here. <laughs> I got uh, oh, gosh, how many feet? Okay, so I'm gonna have. Um, one, two, um, three, four, um, five, six, seven feet, one of which can be on water. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. There's a bathroom on the right. Uh, and then that's it for movement. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna gain a credit, which means my baby's gonna trigger, which means I'm gonna get rid of a die. Get rid of a die. Um, I've got two feet if i go here i have to spend eight bucks to warp over yeah but they have to spend 15 bucks to go here and there's no way out of here other than use a bahama llama to there. get through there so if you got the money you think you oh you think you'll be able to have the money interesting yeah so there's there's uh this one's got teleportation there's also this far here you could double your feet yeah so i had the same epiphany with queen yeah where she's like i did not know all of these um all right, so I'm gonna have three, six, nine. Gosh darn it, she is fine. <laughs> I'm gonna get stanky cheese. Um, lose this doge. Bam. Um, uh, I have two five. swords, so I can roll any two um, non-red dice for many zones and roll them. Three more bucks. I will use that to get my doge back. Uh, I'm gonna have. 15, and I think I'm gonna spend oh, I have 17, and I'm gonna get me another doge, and oh, I'm gonna get me a dinosaur. Oh, can I actually, instead of the doge, can I get a llama? I'm sorry, because yeah. I had more money than I thought. Yeah, if you want that dinosaur, that's gonna be the end of my days. Yeah, I'm pretty far ahead as is. Oh, yeah. That's not good. And my grades don't count to this next round. do mine, which is good. Okay, so how much do I actually have? I have three, so I can bring. I'm gonna go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Let's do that. And hopefully, I can roll some beavers. I can get these other ones rolled out. I like this makeup of. Yeah, they're fun. This is a good one. I like this. Oh my gosh, so many dice. I do like these little dice. Yeah. Usually I like bigger dice, but these are nice. You nice. Can roll when you're rolling a ton of them, yeah, it's like rolling the so galaxy, good. same thing. You want a bunch of tiny ones. Oh, okay. Oh, I got the, I got the dinosaur. Oh, God. I got the dinosaur. So bad. Ooh, and I got this. I got to go full sand right here. Thank you, Mike, Mikey. We'll have to see. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna add this back in because I want as many color. Friday in the street. Yeah, we're gonna call it there, I think. Ain't not in the sheets. It's a good game. My dino is the ender of games. <laughs> yeah, he's strong. <laughs> They're always really expensive, and there's only they are, one side. They usually get them end game, yeah. There's only one side that does you it. You on your first roll, didn't you? Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, that's good. Right, I got to stop because I got too much active. To, All right, so the red thing's going to happen first. Neither of us have got a red die until now. That's true. I'll roll my two dogs. Ooh. Right. Well, that's good. Definitely good. All right, each player with uh, fewer swords than ye. Choose two non-red dice you own in any zones and roll them. Wait, 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 what? Because you got this one. Because I don't have any, I don't have a thingy. Oh, and you get, uh, well, yeah. So for each player with fewer things than me, me oh. you get to choose two non-red dice. Yeah, so I did that. That was my dogs. Oh, okay, okay I see. Um, okay. I, I read that when you said that. I, was, I read that as like, each player has less swords because do the stuff. I'm like, why would you ever buy that die? <laughs> but in like a four-player game, you could roll a ton of dice. Yeah, way. you really could. Wow. Um, okay, sorry, let's see fate, I'm gonna get two, three, four, five, okay, hold on, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this is one for each different color of active dice I have, do the grays count, you think? Yeah. I think maybe light and dark would be considered Probably, one, right, so it'd like... be one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. So eight plus 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. Uh, okay. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, plus some money, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to double this up. So I have eight. 10, 13. We got three cheeses though, wow. 14. Okay. Um, I do, so I have six, seven, eight movement. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Would you have enough to do this, do you think? Oh, you need 23 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will turn in my monies and get three more movement. One, two, three. I did not win. Here's the thing, for, I just, a, for a dice rolling game, you didn't roll that bad this no, game. No, no, no. I just, I just, um, I took some long ways around. Yeah. And then, and then you had a couple of rounds where you really hit. Yeah, it, I, was and I was like, it. oh, well, I don't, and then rolling that I'll first I catch up. First roll, I was like, well, this is gonna be. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, the dinosaur was like, well, there that goes. There that goes. So All that right. is Kubitos. It's stupid fun. And again, there's like six or eight there's different seven powers. Seven for each powers for each one. Yeah. So. There's so much variability. It's just so good. Oh, man. I got wrecked. Yeah, that one I did pretty well there. Early in the evening, just about supper time. Over by the courthouse, trying to unwind. Oh, Conquest Ventura. Ventura County's first tabletop gaming convention, July 14th through 16th. Knights of Columbus Hall, Ventura. What? Where did you do this? Board games, role playing games, war games, miniature games, car games. I don't know. Well, we should, we should talk we to should people. We should look into that. that. Then we should talk to the people like, how expensive is this venue? <laughs> yeah, Xander's Game House is a sponsor. Oh, really? That's cool. So cool. That's cool. All right. Well, Nick went. Uh, so, did you hold on? Did you win three of four games today? Is that right? Uh,. I guess, yeah. Oh, it is. No, we're tied up. No, we're not. No, two, two. oh no, because you won on you won the tiebreaker in Lacrimosa. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, Linus, that's a bummer. I'm sorry you weren't what? invited. Wait, 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 what happened? Linus didn't get invited to the game night. I don't know. It's weird. Why? I'm sorry. That sucks. They suck. I hate them. I hate those people now. Uh, yeah, that sucks, man. Um, where'd you hear the Where'd you hear about the thing? Huh? Where'd you hear about the thing? Oh, the Ventura Game Group. Oh, cool. That's rad. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. Well, it'll be too bad if another con blows them out of the water. <laughs> that would be weird if that What happened. we have to do is look, yeah, look into their venue and size because maybe we can just <laughs> maybe. steal the location. <laughs> Why not, right? 
<laughs> All righty. Ventura will be cheaper than LA by a, probably 3,000%. Here's the thing, as much as I would love to do it in LA, I'd also love to not leave SoCal. So I'd also like, just love to be able to do it anywhere. And if it was that's here. That's Yeah, it's like, well then, hey. We could sleep in our own beds at night, you know? Oh my God, can you imagine? I'd probably uh, still stay at the hotel, though. If it was, if it was, well, it was at a hotel. That's not at yeah. a hotel, though, yeah. But yeah, and also these all go in their own little boxes. Yeah. And BGG is coming out with um, storage boxes for Kibitos. Oh, that's right, they are. Which will probably be better, to be honest. Probably. Just because these, um, you know, over they're time fine. are going to break down. Yeah. Because they're just paper. But. Or cardstock or whatever. It is cool. It's a, it's a cool production, this game. And it's a very fun game. And again, there's four. We played on this side, but there's four maps. Four maps. And then seven abilities for each die face. And like this kind of, so we chose like a kind of a pre, um, predetermined one. Predetermined race in terms of like, hey, what map and which powers, and you can create like certain ones that are a little bit more, you know, combo-tastic or this, this vibe or that vibe. Or you can just like, Random do whatever, agenda, yeah. and there's a million combinations. And there's certain so. ones where like, this one's really good if you want like a really aggressive game. You want to be like fighting a whole bunch and stuff. And so it's like, it's just really cool because you can kind of choose what kind of game you want. Yeah, I like the ones that allow you to go up the fan track a lot and stuff. Yeah, the fan track's super useful. And that's one thing that's like nice, is like busting is not like the end of the world. Well, there's like, with the, being able to roll more dice, there's built in like catch mechanisms yes. to catch up. My whole thing was I had the ability to roll all sorts of dice and I just didn't buy enough stuff to like yeah. make really the best use of that. Right. Part. So. All by my cool hands, I'm trying to unwind. Well, here's the thing, fam. We have an hour and 20 minutes until we like have to end. So we could probably play like one more thing and maybe we'll end filler. a little bit early. A little filler. Uh, we also can unbox, you were talking about maybe unboxing, speaking Rolling of AEG ice. and, and that uh, John Dizzle. Where is it? Is it still in here? The oh, it's over here. Okay. Well, hi, Mary. I'm not leaving. Don't worry. And then uh, what kind of, you know, shorter game would y'all like to see? Yeah, well, let's start, start throwing some stuff out if you know anything or whatever you can see behind us. And we'll, you know, if we know how to play it, we'll do it. And if we don't know how to play it, we won't. We'll kick you out of our, we'll ban You'll you from our You'll be kicked out of our yeah. freaking stream for suggesting yeah. such heresy. Heresy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freaking yeah. Show me. Now I got CCR turn my head. It's just in there. It's in there. There's no it, way. Their songs get Slap. in Slap. They're, they're, they're so catchy. They're earworms. Don't worry, guys. Just on level 27 of the mines. <laughs> That's where Here's I start, thing. bro. In our game, Jeff, Mikey, don't even try to go to the mines. <laughs> Jeff only let you go to the mines. He'll attack you. You just never even see him. He, he's he's always father. in the mines. Me and, me and Jamie are, are freaking working on the farm. Jeff mining. Not doing anything else. Not smelting anything. Just mining. Uh, ooh, solo rules designed by Josh Wood. All right. Let's go. Quan Chai art. Lego. Whoa. Oh, look how cool this is. Whoa. Whoa. Well, box that's for where storage. you roll your meeples into or something. Oh, that's right. This is the game where, depending on how your meeples yeah, land, they, they right? stand or if they're laying down. Man, like I'm really excited for this. That's right. People are, I know people are digging this. Yeah. Sweet. So we got some bags. Bing bongs in the street. You got all these. You're building buildings and such. Oh, that's cool. And then you have your meeples. You got like pink, orange, dark pink, brown, green. Clear, like clear purple, gray. Holy crap, that's awesome. Uh, and we got. Go with me, Nick. Filler, till it's done. Let's do it. Till we get it done. We can get it done. We can get it done. I mean, it doesn't have to be a filler if we can play it in an we hour. We can play it, Raj. We can do it. And then here's all the tiles. Oh my stars. So hot in here. Oh, wow. Okay, very excited to play this one. I don't know when we're gonna do it. Oh, you know. Maybe we can stream it here soon or something like that. One of these years we'll play it. Our April fam, get ready for a lot of videos because <laughs> there are our, so many. Games. Our April is bonkers town. <laughs> Nick, is it time that you play New Frontiers? Is it time you get no, your crap together? Don't make me, don't is it time you get your crap together? Do that. Don't make me do that. About time you get your crap together? Don't make me do that. About time we play it? I do want to play it, just not right now. I don't want to learn anything right now. That's basically what I'm getting at. Um, very cool. 
Thank you, uh, AEG, for sending this along. Appreciate Thanks, it. AEG, we appreciate Quanti you. Quanti Art, John D. Design. I John, mean, gosh. gosh. Dang Dizzle. Could you get a better freaking uh, team together, please? Bam. Dude, AEG is working with the right Bam. folks. I'll say it, man. They got flat-out games. Yeah, dude. Um, what would be an hour? Uh, Linnaeus is throwing at Raj's Dice. We could do Raj's Dice. Definitely could do. We could probably do Roger Dice. If we're doing something like that small, we could probably do Roger Dice and something else. Do like a couple little Roman rights, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, we'll start with Roger Dice, though. Where oh, you know, we, we could play. Huh. You want to try Mystic Paths? Yeah. Where's it's that? over there. It's down there. Because yeah. chat can kind of help out, too. Mystic Paths. It's going to be a little chat interaction game, y'all. Help us out. Nick will give us the teach. It uh, seems fairly straightforward. It's, yeah, it's not. You'll figure it out. Oh, I'm so excited. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. Excited. I was like, oh, let's, let's play this because chat can help out. Sell that for me, please. Um, and then we have time after that, Linnea. We'll do Roger's yeah. Dees because I think, I think we will. Pretty delicious to me right now. Yeah, I played that at uh, played that with Jabs. Jab and Dab will do it. Oh, you uh, did get to play it. Okay, yeah, yeah, it was great. Nice. Am I messing this up or something? Or is it just a little? Um, I think oh, you know what? You might have set up. Hold on. Yes, there's. I think art. Yeah, yeah, it should be that way. Got it. Okay, like that? Yep. Then you slot stuff underneath it? or Nope, how's... you put these in. So let's have uh, that be you. So you're going to be the blue mage. There you go. And now, now we're going to be fan clues to each other yes. on alternate turns. Yeah, oh. so I'll, I'll explain how it works. So that's going to be there. Take your base off. This? Yep. And you're going to see while I'm, I'm, very, why I'm very annoyed. <laughs> off. <laughs> yes. No see, more drugs for that man. No more drugs for that man. You're going to see me being annoyed at the component quality. This is one of those games where they tried to make it kind of bougier than it needed to be, and it legitimately makes the game harder to play. Fun game, but I'm probably going to replace these minis for meeples and cubes. And you'll see why in a moment. All oh, right. because you, they get they stand up. Yeah, and they just block stuff. stuff. Pardon me, yeah. stuff you need to see. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just it's just unnecessary. <laughs> How dare you? What am I doing with these? What are these? What the hell are these? Oh, what are these? What are these? What are these? This looks snazzy. Yeah, it's cool. It's fun. Match the colors. Mike, how dare you suggest a no color theory? There's this guy who just color mixes to like oh, Pantones. Yeah, yeah, I know. You, you see that dude? The, that dude, yeah. He's, he's like weirdly aggressive. He always has this weird just, way. He has yeah, all he's all these like guys like this. Like, yeah, that guy's great. That dude is crazy though. He just like understands color theory, so he'll get like a Pantone, like you know, like a, a like a, someone like a go paint get chip. go get this specific color from like Home Depot or yeah. something like that. And he'll, he'll just get it and he'll just make that color and then he'll paint it onto that and you can't see it that thing and you cannot see it. It's perfect. And I'm like, and it's always. And I know you know some of this. It's always like, oh yeah, we gotta get this one color. It's just like, all right, start with green. And you're like, that makes no sense. You're like, no, it does. Green's the basis of like, makes no all sense this stuff. to me, dude. And I kind of know dude, something about it's color. Wild. All right, sorry. Give you one of these. Don't show it to me or the audience. And will this be, this will be I'm your imagining path. a path that starts from my... Yes, so you are starting. The X on that is going to be this. You are, you are starting. So you are starting on that spot. So. Oh, what? So you will have 10 paths on there. Yes. Let me, we'll zoom in so everyone can see. Oh, I see. I see. And we'll kind of put this. I see what they've done. I see what they've done. You take the ring of You take the ring of <laughs> So basically, we're each going to have one of these. I'll get a little better. This is so I see, how they, I see how they get Trixie Hobbits sometimes. They can get Trixie Hobbits. So basically, I'm on the wrong side. So basically, <laughs> This is the path you need to have, it's a co-op game, you need people to guess this path for you. So you're gonna put out clues like tasty or pompous or brilliant and whatever's face in the middle is gonna be the one we're actually going for. Uh, thanks for the follower over on Twitch, uh, Neil Robin. So basically in this case, if this was Mike, we would Mike would need to give us clues to get his mage to go here, cause to one and then boom, 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 
boom, boom, that is your path. And so you're gonna be giving us clues to guess that path. Each round, you'll be giving clues, you'll be giving out three clues, so three walks on your path. Always doing three, except the last round you can do four if you want to. But so basically how it's gonna go is in this case, Mike, I need you to get, or rather, Mike needs us to get to Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Let me see how many cards we have. I think it's fun. Linnea says that I've always, I want to try Raj's Dice. I have played Raj's and it's super fun. It's a great game. Uh, Raj's Dice is loved by you guys, but hated by someone else. So now I'm curious. Hated by someone? What do they hate about it? Interesting. They wrong. They wrong with that. Um, do y'all get to play um, board games every day for the most part? Fantastic question. No, no. not every day. No. Um, we get to play almost every work day we have, which yes. is three or four days a week. Well, so every we get, studio day, because every like studio work day, days, so. a lot of times we're still not playing. Yeah. So, um, you know, half the days probably, and and good. We'll um, participate in game days once in a while. I don't have a ton of free. <laughs> you really don't. Hobby time as a new dad. So, um, no, not every day, but a lot of days. We're pretty lucky. Um, indeed. So, again, so Mikey needs us to go to Albert Einstein, pizza sausage, and then squares. <laughs> squash is? surprise. Squash surprise, whatever the heck the that hell is. What was that? So, basically, you're going to have these clue cards. These clue cards will have two sides. They are not, it, you would think they'd be like opposites to each other. They're not. They're just not. Like pompous and cold, not opposites. Mm -hmm. So basically what you're gonna do is you're trying to get us to go to one. So you're gonna choose a clue and then you're gonna put your one token on it. All the tokens are different, mine are Roman numerals, yours are not, they're different for reasons, I guess. Um, Cause they're like, I'm the white wizard, I use Roman numerals, I guess. But you still have one through 10 yeah, on you yours? you have one through 10, exactly. What? So in this case. But I have like two um, ones, I'm so confused. Yeah, the, the, again, you'll have one, two, Three, four, five, and then on the other side will be six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. Um, okay, so let's say I did this, right? So you'll put them out, and then you'll put them on the bottom here. And what this is going to do is it's going to block the bottom, so and yeah, it's you basically focus just saying right focus on the top. Um, sorry, and then there's also these. Boom, 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 boom. You should have one more blue, you don't, so you're gonna get a green as well. I think we were missing a blue and I don't know why. Yeah, because you should have seven. I don't know why, there's, there's a missing blue. I probably lost it when I punched it out or something like that. And it's in Vegas now, so we're not getting it back. Okay, so basically, in this case, everyone simultaneously will be choosing when it says they honestly have questionable uh, opinions. They hate the crew and draft source. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to know those. People. Uh, yeah, I hate that. Don't want to know those people. Um, we want to hit tapestry boils. Oh, Talk gross. to you in five minutes. Because <laughs> you get five minutes in that game and realize you never want to play. No, again. yeah. Because you get five minutes, you're gonna need some stratagems from me. Because I can tell you how not to win, and then you can do the opposite and win the game. I love that game. Can we play it, please? Um, indeed. So zombie J. Zombie. In this situation, so Mike is trying to get us to go that path. Yeah. Now again, we can't see this, so if he put this out, we would have then have to look, okay, first clue's brilliant. Well, Albert Einstein's brilliant. Oh, George Washington was like a brilliant tactician though. So like, oh, where should we go? And oh. let's say, oh, you know what, okay, let's lock in Albert Einstein. And then Mike would go, yep, that's it. You go, boom, move your base here. So I hate this. Because you will never ever go back to where you came from. You can circle Never around. Back, exactly. Yeah. So that's what that is. This is why I want a meeple and a cube because we can be on the same spot. So it's like. So this whole game, you never have the thing on the base? Nope. Oh, that's I weird. I do not understand it. It's weird. so dumb. I don't know why that base is there. That's why I want to get a meeple and a cube. The cube is where it yeah. came from. Or maybe like a little foot to show like which direction you came from or something. Just it's so unnecessary. And I love like minis, but this. It's weird. Just doesn't need to exist. Yeah. So then after that, we go tasty. What's tasty? The Golden Gate Bridge is the tasty piece of architecture. Yeah. Cat well, Patch Kids. Pizza. I love sausage, sausage pizza. Sausage pizza. That's pretty tasty. Boom. And you'd go here. Yeah. Now, um, I need you to get to squash surprise, but you're like fire ants are aggressive. Yeah, it's like this kind of similar thing. It's kind of the code names thing where sometimes you'll put out a clue and realize there's a way better option for that clue. You're like, oh, that's way better. So like, what's aggressive? Squash surprise? I think it's kind of aggressive. George Washington, aggressive, aliens, aggressive, fire ants, aggressive. When you get to the middle, you start having like five or six yeah, options around you, which starts getting really tough. Okay. So, so then so you boom. put out three at a time. So let's say, yeah, you put out three at a time. So, so nice. let's say we did that. We're good. These are done. 
Let's say, oh, we went fire ants. We say fire ants. You go, no, nah, it wasn't it. What you're going to put is you're going to put a not token there. And that basically means that we know that wasn't it. Okay. So but you then, stay where you are in the pack. So then these are going to go away. And then next round, you're going to put out three clues, which means you're going to add. Oh, I don't know. so what was last stays out? Yes. Yeah, so let's say a squash surprise sounds messy. Oh, wait, what? So basically, you're going to add one to this, and then you'll go boom, boom, and then this will be four, five. Right. So basically, if you get something wrong, you'll get to add another clue to it. And if we get it wrong again, you'll add another clue to it, basically. And so, and when you get something wrong, you stop. So if you get something wrong in the first one, you don't get to guess these two. So I will say a big part of this game is look ahead. Yeah. So basically, like, between... Um, like let's say let's say this and this were switched for the last one, right? It was it was brilliant and then tasty. So you go like, okay, brilliant could be either of these two. Well, let's look at the next one. What could tasty be? Yeah, tasty so you try makes to find sense for sausage pizza, but doesn't really make why the like, sweat's not tasty. Yeah. Quite surprised maybe. So a lot of it is like look at the other ones because yeah. that a lot of times can help guide your path because kind of like a. Uh, uh, like a so clover. A lot of times you're just given bad clues and yeah. you're just like, how to make this so sometimes but if you're you like can put like one and three together, you can probably figure like, out the bridge between the Is squash surprise aggressive? Probably not. I just didn't have a good clue for it. Yeah. So looking ahead really helps. You also have these tokens, Mikey, and you could say that something is not scary. Yeah. So basically Are we put one of these down. Like that, yes, you, you do have that many. On? Yes. Ooh. Although once you get this thing right, this will come back to you. Okay. So and then these will come back to you once you get them right. So that is the game, though. Okay, I love it. We have five rounds to do it in. You technically score like you get points. Not like we score individually, we score as a team. Maybe we go all in or all out. Yeah, so it's basically like you score. My whole thing is like we lose if we don't finish it. That's what it's going to be. All right, five rounds. So five you want to average two of three every round. Eh? And again, this one here shows how you can loop back around. So you'd go one, yeah. two, three, four. Four, yeah. five, so six, seven, eight, one. nine, ten. So can be tough. Okay. And that's it. So chat, we're gonna need help. Help us out, chat. Uh, I love it. This is great. I love. Yeah, games. it's cool. It's it's really cool. My only issue, like, I love this. Yeah, I love but this. Covers up the whole word. It covers up the whole word. Literally covers up the entire word. And then this is like, why did you give us a base? It's weird. It's man. so weird to me. Super weird. Uh, and there's also Mikey like ten or twenty of these that are blank, so you could like write your own in there if you wanted oh, to. That's cool. And there's. A whole bunch. They're also all double sided. So there's a whole bunch they, of these. You'll never have the same. No, even if layout. you did, you'd have different paths anyway and different cards. So, um, how do you hate draft source? I agree with that, Corthane. It's so light and easy. It, it, at the very worst, you could be neutral on it. Yes, I totally agree. Um, and draft source is behind Mikey. So, yeah, we could. Rocks. It's been a while since I played Draftosaurus, actually. I want to get the expansion so bad. Yeah, I know. Um, like, they blamed it, on, blamed it on being too light, but I know a ton of light games they love. I don't understand. Especially, it's, like, too light. I'm like, well, I mean, okay, fair enough. Like, some people don't like super-duper light games. I'm like, it's not pretending to be anything else. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, it's, I think it's great. It's a game that I can teach and play both maps in, like, 15, 15 minutes. Yeah. That's amazing. Favorite dinosaur, Nyx, will be the Ankylosaurus. Yep, always, And I can't baby. disagree. I it's like the, the Stegosaurus. I like a Triceratops. I like the ones with, like, the little Friar Tuck bald cap. <laughs> yeah, dude, one of those dudes. Gallus. <laughs> I don't know. Gal I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm all Ankylosaurus. Always have been. That's a pretty sweet one, man. So I only have, I only have four cards? Yep, I only get four cards. <sighs> so the thing is, you are limited. in what you got. At the end of the round, you'll draw back up to four. So you are, that's the thing is, you have to make it. You have to always understand that, like, this makes more sense. Like, yeah, but they might not have had a good card. That's the thing. Oof. <laughs> okay. All right, I got ideas for mine. Do I put mine up now, or are we working yep, simultaneously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing this simultaneously. I mean, you technically can see mine, but I'm not looking at yours, so just put them out. Make sure to put the thing on the bottom. Okay. And then, uh, you want to go first, or you want me to go first? 
Or rather, do you want to guess first or you want to be guessed <laughs> off first? I'll guess first. Okay. Okay, so Nick's got shiny, then imaginary, then buff. All right, and he's the white wizard up yep. here. Shiny, imaginary, and then buff. So, our first one here, we have toothbrush, gnomes, and oysters. Shiny, I'm gonna think shiny toothbrush makes your teeth shiny. That's what I'm thinking there. Um, I don't think of as oysters as shiny, and gnomes might be, but I think gnomes are imaginary, so that, that might be the second part of the path. But satellite's also very fake. We all know that. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking toothbrush. If anyone jumps in, buff is a good word. Buff is a great word. I don't know where we're going to go from there. I'm going to guess toothbrush, final answer. Not toothbrush, so we're, we're done? You're done. Oh, good God. Can we even come back from that? I guess we can. You can. Okay. You can. Well, we know it's not toothbrush. Dang it. Sorry, y'all. Maybe gnomes then. Oysters have pearls in them? I don't know. Ah, this is where it gets tricky. Okay, Nick, I've got a claimed, not safe, and crunchy. Okay, We're so starting off claimed, on Cadillac Patch Kids are acclaimed candies. So not safe, acclaimed could either be Albert Einstein or George Washington. To your point in the example, Tough. It's tricky when they're next to each other. Now, let's look at things. What could be not safe? <laughs> Lance says, what, Nick? You're wrong. Oysters have shiny pearls. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking maybe it is oysters. Um, We're going to pocket that for the next one because I think that might be something. Not safe. I mean, for all the next one, the only thing I think is fire ants, but that means we'd have to go to Cabbage Patch Kids first, which I don't think is the acclaimed one. Pizza sauce is not safe because, like, you can't stop eating it. You die because of it. <laughs> Too much pizza overload, you know? <laughs> um, and then crunchy. What would crunch? Gandhi? Crunch them bones? <laughs> if you had to eat them. Uh, you know? <laughs> crunchy. <coughs> Surprise squash would be crunchy. So not safe. Yo, what do you think with this? I have Man, this no idea. Hard. Not safe is the one that's absolutely throwing me for a loop. Because the one thing I can think of is like maybe like George Washington or Albert Einstein, Cabbage Patch Kids for not safe <laughs> because they haunt you, I guess. I don't know. And then Surprise Squash for Crunchy. All right. Bless you. Thank you. I turned my pack off so I didn't just blow your ears Thank right you. out. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not going to say no. So. What, do you, what's your, what do you think the first one is? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go acclaimed Albert Einstein. Not Albert Einstein. <laughs> Great start. What happens now? So now you just go. So now you're going to get back into four cards. So now we're just going to give two clues for yep. all the original three. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yep. All right. We got to get somewhere here. All right. But now we have more options. Um, oof. <laughs> oh, man, I got some bad clues here, fam. <laughs> okay. This is so rough. Um, this is... Wow. Wow. Um, wow. This is wild. Okay. <laughs> um, so while Nick finishes off, I will tell you my clues. So now for one, we have acclaimed and powerful. Number two, we have not safe and inexpensive. And three, we have crunchy and complex. Okay. All right, so we do actually go back. We do switch who's guessing first. So we will guess Mikey's first. All right, what you got? So my first one I'm guessing is George Washington. And I think we're going to lock that in because I still don't think powerful and acclaimed. I don't think that's Cabbage Patch Kids, so George Washington. <laughs> George Washington is correct. All right. Now, not safe and inexpensive. Sweat is safe. It's good. You exercise, whatever. 
Cabbage Patch Kids are not safe because they're so tasty, you can't just eat one, and they're not very expensive. And I think Surprise Squash is crunchy and complex. <laughs> I just feel like Michael with that. Let's go Cabbage Patch Kids. No! <laughs> Michael! Oh, I'm thinking Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, we said can't just eat one. I was just like, these are dolls. <laughs> but I didn't want to say anything. Crunchy and complex. What, what is it? Not safe? Surprise squash? So do I take this away now? Yes. Okay. What is your life, Michael? Dude, it's a, it's a travesty is what it is. Complex and crunchy? I'm not going to blame the clues that I have, but I'm not going to not. Wow. Okay. All right. What do you got, Nick? I got, so now we have broken, shiny, greedy, imaginary, and good buff. And we can't, toothbrush you know is not correct for the first one. All right. Shiny and broken. I don't know about the broken bit, but I will, I think we'll lock in oysters. It was oysters. They have pearls and you, you get to break them to open yeah, them, I guess. I guess. So. Whatever. I I greedy and imaginary, I think is going to not be Coliseum or sushi. I think it will 100% be gnomes, which is the one I was certain about the first time around. I'm going to lock in gnomes. I don't know if they're greedy, but they just seem like they could be greedy, right? Okay, finally, it's something that's good and buff. Listen. Oh, so this is off because you've done that one. A, oh, should I take? Yes, if now that we've gotten that right, yeah, you can take oh, it okay. off. Okay, I see. Um, good and buff. We have samurai, toothbrush, satellites, fire ants, and sushi. I think a toothbrush is a pretty robust device, and it's good for you. Um, Satellites, maybe? They help you stop from buffering on the internet. Fire ants have like a little skeleton on the outside, although they are not good, they're evil. They're hell. <laughs> they're hell. Sushi, I don't know. This one, I'm really not sure. Samurai could be, I mean, it could immediately loop back down on itself. I mean, it definitely could be. Is there any sort of thing like where it'll always end on, an, on the edge or anything like sometimes that? Sometimes they end in the middle, sometimes yeah. they end on the edge. As far as I know, the only rule is they can't go back Good and themselves. buff. I mean, Samurai does seem like the most uh, sensible. Sushi's hella buff. You gotta be buff to make sushi. I think, let's go Samurai. What do you think, y'all? Samurai? Let's lock it in Samurai. Dang. Might be toothbrush, y'all. This is hard, eh? It's hard. All right, get back up to four. All right. All right, so we got two of mine, at least. One of Mike's. I still... Okay. This is so hard. You're so hosed. You're so hosed with the cards, right? I actually gotta look at where I'm going. Hidden Trader is the card. Dude, yeah. for real. That's so brutal. All right, Nick. What All right, you're you guessing mine first. So yeah. I got pretty, good, and buff, not luxurious, and metallic. Pretty, good, and buff, not luxurious, and metallic. All right, pretty, good, and buff. I don't know. I, maybe toothbrush, y'all. So not luxurious. I can see it being spam. It's like, you know, tinned ham. And then metallic being like satellites. Um, good, pretty, and buff could be satellites, though. Not luxurious is Gandhi. Lived a very simple life. And the Golden Gate Bridge is metallic. <sighs> Man, it's so tough, dude. 
Are those counters double sided? Why are the Roman numerals for one and <laughs> Arabic numbers for the other? It's a good question. Just to differentiate between the players, yeah. but yeah. So like the red mage, there they theirs look like this. The green mage, theirs looks like this. The black mage, theirs looks like this. The yellow mage, theirs looks like this. I don't know why they're different other than the colors. They're a double sided though. It's just a way to. They like that. they just like made the production value of this game unnecessarily high in a lot of different yeah. ways, and I'm just like, why did you do this? <laughs> but I like the game. I just don't like these. Is the thing I don't like. Yeah. I mean, you can put them on the side and it works okay, but it's just odd. But the thing is, you can have multiple on there. Oh, that's true. So like you, yeah, sometimes you're, right. you're on the same spot, and it's just like, it It just... Buff like polish, uh, toothbrush. Oh, you get to buff something out. Yeah, let's go with toothbrush. Let's just lock that in. You're buffing your teeth. I get you're it. You're buffing them. <laughs> you're buffing them. And it's yeah, good I, to brush your teeth, and it makes your teeth pretty. There you go. I mean, I had I had some feelings about toothbrush earlier. I oh just kept getting gosh. stuck on my way. You're buffing them. It's a to yeah. be fair, a different usage yeah. of buff. That's what's fun about games like that is like you could you, you think know. of it a different way. Yep. Boom. And so then this is back. Okay. I think not luxurious is going to be spam. I think it's gonna be spam than satellites. Let's go with spam. Just make a mistake early. All right. Metallic, not Gandhi, satellites. <laughs> Metallic Gandhi. <laughs> it could be. Boom. Nice. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. That was good. I was like, okay, I had How do you track what round you're in. Oh shoot! We're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be using these cards. We've done. We've done. We're in a this third is round. round. Three. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. We're supposed to have these. <laughs> Out. All right. Cool. Nice. Um, nice. 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 All right, Nick. Okay. So this first one. <laughs> Not massive. safe. Inexpensive and massive. The next one. Crunchy. Complex and important. Fourth one. Gorgeous. Crunchy. Complex. Important. Oh my gosh. I am so lost. I feel like this first one has to be Squat Surprise. Because, okay, it's between squ Sweat and Squat Surprise. Sweat, is it like m massive? I guess it's inexpensive. It's, but it's not not safe. Squat Surprise, I guess that could be massive, right? <laughs> we don't know what that means. <laughs> inexpensive. Squash isn't expensive and it's not safe. I don't know. It's between. So the next one would be. Important, complex, and crunchy. I feel like that might be fire ants, because if you did eat them, they would be crunchy, to be fair. They have like complex homes, like they have like you know all those like tunnels, they have huge homes. And they're important, like they're gonna be important to the environment. I, I hate them personally. And then gorgeous, the Golden Great Bridge is gorgeous. Gnomes are gorgeous. First one. Thank God. God, so hard. I was like, dude, this is like, what just a squash impossible. surprise. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so now for important, complex, and crunchy. Sweat isn't crunchy. Bubbles aren't crunchy. Sushi isn't crunchy. Cabbage Patch Kids aren't crunchy. Fire Ants would be crunchy. And they're complex. I think it's got to be Fire Ants. Fire Ants. No! <laughs> What's crunchy? <laughs> <laughs> They're so crunchy. They have complex homes. I should have done something different because I forgot about the... I won't speak anymore, but I should have done... I forgot that I had the option to m m mitigate clues more. I should have done that. Oh, okay, fam. We're not doing good. We're not doing good here. Oh, yeah. Mike, you're doing great. Miss Elena, you're doing great. Uh, you're doing great. Bull crap. <laughs> Be proud of you, what you're doing. Um, you're doing good. Okay, so six, seven, and eight. Okay. Round four, is it? They can still get it done. I mean, you go for five Wait, of Where did this come from? Oh, yeah, we need to get mics immediately. No, sorry, I need you to go perfect. It, can, they, can you get done? Yes, because the last round, you're allowed to put out four. Now, you only have four clue cards, but you're allowed to put out four in the last <laughs> round. So if we go perfect here and then perfect the last round, we could win. Now, granted, you still need to get... Oh, we're halfway with you. Yes. So it's like we both got to do good here. I don't think we can win on mine, but we're going to get darn close. We can try. We can try. We can try. <sighs> wow. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be uh Oh my gosh. 
this is. Oh, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna win, fam. This is so hard. It's tough, right? Yeah. Well, I messed up something again early, and I just yeah. I'm, I'm curious about. I'm, I'll, we'll talk about it afterwards. I'm curious about like what. This, I mean, it's fun, but man, toughy, toughy stuffy. This is horrible. <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad. <sighs> The point is I'm going to have a stack yay high by the end of this thing, so you're going to have to get it eventually. Bro. No idea. All right, we're going to go with that. Lene and John out here putting in work. Okay. So now, Mike, add Tricky to it. Tricky. I've got not surly and gorgeous and historical. So not surly and gorgeous and historical. Okay, so important, tricky. Maybe sushi because it's tricky to make. And it, it could be crunchy. I mean, they, if they have like carrots or like cucumbers or something like that in there, they could have a little bit of crunch. They're com they can be complex if you like really big rolls. You know, they got a whole bunch of stuff in them. I don't see how they could, it could be bubbles. And I still don't see how it could be sweat. But maybe Mike's been trying to point us towards sweat for a minute now. I'm going to assume it is sushi. <laughs> if I am wrong, I am going to... Oh, my stores. Okay, then after that, not surly and gorgeous. I guess in that case, like... Bubbles aren't surly, and they're pretty. Gnomes are kind of surly, I would feel like. Oysters aren't surly. They just sit there, and they have, like, again, pearls and stuff like that, and that could be pretty. And then historical could be a lot of something. You could go Coliseum, Samurai. So let's start with sushi. Oh, my gosh. Thank God. Gosh. That's the tough. Gauntlet that was squash surprise and sushi. That's tough, dude. That's intense. Okay, fam, I need your help. What do we think for not surly and gorgeous? Making hungry with all the sushi talk. I know, it's serious though. Part of me is weirdly feeling bubbles because bubbles are pretty. I think bubbles are pretty at least. And then from there, we could go to the Coliseum for historical. Not surly. It's, uh, to me, it's between, I guess now we could go back to fire ants. And fire ants are definitely surly. So I don't think it's going to be that. I think it's between oysters and bubbles. For some reason, I'm feeling bubbles. Bubbles. Ah, they're not surly at all. <laughs> <laughs> the antithesis of surly, man. They're just plucky, light, wonderful things. Okay, one of the reasons why I went with bubbles is because I knew then we, I would assume we would know that the Coliseum was historical, whereas we went here, historical could be either of these, but now I think we feel like we know it's Coliseum. Could be sweat. Could be sweat. It is Coliseum. Oh my gosh, not surly so that's what and a good gorgeous round looks bubbles. Like. <laughs> so that's what it feels like, oh. right? So one thing like with the sushi, I realized I put crunchy because I had no good cards. Yeah. And it's like, and I'm thinking like there can be crunchy you elements, can. but I also could have put not crunchy. And sushi is generally not crunchy. And so I forgot that I could use these. Yes. And so that's, and that set me off on a path where I was like, well, now I'm stuck. I'm like, and, crunchy? And you're fixated on the crunchy part. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> <sighs> didn't even look at chat. We were here on the same page. I didn't trust you, chat. But yeah, bubbles. <laughs> with, with, with the bubbles. All right, Nick. We have a chance to get Nick's. We have a chance to get Nick's complete. And if we go perfect next round, I can get to nine. So, we, uh, you no, know. No, you can get to 10 because you're no. right. What do you got? I'm a, I don't, we've done five. I can do at most Oh, five. boo. Okay. Well, we'll try to get there. Um, okay. So not smelly, not belligerent, and pompous. Not smelly, 
not belligerent, not, and pompous. So right off the bat, not smelly. I would think like Golden Gate Bridge because it's just like there and I don't think it would have any kind of smell period or a toothbrush for that matter. I mean, most of these, honestly, not belligerent. Um, so say it was like Golden Gate Bridge, then we're down here, not belligerent. Man, it's so hard. I mean, you do have to look down the path, but it's so tricky. Yeah, it also can mess you up even more sometimes looking down it. But usually it can help, but. Go with me here. Not smelly, toothbrush. Not belligerent, samurai. Pompous, oysters. <laughs> we all know it. We've all been saying it. Um, yeah, what do you think? I, I, Golden Gate Bridge or toothbrush, just because they're just inanimate objects that sit there. I mean, literally, Golden Gate Bridge to me seems like the least possible to have a smell. It's just a bridge. So, but from there, not belligerent might be Cabbage Patch Kids and then Pompous is Albert Einstein thinking he knows so much. Um, or George Washington for that matter. So I don't know. I'm with Toothbrush for sure, yeah. Then maybe Gnomes. Could be. Could be. I think it's one of those two, it's a 50-50 shot, but if we get stuck here at this first one, then we're hosed. Dang it. I'm trying to think of the path. Could be back on Toothbrush. Man, I really hope it's Toothbrush Samurai Oysters, because that would make me laugh, and that would mean we have connected brother brain. <laughs> Let's go Toothbrush. Dang it. All right, I think it'll be Golden Gate Bridge. Well, we'll see how far we can get in the last round here. Yeah, well, we can each get to nine because you're allowed to put out a fourth clue. And we each should. <laughs> <coughs> okay, we are technically the same spot now. Dang it, sorry, y'all. Now nah, you good. This is so hard. Okay, I'll do this so I can see. We'll see if we can get to nine. We've already failed. I'm getting the hive mind, yeah. It was late in the day. A lot of people were going home from work, so our chat's not quite as active as it was a little bit earlier. All right. All righty. So we guessed on, uh, so you're guessing me first. I'm guessing oh, you first? Yeah, let me. So we've got dis not despised and not smelly. Uh, I th Golden Gate Bridge then, and not wild, and not belligerent. This game breaks my brain. <laughs> <laughs> then confident and pompous, and then weird. All right, go with me here. I think it's gonna be Golden Gate Bridge, Cabbage Patch Kids, Albert Einstein, Aliens. That's a potential path. Let's just screw it up immediately and go Golden Gate Bridge. I don't think it smells. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, between you're the like, two. I don't think it smells. I don't I'm like, think yeah, it exactly. Smell. Why would it smell? It's a bridge. All right, so not <laughs> wild and not belligerent points me toward Cabbage Patch Kids. Although, I mean, it could be, again, it could be Gandhi, a very measured person. But then confident and pompous, 
And then you got sausage pizza satellites or spam. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's go Cabbage Patch Kids. All right. Oh, so now I'm getting confident. Now I'm feeling myself. All right. Now we got confident and pompous. <laughs> Kevin George Washington. I think you're going to say Albert Einstein was pompous. Lock it in. Ah, oh, George Washington. I don't necessarily think he's pompous, but just yeah. I was like, That's he's just a got. general. Was he's it a George president. Washington and then aliens? No, it was actually. Squash surprise? No, it was George Washington back to Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, that's so sneaky. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, that can't be possible. Oh, I messed up. Wait. Hold on. Oh, no, I'm sorry, no. Oh, that's actually kind of perfect. It was here, here, and then the last one was here. I forgot I only did it up to nine. Weird oh, okay, was back yeah, to Cabbage yeah. Patch Kids, but it actually would have been surprise. boom, and actually Squash Surprise yeah, worked perfectly weird. for Weird. Yeah. And then the last one was gonna be Cabbage Patch Kids again. Oh, dang it! Yeah, that's so hard. Tough. Okay. Yeah, my last one just circled around here. I was like, let's come end on, on a high note, man. Let's make a last, a last, last gasp. ditch. Yeah, last ditch. Tough one. You like it though? Yes, it's really it's fun. Cool, it's right? Really, it's fun weird and really brain. I also think two players probably tough because it's you only have one person. Thinking, yeah. Yeah. Whereas with more people, you have more like, oh, what about this? You're like, oh, that's interesting. And having more yeah. minds, I think you could also have this, too many cooks in the kitchen situation, so it creates fun for stuff, sure. But uh, okay, so Mike has edible. Uh oh gosh, that could be sushi. Or, well, oyster. Well, they're both not useful, not medieval, and bizarre. So edible could be either. Oysters or sushi, not useful. I'd probably say like gnomes because they don't like, they're just lawn ornaments, right? They don't like do much. Um, but then not medieval would maybe be like satellites and then bizarre would be, my guess would be spam. So do we think edible? My, this is my guess, man. I think it's gonna be oysters, gnomes, satellites, spam. That's what I think it is. But it could be sushi, gnomes, satellites, and spam. But edible? I mean, like, why wouldn't he say tasty? Or like, da -da, like well, he might not have, have a choice, right? So edible. What's up, Dutch? And Dutch could really be any of those things. I'm going to go with oyster. <laughs> is it sushi? Yeah. Was I right about the rest of it? Close. It's sushi, fire ants, <sighs> satellites, spam. Dang. We suck in this game, Mike. Dude, it's so hard. <laughs> we, right, we, we ultra mega failed. Did yeah. you win the first time you played? Yeah, we won. Me, Slackfish, yeah. and Legends won. Well, not, no, 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 we didn't, actually. We didn't. Well, because I guess you can, like, again, it's about. I don't think, with, I don't know if Atlas is still in chat. Did we win when we played? I don't think we did. I don't think I've technically ever won. If we're going by everyone has to reach the end of their path to win. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just sort of like a for fun thing anyway, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So that's Mystic Pass, so I really wow. like it. Again, I want to get failed. rid of these because I, th I honestly think they make the game harder to play. Oh. But, like, it's, it's a so cool hard. Game. Yeah, it's hard, dude. And again, there's a whole bunch of these. Um, so it changes up the game all the time. I think it's a great, oh. a great idea for a word game. It's cool. All right. Nicely done. Oh. GG. That's very satisfying. I like that a lot. Um, gosh, that's so hard. It's really fun though. I love clue games like that. Yeah. I love being like hamstrung by the cards. Yeah, you're like, oh gosh. Yeah, you're just not so smelly. I'm like, yeah. Golden Gray Bridge doesn't smell, probably. Doesn't smell. I should have gone with my gut on you that. You did. One. I, I was like, Mike, go with your gut, dude. You're it. right on it. Because that's what I was saying. It's just like, that, what smell could a bridge possibly have? <laughs> Metal? Maybe? Like, that's it? Maybe. <laughs> I don't even trust that. Uh, GG, GG everybody. Thanks for joining us for another Mini yes, Marathon. Indeed. This one was kind of shoehorned at the end of the month because of travel and things like that. So we hope to uh, see you all in the, the next one, which will probably also be the last uh, Thursday of <laughs> yeah, April. Probably. Um, it's always at tuned. the end of the month on a Thursday. Around we know that. the end of the month on a Thursday. So stay tuned um, and we'll get word out for like what that's going to be and everything. Um, as always, we're streaming and doing stuff all the time on our channel. April in general is incredibly busy for us. We have so many playthroughs coming out, so many videos, so many streams. Yeah. So much stuff is happening. It's gonna be amazing. We're busy into May now. Uh, so just, <laughs> yeah. hey, just ride the ride with us. We're, we're uh, in a time of just a lot happening, a lot of really cool stuff, cool projects. 
We have like playthroughs of Fractured Sky from IB Studios coming soon. Uh, we have a playthrough of Unmatched Adventures coming out tomorrow. We streamed that on Tuesday. Yep. Playthroughs, uh, videos of Herstory and Trekking Through History coming uh, this month. Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan, the deluxe edition. We are in... Um, May, we are doing a Board and Dice Con on our channel. Yeah. Board and Dice is going to come infiltrate the channel uh, on a Sunday uh, in May. So come hang out with us for that. Uh, we're going to be talking all things Board and Dice that day. It's going to be super fun. Yeah, big nine-hour thing on Sunday, uh, May 7th, I think, or 8th, whatever that Sunday is, um, right here on the channel. There's so much stuff, really, and that's a, a third of it. <laughs> so yeah. stay tuned is what we're saying. we got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, if you like this video, if you enjoyed the stream, please make sure you thumb it up before you go. Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. And uh, shoot, we'll see you all in the next one next yeah. month. We'll get on out uh, of here. And we love you all very much. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Ding, 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 ding.